Welcome everyone to episode 9 of the Smobcast. Uh, almost, yeah, we're over two months now. Almost episode 10. Uh, so, we weren't initially planning to have Rio over here, but we, but we just, on a whim, we invited him over here. But we're going to be just chatting about the shit that's going on in the game. Like, holy shit, there's actually things happening in this game now. <laughs> Like, <clears throat> yeah. damn it is surprising yeah yeah and then next a... wednesday we'll get something cool right I, I i i'd imagine the girlfriend is next wednesday but i don't know yeah well, it should be because yeah. they said that there's a large they... scale grail front for the yeah. um later half of october yeah 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 but yeah we got like halloween on an a so uh so we can if you guys want to uh because like i mean it's kind of old news at this point, but we can chat. We can chat about Jacques or Zenobia, uh, <laughs> or Rider Liz. Or Rider Liz. Rider Liz is really good. Yeah. Really? Can you please tell me in a 17-minute video about why Rider Liz is good? <laughs> Do you know what's funny about that? You only imagine what happened yesterday night. I was when I was about to sleep. ZTL DM me. Oh no, bro. He asked me, starting to can really I early do, here. He asked me, can I do a live reaction to your writerless hot take on stream? Bro. That's but that's the right thing to do. That's exactly what you should do. I said yes. <laughs> yeah. I mean, why wouldn't so, you? Well, like, oh, you know what? That was say no. That was cool of so, him, okay? So, that's yeah. the right so, way to so, do it. Yeah, he yeah, he asked me. So I was like, yeah, of course, why not? Because it's really cool. So I'm not meaning to plug his stream here, but he, he won't be watching my video on his stream. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I forgot when. You know yeah. what? He got a little bit of respect from me there. Okay, that's that's the right way to do it. I, I, mean, I mean, after dude, he, after the he, strike, he, I don't blame dude, he, him. He he got scared straight. I like honestly. I, I have no qualms with him after that after that one interaction. I yeah. had a disagreement. It's over. I have no qualms with him as a person, and yeah. uh, there, there's nothing, <laughs> there's nothing negative yeah. there. Just because I'm not a fan of the type of video someone makes doesn't mean I dislike them, and I think exactly. that's important to know. Yeah, just yeah. Just because I, I may I, not I, agree I with it yesterday. Yeah. Uh, yeah, question: I... uh, That that strike thing that happened was that in November last year? Oh, it was about a year. Was it like a year? It was when Van Gogh was okay. coming out in NA. Because uh, I I was being a creep and I was looking at his social blade the uh, a few days ago and I noticed that in November last year he lost over a million views. What? So the oh yeah yeah he deleted uh, yeah he deleted yeah he deleted links. all the videos oh. where he used your uh your I told him he didn't like, have to though like, oh like I like he 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 asked me like oh you know. Because of this whole thing, like, do do I have to remove the videos that contain your gameplay? I'm like, no, like you don't have to, like that. that I think that be. Yeah, yeah, he no, definitely damn. did. Because uh, if but... you lose videos on Social Blade, uh, if you lose views yeah, on Social Blade, true. that means you delete I, videos. I really, I legit told him that he didn't have to because I feel like that's that's too harsh. That's like you're removing like what, like thirty. 50 no, probably not that much like probably 30 videos like jesus christ man yeah i mean but now now he records his own footage he uses his own stuff yeah, you yeah. Know, there's, it's like that's yeah all's good like there's nothing yeah there, there's yeah. no i don't know how he feels about me probably not very positive but you know what <laughs> i have no qualms with what he does yeah. now uh, though i did notice he uploaded a video with the timestamp and the default discord file name oh yeah dude recently I mean, I, 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 I did that funny. with the Melus. Yeah, I, yeah. I think I did that with the the, the gameplay clip accident. Yeah, dude, oh, yeah, you, you did, did it better. <laughs> you you <laughs> did actually I, I, upload Melusine's <laughs> hot take uh, background gameplay .mp4. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing. Anyways, uh, yeah. So let, let's get into the ticket, I suppose. Before oh, we hold on. Out, actually, yeah. while we're still on this, there was something I noticed that that just like killed me. Uh, about his thumbnails. Hold on. I have to. No. Oh, are you doing the story thing? Like, the goat is back. Where's my goat? Yeah, yeah dude. Wait, what? <laughs> Pull up that image. It's so funny. Wait, what? I yeah, don't... dude. I don't know what his, his thumbnails tell a story. I don't think it's intentional, but it's yeah. funny. Yeah. Okay. So. Hold on. 
I got it open in Photoshop. Gotta remind myself. Okay, I got so many extra scenes. Okay, so, so in order, these this is what the thumbnails say. My goat. When is it coming? The goat. It's coming. The beloved. Finally content. <laughs> Jacques de Molay. They're back. <laughs> it's funny because Jacques de Molay has the like the sheep goat thing. Yeah, damn. Yeah, dude. And it's, it's, so it's she, a story. She, she as a goat. So the other way you can read this, you can remove Jacques, and it's just like some humble goat farmer being happy that his goat has returned. <laughs> I thought that the like, they're thing. back. <laughs> yeah, dude. Damn. Um, He's telling I, a story I, I, through his thumbnails. Yeah, dude. <laughs> Honestly, dude, if he was doing that intentionally, I would fucking love it. Uh, there's I, this. I, that can't be intentional. It's too funny. Like yeah. that. That's one of those Easter like egg. coincidental things. <laughs> Easter yeah, I found egg, another uh, one. To, uh, sorry to cut you off. Um, Who had this yeah. idea to do this in the first place? Come on. Uh, look, dude, I, I just noticed that he was using words the same over and over again. Okay, so huh? Morgan Le Fay versus Barguest. Morgan summons Bavancy. <laughs> I, I thought that one was funny, too, because that one's Bruh. all in order. It's I not mean, as really amazing as the Morgan. Girl. Oh yeah. Like honestly, like like at first, I I thought he was just milking it, but he really likes Morgan, so I I can't really blame. I'm him a big that. Morgan fan as of today, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Oh you yeah. Know? Oh boy. It, it, yeah, go on. It was funny. Tell I us. got Tell I got us. three Morgans in three hundred cent quartz. Oh. So I, I I bought two packs. That's that's all I bought. And well, that's in really two lucky, rolls. Right? Yeah. It, I mean. Well, it so, doesn't feel good for three. It doesn't CEs, feel good for doesn't for feel three good. copies yeah, of the yeah. CE. So I needed three copies of Apex, and I I was like I'm like all right Morgan may show up and that's an USO and I don't want that because I already have six Morgans. Um, first two rolls, second roll, Morgan shows up. Three rolls later, Rainbow Morgan shows up. I mean, you can one twenty or. And He's then totally well, I had I had like 600 coins and I'm like, I'm just unlocking the anti crit pen now. Um, and then like it was it was like eight or nine summons in and then another Morgan shows up. It, it, and then the next roll of gold berserker comes up, but it was thankfully uh, Lancelot. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> but then I get two Apex one roll and then like two rolls later, another Apex. So it was like two packs in the end. So it wasn't the worst. But it's very getting Usos like getting three Usos at once is just doesn't feel good because Usos don't feel good. Oh, I mean, are, oh. if you're approaching ten, but yeah, I'm I at know fourteen mean. now. Oh, well, I, yeah, that, that is not approaching ten. Well, I mean, I've spent thirty Usos in JP, so I mean, yeah, like, I, I have you. I am probably one of the if, as far as people who in the English speaking community, one of the most common uses of usos yeah you use it on a perma and then you got the you got another one and you got another uso back That's oh, i have amazing. three i have three needle altars i think in the back <laughs> hello oh, i have it, i have three <laughs> three on two accounts total oh real uh jps higher ssr rate no they're yeah. the same the sr rate is different but it uh, doesn't matter <laughs> It doesn't yeah. matter. It doesn't mean I'm not gonna get fucking four but berserker hey, spooks it, on. It Kija doesn't Koyo matter there. because because you get to pick one for free, right? Yeah, you, you get, that's a yeah, good let's, segue. Let's, We're going let's to get be into talking. Today's topic. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, I I made a list of the four star. I ranked the four stars. I think people should pick oh, the ticket. Oh please! I, I sent an uh, image we, in the chat here. We 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 need a we, we need like a unranked oh, yeah. list i mean that's fair. oh i i got what? Uh, no i, got, I no I found the list. no 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 i'm not putting bob and she in a no no hold on all right fight me on, fight me on why is bob and she not one of the better picks she's story locked she's a great single target archer with a split 30 percent battery anastasia's have... better than her it... there do you think so yes you think anastasia archer at it is, is better than her. Is better. Yes. Yes. Firmly. Yeah. Hold on a second. I'm about um, to put this list up. I mean, 
Other than that, it's pretty understandable. I also don't like MHX like that mu XX that much, but uh, that's like, eh. Like she's uh, okay. Okay. I mean, um, this is his list. Yeah, that's my recommendation list. So in S, we got Creamhild and Reese. That, that's no shock that Creamhild's at the yeah. very top. Um, yeah, I think yeah. Calamity Jane is uh, that's not one I expected. I, I'm guessing that's a utility pick. She's yeah, the, utility she's pick. the best support option. Out of she's all fine of at MP1. Picks. Yeah, she's fine yeah. at MP1. Yeah, that makes sense. The the order here isn't relevant per se. Whereas Astrea, she's too common. Like I, I Astrea's general I, pool. Yeah, I, I I did put her in honorable mentions. I like in my video, I didn't put it out yet. But like in my video, I generally just try to ignore the permas the only two permas i mentioned was um astrea and faker uh and i yeah you know like yeah, yeah Sorry. Perm permanence i i didn't include i didn't consider i removed all the permanence from uh uh from my list here, from my pick choice yeah. here because this ticket Cause is, like, is special in the sense it's special that it, you yeah. can pick limited so yeah. why wouldn't you pick a limited or story locked yeah. which I picked Saber Altar because I have most of these at MP levels I need them at, except my Saber Altar was MP2, and I'm like, yeah. Oh, I don't have Saber. I didn't pick yet. I might play, I, I might pick Kijo Koyo because I grilled her and she's at four, I'm, but I don't know. I'm actually kind of surprised to be uh, to see Say here. Uh, I, yeah, I think Say? she's a pretty good pick, too. I think Say is a really good, like, as far as, like, a single target uh, Berserk, four-star Berserker, she, with Summer Scotty, she's rather strong. Yeah, I, yeah, she cuts harder than a lot of. Scotty, uh, even I feel like even she's without, not that good without her, even she's like, without she's her, even without her, she still has really high crit potential for her rarity. Yeah, that and is fair. She's fairly easy to support because there's a lot of Buster supports. Like you can oh, use Vitch. Yeah, her. you can use her with Vitch, and that works too. Ah, oh, I, I should have. I don't know if I should add her to the video, dude. I already have so many servants. I have like I keep them at two minutes per servant. I think the video would be like almost thirty minutes. It's horrible. Yep. One of someone wants an explanation for why Edison's in D, because Edison has a lot of useful buffs, but his buffs are so niche and, and hard to actually fit into a team that they're just not relevant. And Carmilla is in D because she's debuff only, and and yeah. just makes her harder to use than. Like, um, then like Lancer Raiko, whose buffs are general, who are buffs and not like debuffs. Well, Lancer Raiko's also, for the cleanse, right? I, I feel like she's without yeah, the cleanse, the, the, cleanse, better, the right? buster, yeah. the attack up. Yeah. Uh, also, mm -hmm. Ryder Carmilla, um, cause like, um, like, uh, Murasaki is a, a great D, is the, the same type of debuffer servant, but she's also just the hardest hitting four star rider in the game yeah. and so like whereas carmilla is like the worst four star rider damage wise or something Almost. like that well one of them yeah basically yeah like you 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 don't want to like her dps trash bro it's really her, bad her, her, her dps is like almost trash like I, no not almost it's trash but it's like i don't know if it's the worst it's probably like better than some fucking i don't know who's even worse than her dps uh, aoe rider Santa Alter. I would I say know. Martha, but Martha's uh, got some sort of general utility, like the debuff cleanse and the buff purge. Who's the worst four star assassin front? You don't even need to. There's like no assassins worth picking, in my opinion. Like the only one, like remotely, is kind of worth mention is uh, Wu, but she's she's perma pool. Like all the other ones are just just fucking use your shiki. Yes. Yeah. yeah, Shiki is permanent She's, now. So yeah, that that's yeah, a just big use hit. Shiki. Like, what four star assassin? Like, unless you're like getting MP five of them. Yeah, you need any them four at star MP5 assassins that are actually worth like using. Hold on. I, I think like, Chiyome, Chiyome, assassins not. I think I think Chiyome at MP five maybe post buff Chiyome at MP five might be competitive against Shiki because she she has like three turn buffs and like anti curse and stuff. But that's MP five. Like that, that that's MP5. That's not MP1. I think Summer yeah, Rokita think... is looking pretty good these days. She's AoE though. Yeah, yeah. yeah that, uh, I thought a... that's what we were talking about though. 
Yeah, Chiyome is still... Uh, Chiyome... Let me see Chiyome's damage. Chiyome still loses in damage, actually. But, like, it's not fair because Shiki has a one-turn buff. Like, if you're looking at the damage sheet, it's not fair because Shiki's... Shiki's a burst... A burst damage unit. While Chiyome is, like, a sustained damage unit. Dude, what about that... Locusta? Locusta's not in the list. Yeah, she was released this year. Oh, right. She's not in the ticket. That's right. Yeah, she's not in the ticket. I was about to say, because I mean, Locusta, like... Locusta but like even be. then for the for the purpose of the ticket where you're picking one of them don't yeah. bother with an assassin just get yeah. five shikis from the thing yeah. like and even yeah. for the aoe's yeah then you, you got, got gray. gray yeah and She's they both have yeah. they both have np upgrades it's not fair that's a horrible time for this evocation for assassins it's just yeah well, well just four star assassins are just in general kind of suffering mm -hmm. yeah yes summer valk was the, was the last year right so, uh, well, like See, that's the thing with assassins. Assassins have a couple extremely strong ones. Like, so there's Kama, King Hassan, Tez, uh, MHX are like I mean, the four five stars are pretty good. Uh, extremely strong servants. And then they also have some of the worst <laughs> servants. I mean, most five stars are actually pretty good. Like, the oh, I mean, ones. oh, yeah, Koyan's also there. Yeah, Koyan Light. Like, yeah, you like even Hu Yen's pretty good, right? Um, like she's fine as AOE and uh Yeah, like most five star assassins are actually pretty good. It's just fucking Kashin Koji. Like nobody remembers this character. Who? <laughs> yeah. Kashin Koji. Spider Woman. Oh, I know who it is, actually. I'm just Yeah. Yeah. It, uh, I'm just playing on. Yeah. In fact, she is joints. she is she's writer from Samurai Remnant. <laughs> I'm joking. She she is <laughs> Spider who she isn't real, she can't hurt you. Dude, I I want the second I ran into that like oh before God. the game came out, I wanted to like post in Discord saying Spider Ushi isn't real, she can't hurt you. Bro, but like but had to, can't. I had to restrain myself. But you could have. No, I'm I'm not, I'm not going to bring up more beef, I'm sorry. Yeah, you're, you're not <laughs> supposed to post spoilers, dude. The hell? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Anyways, yeah. uh a real, do, do you have like a list of like all the tickets oh, like, uh, like I, yeah i do i've I, actually I do, actually at, at, oh you at, found it yeah. oh yeah. never mind yes yeah, uh ours shared it with me i got this oh, nice. little picture here and i can zoom in all right well let, let's look at each class i guess uh they're kind of <laughs> they are kind of eh, hold on you... Let, let's see if i could find a more high res <clears throat> version uh there might be a higher for hold on here I mean... let me let me share let me send this this is oh. all of the this is was my original one. This has all of them. Um but like categorized by what I think about them and then it was only the top group that I actually uh filtered out. So if you want to like look at those like that's Oh like, yeah. Cheerless. Yeah, I guess that so. was my original categorization that I then refined for the later one. Well, let me see. see. It, oh. Okay. So you, you could all you could just move them all into a uh single I, right, I right. think one of the more... Un okay, I guess we'll get into that later. I don't want to spoil it right here, but... Uh... Um, hold on. If, okay. Let go... I, I always forget how to use this site. It, uh, I, I thought there go. was a tier list maker, because the at media people, they were making tier lists on the... On on the on their stream for each class, but I don't know how they where they got it. All female plus unknown servants by cup size. Why the fuck is that? A, a, why is that a template? <laughs> like I understand people <laughs> making one, but why is pa it a passion live wins? That's all. That's about it. Why? No. I mean, this is that sounds I like mean, something Mistred stream. Why? Oh the, yeah. <laughs> He oh, did the yeah. foot thing. Why is the thumbnail did, for this one Burger King foot lettuce? What the hell is? What am I looking at? Do you know one of the first missed streams I ever saw? I think I think the first was he. It showed him the on foot Twitch tier list? with a you know doing a, a tier list, and I'm like I'm like okay, and I click on the tier list, but it was him rating like it wasn't actually servants. It was like hentai tags, and I was like this is not what I expected. <laughs> Bro, <laughs> wait, where is it? Dude, they didn't put it on their own website. I thought um, App Media would have have it. Man, all I could find are like all servants. I can't find uh, or star me... exclusive. 
let me send you this and i i can actually do one do something really quick here to get you one okay i have one on app media but i'm not sure shit. um that are categorized in perma limited and uh so go to this this one and then at the bottom click uh remix this list oh never mind is it okay and that'll allow you to oh. then move them oh, wait hold on this is actually it just brought up the whole thing okay oh yeah but but it's not re but it's not uh organized with it's the... not organized yeah is this other one organized oh it is it is it you can, you can pull up the app media one it, it's yeah. it's it's not a tier list maker but it's um but it's organized and you can go to it, through it by class yeah yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. and it and it's categorized by uh perma story locked and uh, limited. Oh yeah, that's in, in, in very nice. background, yeah. So you can. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm trying to do multiple things here. Uh, let me organize this. But but like yeah, like perma servants. I personally, there, there uh. are there are some good ones. Like I I also think um. Are you gonna queue up the the app media one instead? Because this is not like class. This is not by uh, class. Yeah, this is an organized. Uh, okay, well, I'm I'm getting barraged with two separate. I'm oh no, I didn't know he found the app media thing. Yeah, click the okay. app media one, and just uh, scroll down, and it's it's organized by class, and it's much better. Okay, okay I got to make sure to block out element on all their ads right quick oh they have like porn ads and stuff yeah dude do they i, I don't see any dude Maybe my i ad blocker works bro i opened it up on mobile like yesterday morning and bro there was just titties flopping around on oh one of the ads God. and i'm like oh, no yeah. no i gotta be Welcome careful to japanese with this. web design all right let, let okay you would not believe this okay so this is the a poll for how many of the the four stars people picked from app media so number one is summer heiress yeah. number two is Krimhild. number three is saber altar and number, number four, four is keske yeah yamanami keske that's actually who I, that's actually who i picked on my alt uh why because i find knows? his gameplay kind of fun and fun. Like, uh, he's I, van gogh I, but worse he he was stuck at np1 okay <laughs> i don't want if you're gonna use him you want at least np2 because like at that point, like, I like DPSing with him. He he is Van Gogh, but worse. But I mean, he's a four star. You kind of gotta expect that. Number five. Number five is not that shocking. Saito, I firmly expect to be in top five. Number six uh, is Melt. Yeah. Like like none of these are too crazy. I, I just think like in terms of gameplay, I guess. I mean. Well, look down at the lowest. That'll be. So let's see. Um. Nija. With... <laughs> not surprising. Yeah, so, yeah, not surprising. Where's that coke then? That coke then probably thing. pretty high. Like the limiteds I imagine to be pretty high. Dude, okay. who the fuck's still picking the fairy knights? Didn't they get two million rate ups? Look, what if you oh. want a one twenty oh that coke then somewhere thirty. Well some people don't have self control for those banners. Yeah. Okay. So yeah, they got them all go. here listed. That's uh thank you for that link. There we go. I wish I clicked so, it earlier. So we got Siegfried. Who's no. Eh. Like he's an okay AoE saber, but he's not really that much special outside of Dragon these days. No. Uh like, Dion. I, oh, sorry. Yeah, go ahead. I, I'm, I'm go. just saying like I'm legit going to dock points from Permas if they're not like super good. Like yeah. The only like good perma here in the saber is Lonling. In my opinion, as a support, I guess. Yeah, as a support. Like everyone I'm, else is. I like Lakshmi as a support too. Ish, yeah, I'm, just, it's okay. I, I mean, you could just use Habitrot, but Lakshmi does yeah. give you a pretty good amount of crit support, like between the stars mm -hmm. and the stars, uh, not the stars, the attack and crit. Mm hmm. Um, but hey, I mean, sometimes. <laughs> I mean, I, basically all the servants I use are female, but hey, like sometimes they're male, and then like she's she has a little bit of usage there. Um, I have a burning I, hatred for Roland, but I think he's actually not bad. But uh, yeah. Oh, he's yeah. he's not bad at all. I just also but I hate fucking him. Hate him. yeah. <laughs> I just hate him so much. It's unreal. 
Yeah, we've all had bad experiences with that banner. So. Yeah. Like, his his third skill is really good. It's 20 stars, crit star absorb, 10% charge three on a three-turn cooldown. Like, that's yeah. an amazing skill. I just yeah. hate him. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, AoE buff purge is just so... Uh, that's... On a skill, it's just so rare, and then, like, on a four-star. Jeez. Yeah. And then so, you got like several Liz's that have one buff, <laughs> one buff purge mm -hmm. instead. And yet so that's enough to make OG Liz very useful, like extremely strong. Mm. Yeah, she's just kind of boring outside about that. Outside of that. Uh, Salter. I mean, these days, like now that she got that buff, it, it is pretty nice, but. Like, yeah. you also kind of want to have mana loading for that, and, like, if you're only yeah. picking one NP1, okay, you, you gotta bond get... bond 7. It. No, you get... Yeah. You need bond 10 if she's NP1. What? I thought it was bond 7. Wait, yeah. how many... It's uh, 50 coins yeah, per, you need... so then you gotta earn 70. Yeah. And, yeah, you, that's that's yeah. way higher bond it, it's because... even, that's That's something that sucks about unlimited ones, because you gotta get bond 11 for a single pin. <laughs> oh, it's bond ten. Oh damn! I, I thought it was yeah. That, you're Jesus right. Christ. That is bond ten. Yeah, for yeah. Eight, to get eighty coins. She, so Jesus. bond ten. Yeah. Yeah. That's that's, that's, that's why I'm already hesitant to recommend like like yeah. a lot of these farmers too. Like, I did bring like it Siegfried, up because like, like you can farm with Siegfried, but you want the second append, mm -hmm. and for you to get the second append, you have to be farm. You have to farm with them. For Bond 11. Oh, I have to <laughs> re-record it. I, I, I'm sorry. I think I said Bond 7 in my video. I have to fucking uh, take that out. Well, I mean, if you already have a copy of Saber Altar, I think getting MP2 one to get mana loading unlocked easier. Because then it's only yeah. Bond 5. Um, then, I, then I think it's worth it. I, yeah. I think, like, Saber Altar, if you don't have, like, I think an MP2 Saber Altar... If you don't have like OG Saber or Mordred or uh, what's her name, Ibuki, you um, have to farm for Bond Ten, which is a lot. Okay, I just record. I'm, I'm gonna cut that in. Sorry. <laughs> He's doing it live on stream. <laughs> Fuck it, we're doing it live. <laughs> we're doing it live. <laughs> Your voice changed too. You went to like recording mode. Mm. Yeah, dude. Yeah. Dude, Gawain these days is actually looking pretty good. Like that NP buff was a pretty, uh, pretty big boost. Wait, to wait, this. Did, did we skip Nero? Yeah, what's wrong with? Yeah, why are you skipping Nero? Do you I wasn't Nero? going in any order. I thought we were just like skipping through oh, them random. I know. I don't care right, about so, Nero. <laughs> okay, I I think Nero's really hella underrated. Like, her cooldowns are so short. She has so much heal. She has the star per turn. Like, yeah, Imperial Privilege is not guaranteed, but, like, if you use, like, a command code during solos to boost his chance, it's better. Like, she has... I don't know. She, like, all of... Look at her second skill with the five-turn cooldown. Like, all of that, which such short the uptime. The only problem is Thrice Setting Sun is on a ten-turn cooldown. Who yeah. has three guts? Like, you're... you're like, three obviously guts, five you're gonna, turns. Yeah. Granted, it is, like, guaranteed... Like, if you're in a solo, that's guaranteeing three turns a solo. Yeah. So that yeah, and then it's afterwards really oh. you do have her first skills come off cooldown. You might be able to stabilize a little bit for a few more turns. So that's five point four k heal. If you combine her first and second skill, that's over five thousand heal. It's yeah, five and then you can heal so. boost them too. If you are yeah, running maybe. like if you can like time things and you're running the Atlas Mystic Code, you can invul in afterwards. You can cooldown reduction, so you only have three turn gap between. Do the it guts. again. Yeah, yeah, you could try it again. <laughs> I mean, I'm sure there's a fight you could pull it off. I don't know, like, how uh, rough that would yeah, be. Yeah, the tower can give her a bit of leniency for, uh, like, those off turns uh, where she doesn't have... Like, because once you go from one wave to the other, you get a free turn off your cooldowns. Mm -hmm. So, uh, I'm not I've sure if I... have seen her solo quite a bit of, like, Nerofest stuff um, with the Thrice Setting Sun. It was before her second skill buff as well, but... Um... Yeah, oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. I haven't used her after that second skill buff because it's like a star per turn, and 
and thirty percent. Uh, is it thirty percent? Uh, it might be twenty percent. It's thirty percent. No, it's thirty percent. But the twenty percent no, is her first, her first skill, skill one, which oh, is okay. tied to because I know she has fifty percent total. I didn't know which one it had. It was yeah, but that's yeah. water side or city, and I, I believe like city is like super uncommon. But water side it, is uh, not as bad because there's actually yeah, I mean, you can actually bring supports for uh, for that because like Talik has some decent team support. Yeah, I mean, I, I I think she's a decent like she's kind of overrated. Like people just completely don't talk about her. It's just because she can't loot. It, yeah. It's the same as like Saber Shiki, right? It's like so. The funny uh, thing is, she actually has really it, she has surprisingly good free fund um i i don't remember what exactly the setup was i was using um i was using double castoria and i gave her i think it was painting summer and i think she was able to do it without plug i it, mean like yeah i can i can black grail loop with shiki now without oberon <laughs> Yeah. yeah, like, like, like it's, it's, it, it gets to a point where you have enough arts up and like base refund that even one hit is enough. Yeah. Um, yeah, dude, dude, last night I, I did a, I, I did black grail looping oh, yeah. shooting. Yeah. And I've been I'm, waiting I'm all year to do it. Did, were you Bro. using Oberon with it though? Cause yeah. No, it's on, Oberon. yeah, it's, it's the on six. six seven, yeah. Yeah. Cause that way she's getting 40% refund per. I, I know you can do it with a three enemy wave. You can do it with three enemy wave. What you do is you start with uh, Castoria yeah, and Chloe. Jufu, swap to Kuro, Kuro swaps oh, out, Kuro. and then Castoria comes in. So it's Castor double Castoria, Jufu, Kuro. Mm. Don't need Oberon, and she she refunds enough to uh to loop with yeah. us with the. I don't like using Chloe, honestly. Well, Ryder Carmilla still can't loop though, but yeah, bro. But yeah, like. Uh, I, I think Nero's pretty like she's a fun pick. I I think that, that that's what I deemed her as in the video, which is like I, I think she's like a fun pick. She's not necessarily like a a good pick. But like for like an MP1, like sometimes you know for MP1 it's not necessarily you get to you get to farm with them and, and, and whatnot, so you know. Could be well fun. if we're talking fun picks at MP1 in the Saber class. I think Bargast is a better... Oh, yeah, of course. Oh, yeah. Well, Bargast... yeah, a lot of her damages are cards anyways. Yeah, Bargast's MP is a potato. And so yeah. you might as well just use her face cards. Yeah, her her only problem in solos, though, is like if she... If if there's a point where it one-shots her, she kind of just loses. Like... Yeah. It, I don't... It, like, I've been testing out both her and Summer, Bob, and she... And I find Summer Bavanshi to have slightly better coverage as to the stuff she can fight because of the attack down, lowering enemies' MP damage. Uh, Bargas doesn't have a very good way of preventing her to getting one shot, other than Grail. Like, Bavanshi is insane with that 50% attack down. And then yeah. heal up and defense up and... Yeah. yeah. I, I, I think they're just scared. Like, I, I think... I uh I forgot who who we were talking to. I don't know if any of you were in JP chat or something like but but we were talking about like what what if we get what if we gave Bargess like a guts or or like an invol. And but then there, the problem is she, she gets to reduce her cooldown and then Yeah, she there just isn't starts, a skill you can put spamming. it on. Yeah, the the cooldown reduction is too yeah. scary. Like she but like who cares? It's a good solo servant. Like I, I'm always in the opinion of like, oh, you make you make a solo servant too broken. I don't really see a problem. With it. Well, you can you can add it to a skill and not have it be busted by not making it a turn of inform, but a hit. Just one hit. All she True. would need is it, and that could make her survive MPs, is just put it on her put it on the longest cooldown skill. Put it on the third skill. Yeah. Which, uh, and make it one hit uh, invuln that same turn. It's already a seven turn cooldown. You can't really, be, like, even if you launch off two MPs, that's still five turns for one hit. I think that's perfectly fine balancing act for that one. One turn, one gut. Bro, one turn, one guts is a bit rough. I I'm not going to, but the... oh, yeah. especially I, I depending like... on what you, what you put it on. Because, like, right now, the way you use Bar, unless you put it on the first skill, because, like, right now, you, the way you use Bar Guts is you, you want all of her skills to be at high uptime. Like her, her third skill snowballs, right? Her third skill helps you loop your MP, and then you loop your MP, help her spam her third skill, and like it just, you know, it, it, it goes in a circle. Uh, so, yeah, it, it's it's a bit hard if it's like a one turn guts. I, I don't know. But... 
Yeah. Man, you guys gave me shit for skipping Nero, and you guys skipped Yagyu. Yeah. Oh, well, that's because <laughs> I'm not into old men. That's <laughs> true, Yagyu. Yeah. Yagyu's not yeah, bad, opposite, honestly. Well, opposite way, I see. Y Yagyu's honestly not... He He's also kind of the same type of servant with the, the attack down. Right, like that—that's how he plays as well. Yeah, for he's solos. he's a really slow servant. Uh, yeah, and he really suffers in AOE fights because, like, some yeah. some like actually, single target arts is a isn't too bad to bring in some AOE cases because you can just break bar after bar, and you can just sort of single out each enemy. But with him, mm -hmm. since he's not very damage heavy, and he suffers because like he's one of those long term servants that spams attack down, uh, yeah. he really suffers in those types of situations. Uh, well, so like the other problem is that his buffs are one turn. Yeah, like yeah. on he's on very bursty five too. turn cooldowns. Yeah, he's very so bursty, like... and it's not really rewarding burst. It's not really high yeah. damage burst. Yeah, he he he's not. You're gonna feel like he's pretty whatever in the arts team because because the the attack down is kind of whatever in the arts team. Like the 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 attack down feels a lot better in a solo. Um, but then you know if you're soloing, like you said, if you're not soloing against one enemy, then the attack down is just like Bavan She Summer is like this sort of concept sort of evolved into a modern version, right? Because like it's AOE attack down. Uh, so I don't know. It's just yeah. yeah. Yeah, and, and I mean, he was very annoying in the challenge quest, using his MP like three times on you, and then you got like 60% attack down. Yeah, it's really annoying when you can, you know, MP every turn, but that's not, not how that works out in reality. And for enemies, yeah. it's different. So how yeah, do we the, feel the, the about... Dependent. How do we feel about Saber Friend? Nah, She's bad. Uh, She's bad. I, um, I, I, I think the MP gain up at, like, in this day and age is not worth it anymore. It's not that good anymore. Like... I like the buff it, removal. It, true, I do like that, but that that's it. Like that, yeah. that's like the only thing. Almost. Yeah, no one uses her, so yeah, I think her I, gains I, I are think they're... her gains are really good, but like, yeah, I mean, like it, it only matters so much if you're spamming battery. There's a yeah, lot it, of good free options. Right. It costs that, battery to problem. use as well, and like, yeah, the the free sabers. What do we got? We got hoax eye now is is free, and available at all times. Oh yeah, yeah. And for you quick, give her you have Satanta, for... you have yeah. uh, Saber Karna. Like, I, I I just think there are a lot of good options now. And and obviously, if you move on to the single target uh, quick saber in the five star category, then you know a lot of really strong servants exist there as well. If you just have them at MP one, I feel like they probably yeah. out perform Fran and Mo like Okita oh, yeah, obviously definitely. is staple. Yeah. Uh, Medusa Saber, one of the my favorite characters to pedal to how, like how how stupidly good she is. And um uh what's the third Astolfo is also not bad, right? So Astolfo yeah. people I think overlook Astolfo Saber. Oh yeah. I, I think Astolfo yeah. Saber is actually pretty good, especially after his his uh his buff, buff which is yeah. like yeah, the, he's just a getting battery and slow charge. Yeah, he's getting twenty percent four out of five turns now. Like yeah, that's it's actually kind of stupid. Yeah, and the thing is, is like you, I used to be annoyed, you know, about his absorb with his absorb buster thing, but when you look at it realistically nowadays, um, with mighty chains, you're doing it, yeah. and two, it was going to be absorbed anyway because Summer Scotty was going to make that buster yeah. card absorb anyway. So it's really not a demerit anymore. It's just the eventuality. Yeah, yeah. I, yeah I, I think his deck should have been two busters still, but yeah. I yeah. Mean. Oh, it should have. It should have been. I, yeah. it, it would. He would have been much better as two B two Q A, because um, yeah. then one his his MP gain also would have been higher at that rate, and so that mm -hmm. one arts card would have been crazy. Yeah. Another thing is like, if you're running a quick team, you're probably gonna have a bunch of extra stars anyways, so the absorb isn't gonna be too big of a problem, even if you don't yeah. really pick that. You're it's, overflowing yeah. on Star. Like Summer Scotty, uh, once Summer Scotty's second skill when you double that up, like even without considering how much stars his MP yeah. generates itself, like the Summer Scotty's second skill is just another bunch of stars. And Summer Scotty gets yes, star 30 bombs. per turn with two, like, right? Yeah. It's, yeah. It's insane. Yeah. It, there's just so many. Never. Summer you Scott will never nuts, run out dude. of stars. Yeah. yeah. Never run out of stars. There's just too many stars for quick. 
And so, going off of how we have uh, Summer Hokusai, I don't think Maeve needs much consideration here. I think she's kind yeah. of rare, so if, if you like her or you just, you're a collector, then yeah. maybe she's worth picking in that regard. But Yeah, but I mean, her art, there's something went wrong when the artist was drawing her breasts on, like, on a, yeah. it just looks wrong. I don't know. Something just seems weird there. Like, look at Second Ascension. Something looks wrong. Yeah. I do like her hat though in the second ascension. I like her hat. But yeah. You mean you mean third? Oh, that's third. Never mind. <laughs> yeah, second ascension is a crown. Oh. But yeah, like, uh, I, it's weird. She She'd be better if nice shot had a, a better chance to land. But mm. like even it, it gets resisted so much. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. She's she, really low damage. She has like four star attack. She has attack that is like I think really close to Saber Lily, yeah. but S Saber Lily has the higher MP damage mod to make up for it. Yeah, yeah. honestly, I kind of yeah. feel like they should double down on her uh, on the supportive aspects of her because she does have some decent things. Like she has attack. I kind of think she should have been AOE. Yeah. Like honestly, I think if she was AOE because of how obsessed people are with looping. She can probably be fine if she was AOE, but yeah. because she's not, people are just like it. I feel like yeah. she's trying to be uh, Saber Rider Murasaki, but failing pretty bad. <laughs> yeah, well, which she's is the earlier one. Yeah, which is kind of ironic because debuff resist down helps her so much. Like it is yeah. such a huge boost in her capacity, but she doesn't have it. So, she definitely is. suffers from like early day experimentation fails and then yeah. because she's summer like people just they just don't bother to fix her uh, yeah well that's is... why they released a second summer mave <laughs> well that's com they're they're completely different though they, but, they, but they're not honestly i mean they're useful I, if I, would... I show you a picture of an apple and i tell you it's an orange you're gonna believe me and you're gonna believe me that's an orange oh i'm yeah oh, I, mean, I, mean, I mean game i mean yeah. photoshop dude I mean, but yeah, it's 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 Summer Mave 2, Electric Boogaloo, the better version. Yeah, better support, better, arguably better DPS, uh, even though she's more of like a self-heal weird thing. But uh, yeah, her damage is really crap, though. <laughs> I want to try her out with Caskill because I feel like they have some good synergy because of the debuff success. Oh, I hate that so much. I hate the fact that a skill seal is. Oh, I, I was talking about Saber Mave. Oh, oh, never mind. I okay. Well, I mean, <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, I brought it that up. That does you, work. You, you, yeah, that does yeah. work though. Someone in chat tested that. <laughs> yeah, last time. Yeah, Nocnaria, God, the fucking <laughs> resisting yeah. the the skill seal. Yeah, resisting the uh, my fair something. My fair status. soldier. Yeah, yeah. That's that. It's very annoying. It's on. It, it like breaks a run, which is. Hmm. Speaking of breaking runs, though, how about Summer Garrick? We're not even we're not even Bro, past that's, the, the that's, Tomoe yet. That's like oh, I'm sorry, I saw one disappointment and I jumped to the other disappointment. Summer Tomoe Tomo is, is also not bad. That bad. Oh, like, she's not that. She's like crit DPS, but it's weird. I don't know. I don't know. Her MP, I think, is really ugly. Uh, that, it, it's a visual thing, but it's so ugly it makes me not want to use her ever. Hmm. Do you ever I, have I've that? Heard... I, I heard uh, Otto explained it last time because like her oh, hands yeah. look ugly, yeah, right? They look but, CGI, like, her but... hands are not. They're not her hands. They're they're VR hands. Yeah, so, so it's bad graphics. Yeah, I'm blaming the bad graphics on the game inside the game. It's very meta, but it makes it sound better. <laughs> are you a Tomoe fan? Not particularly. I do like her gameplay though. Uh, I do like that she's like one of the only. Uh, the only AOE dot and dot spammers that can reliably spam and mm -hmm. has five yeah. turn stuff. Because, like, you got Kire, but he's only three turns. Uh, but mm -hmm. most of the dot spammers are single target. Yeah. So I I, I, I remember fighting. Um... Oh, that, that was an old exhibition. Siegfried. Uh, the Siegfried. Yeah, I yeah. remember fighting the Siegfried. I made that video before you did. Before. I made that oh, video really? before yeah. you did. Yeah. Not bad. 
my bad. All right. Yeah, bro. yeah there you go. <laughs> yeah, yeah it's, it's 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 a it's a fun uh thing. It's like yeah. a burn. Yeah. Oh, burn yeah. games are fun. Yeah, I, I, I'm always for it, that kind of stuff. Yeah, Dot yeah, is. Yeah, but then, she's you know, just a bad farmer. Yeah. yeah, she's just a bad farmer. Dude, which is uh, the, what most people care about these days. So the wiki but, has the the 3D hands um on the uh in the sprites thing, and I, I just looked it up, and it looks so bad, <laughs> bro, bro. Yeah, I, I I like her honestly though. Like her general design is cool. She has the the second ascension which is like very traditional japanese gown thing and then she has the burning blades in the third one i think it's really cool like her her second and third are like look very cool in animation her, her second attack is nice. yeah um also was she before the anti stun command code came out oh well after uh that was that was the enmite event which was like 2018 i want to say i thought that was the rerun for enmite though uh, I don't, yeah, know if I, I don't believe rerun. we. I don't I, believe we don't, had this anti. Hold on. I don't. I I don't remember when the command code system came out. Uh, it came out with Scotty. Oh, and never mind. No, it, I, NA got command codes early, didn't they? Or did they? No, I think oh, we got them at NA the same one. time. Oh. Um, I'm not sure. It might have been the year after Scotty. I don't know. It is one of them uh but yeah that's when we got heal boost as well um it's also I mean, it doesn't in the matter rare, though it's also in the rare prism shop uh he, it was well she before. has a she has a debuff immune like she doesn't need this anti-stun well right? sometimes she, the, she has one that some, lines it up sometimes the debuff immune doesn't sync up with it uh because it oh, does last five turns but it's only her. one time it's yeah you can one. get and yeah. it can get wasted yeah Not true uh, but honestly, like, her stun really isn't that hard to work around. It happens at the end of the enemy's turn, so it doesn't disrupt your cooldowns. Yeah. Uh, and you could just remove it next turn. Like, if you're using Atlas or Castoria <laughs> or Asclepius, yeah. there's there's a lot of ways of removing debuffs these days. Oh, I I, I remember why I was thinking the stun thing and why I thought it was so bad. Is because when Summer Tomoe came out, uh, you still had to use code removers to move command codes. And so oh, you couldn't just freely move works. them around. And so yeah. you were like, oh, do I put it on Tomamo Lancer or do I put it on Tomoe? And it was like one of those like choice things. Where, yeah. yeah, that that sucks. Yeah, that, see, I, that was I, really, I, really I'm, bad. <laughs> see, I'm glad the, they changed that. See, the cool thing about Tama Lancer, though, like, uh, well, I mean, first off, they removed it. But the thing is that delayed debuff was actually a debuff so you could remove it beforehand oh yeah uh, it's a clock it's, yeah it's the same way so with altera uh, with santa alteras it's the same way with writer ishtar yeah. you can I remove yeah, it's also a clock tomoy yeah. can also be cleansed at a time can it no no tomoy is an orange clock uh the other ones are blue clock so the uh, blue it, clock it is debuff, the orange clock. It, Wait, it is, is it a blue bl clock. It's a blue clock, but you can't remove it. Oh. It's treated as a oh, buff. Okay. My bad. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah it, it's actually kind of interesting. I saw a lot of people just angry at the skill because they didn't know how to read it because they thought that the stun also applied as a buff. Like, oh, like, no, why would she have the debuff immune then? <laughs> that's, that'd be so <laughs> random. Yeah, it's weird. I I don't understand why they don't let you remove the clock. It's like it's not that broken. Like who cares? But uh, yeah. that's the oversight, I guess. Yeah, yeah it's a summer servant. Some sometimes they just make summer servants and give them the weird. Or at, least, at least it felt like. I, I feel like the past two years, except for Gareth, they've kind of made the summer servants all generally good, except for Gareth. Yeah. Um, but before that, there'd always be like a hodgepodge of weirdness, and I think um, mm -hmm. summer camp was the lowest point of summer like there there was like it it was i, mean, I think one the of only the... good one was morisaki yeah i Sorry. think it was like the oh, lowest summer point. Like, kiara's they... pretty good but yeah, yeah. but like there, there's no one like like super like oh ever i can recommend this servant to everyone because like summer kiara is okay but she's a moon cancer and you know she yeah she, she's not a looper she she's she's like a soul she's like a challenge quest dps has like really good self sustaining and stuff. She's not. There's so much competition. Well, Summer used the welfare. That's different.
See, yeah, you, you got all these summer, you get, you got all these fucking garbage summer four stars, and you have Honey Lake. So yeah, t pick your poison. <laughs> yeah, it's like you're gonna roll anyway because you want Honey Lake, you pigs. Yeah. Oh, yeah. uh, and if you want to roll on the one with Summer Murasaki, you have to roll on a split five star craft essence rate right up. Look, summer that summer was so bad when they reran it. They put Fujino on the rate up to get people to roll. <laughs> yeah, that yeah, was rough. That. Yeah. And it worked. Because Fujino hadn't been seen for a long time, which is yeah, it's like three and then, I, right and then I feel like she started to pop up like every now and then. She doesn't. Yeah, the, feel oh that yeah, the, Fujino's not super rare anymore, which is yeah. good. Like, because Fujino, Fujino is one of those characters who is like, she has one gameplay style, but it's very yeah. interesting, and it, she's very yeah. good at it. Yeah, I like her very short cooldowns, but I guess we'll get into that in a bit. Yeah, when uh, we get to yeah. archers. Oh. Yeah, so Saito. Well, Saito. Uh, I feel like he's really overrated, honestly. He, he is. is He is very overrated. I, I, I think in order for him to be, like, better than... he Like, in terms of pure damage, he, he has to be MP3 to match Hokusai. Uh, but I do think he has ease of use. Um, yeah. So I, he's, I, he's I, got... I I think at MP2... He needs to be, like, at MP2, probably. Yeah. To, to be uh... worth I think people just overhype him because they're like, uh, people make a lot of videos on him because I blame funny, the memes. funny meme. Yeah, I it, hate guys, those memes. Guys, storm approaching, isn't it funny? Like well, everyone okay. laughed last time someone made the joke, right? It's funny again, uh, right? All right? Plus, so, you didn't um, you start the joke, or weren't you one of the I, progenitors of it? I started it, but who How fucking you? you know kept it alive was not me. All right. So, so somebody tried to keep it alive so hard that they grailed him. I right? think we know so, who that is. Yeah, it's not me. So whatever. Anyways, uh, <laughs> uh, it's I mean, not his green, kit's not way. bad. His kit, his things are all three yeah. turns. Like no. defense is three no. turns. No, no, that skill three is three times. Both the oh my gosh, it is three times. Never yeah. mind, that's terrible. I hate like, three times three turns. Like, like okay the the only thing he's like i feel like his skills are mid his mp is really good that's it like that yeah. like that that's that's him in a like his mp is seven hits it has the art down before damage so it can refund with the mp like you don't need a card like he he can refund very well you barely need face cards to refund his mp um so if you like that like he's very convenient to use with double castoria right but like outside of that i don't know um, but yeah, yeah, because like he can he can single target loop without cards. Yeah, that's yeah, yeah. yeah that that's like his only selling. That's uh, it's he, he yeah. He has ramp up damage as well, right? Down. Like the the yeah, because the art stam. Yeah, the arts the art stam is three turns, right? If, if I I didn't re remember that wrong. Wait. Yeah, I believe yeah, so. Okay, unless I'm remembering wrong. Is it three turn? Because it's before damage. They might, like, cut down on it if it's... Oh, I just made I... the video. How did I forget? I wouldn't say he's Saber Vlad. His card gain is actually pretty good. Um... <laughs> yeah, That's... his card gain okay. is good. Yeah. Oh, no, no. He needs to be MP5 before he's better than Saber Hoaxai. Uh, no. if... well, well, no, okay. Eh, MP4. No. Sorry, MP4. Because, like, oh, at MP4, yeah. are, are, he's 62. Are you looking at double Castoria comps? No, I'm just looking at, at the... the But, like, looking at just, the, like, the flat damage on oh, their own the... buffs. Um, And remember, he burns his own attack buffs. Yeah, he, at MP4, he's 62k versus 6 point, or 60.6 at MP5 for Hoaxai. I mean, I just I just think Saber Hoaxai is just Hoaxai is 60K really good. MP5. What? Ho Ho size 60k at MP5. Yeah, I said 60.6k. Oh well, yeah. Well, okay. Well, yeah. Like, MP4 to firmly beat her, but yeah, I I, yeah. I feel like like ease of use. Like Hokusai is a little bit clunky to use because her. I don't know. I not really, but I I don't know. I I don't like her gameplay. Like I I, I her skills little... kind of suck, dude. <laughs> yeah, it, it, as someone a with annoying. a grailed saber hoax side, I'm fine with how she works. I'm I think she's biased. a little bit. I hate her like, gut skill. <laughs> she's a little bit awkward, just from my opinion. But like you know, she's free. Like what are you gonna do about it, right? So um, mm. yeah. 
Anyways, uh, I, I, I think we've heard what you guys think about Keisuke, uh, like, I think he's okay. He's never gonna be, like, a meta pick. He's more of a fun pick. I just think that his buffs are too limited, like, because, like, they, his numbers are too low, um, because, like, what is it, on his MP, it's party attack 20%, or, well, 20 to 40% based on MP level, um, 10 stars per turn. And only fifty percent credit for Shinsengumi allies, like it, it's not yeah, I, even like I don't a hundred percent like. Personally, see, <clears throat> oh, so you, you go first. Yeah, so I like using him as a DPS, and I know that's kind of weird because like he he on paper does not appear that great. Uh, so his so the thing is you can spam his np really easily in a lot of setups because and then at that point he's got a hundred percent crit up for himself and he's got like 20 or 60 not 20 uh, 40 or 60 uh, if it's np1 or 2 uh attack and then you've got the card from his second skill you got the attack from his first skill it's not he actually does shine in the team unlike uh some self buffers because some self buffers prefer to be on their own so they can spam their np more often but uh, i found yeah well he's arts mp yeah like if he was buster he'd probably be better solo i honestly i, I would have liked him a lot better if he was not a support if he had higher numbers and just a self buff yeah. dps yeah. Like, like make him make him kind of like a really good version of uh like inshin or something I, I can actually see him being a really fun servant. I didn't yeah. say like it's gonna make him good, but I feel like that's a cooler idea than trying to half ass like a like an AoE support and stuff. So yeah. I wish it, just because Shin Sengumi is so limited. It, it's it's five people, or it's like or six people, and mm -hmm. most of them don't work well with them. Like that you got like so many Buster servants, like Okita Alter, um, Hijikata. And then you got the quick ones, which Okita, Okita, Okita. And then the only arts one is Saito. <laughs> so like, Yeah, you just use But like Saito's probably prefers just double Castoria because of how good his MP is. I mean, to be fair, he isn't like exclusively arts related. Uh, some of them being quick yeah. is actually not too bad of a thing. Like Okita, for example, she has buster cards. You can do his NP, then her NP, and then you can use a buster card and that's a mighty chain. Strangely enough, I have seen him with Hijikata um, at MP uh, at level one uh, as esports, but that's about it. I'm not. That would make sense. They all prefer I, other that supports makes over. Sense. Well, everyone but, prefers but can... other supports over these. Like these are four stars. Like yeah, Castoria, four star are Castoria is better than any other art support. Then you Scotty yeah. over anything else. You use Vich over anything else. Like, what's the point of even arguing if we're just gonna point to the best thing? Yeah, like like, like basically that's the reason why people are like a lot of people are like, oh my, can can I keep these as esports? Because like you're you're almost never gonna use them as your main support uh minus maybe one yeah, people uh, yeah, they're, they're, people also forget that like you don't just bring two supports you yeah, if you have yeah, one you dps per, per you bring five support, supports yeah. if you have two dps's you bring four supports so even if you have like three of the best supports out there on the field you could still you still have room for one more yeah and and also if you're doing you like do. not min turn you don't bring oberon yeah <laughs> Well, and also, like, even if you're doing, like, mid-turn stuff like that, you can't bring five five-star supports. You just can't fit that much on a team. Yeah, you know, often that is cost true. Are, you're picking from the most appropriate four-star support um, yep. that yep. matches. Like, so it, yep. it, it is important. And there is one four-star support from the ticket that's actually really good, but that's, I think, only one. I think the rest are ones are kind of eh. oh we might not be talking about the same server which is interesting i'm actually very curious which one you mean but hmm. we'll get to it, I i've already talked about that before but oh landing no oh no, no 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 not today okay got it oh okay uh, oh, we're not talking in, it's, i'm just saying in general i think we should oh, move on okay. to archers we spent a lot oh, of time okay. on sabers <laughs> and we there's a bunch ignore, of other classes ignore the the top row because of Zenobia, okay. like like our Emmy to Zenobia, Zenobia, and maybe Chiron, but I I think Chiron. I, I disagree. Chiron has felt fallen off. Chiron was a good support. Was a, yeah, was a very I, important I think support that, early in the game. 
I think Chiron that's the thing. Us, yeah, I think that's the but kind of the problem with Chiron. Well. It's not really the problem with him. It's the community hasn't f adjusted to him not being a support. Because, like, if you use him as a DPS, he has anti-earth, which is pretty common. He has buffer. He has defensive buff, buff removal, removal before damage. Yeah. Uh, he has some yeah. really good and utility. And then, yeah, MP as well, right? yeah. 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 So he's got a lot of pretty good basic stuff. Uh, and then, like, he's got crit buffs, and he's got uh, card buffs. He's... I'd say he's pretty good these days. People just have different memories of him, so they don't really remember yeah. what he does now. Yeah, and but, like... Uh, well, yeah. 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 But, but uh, like, once again, as, like, perma, like, I'm, I'm very tempted to not pick perma. Like, I, I remember when I was making... Like, when, when we were talking about, like, I don't... Sorry, I don't know we, but whatever. Sorry. But, like, I remember when thinking about, like, the old four-star tickets, I'm not, like, too focused on only picking the story lock. But for this one, I really feel like, you know, people should try to go for rare ones. I don't know. It's Maybe my mindset is wrong, but... Uh... No, you're correct. I Because I, I think we have so much more choices in this one. And the fact that it could limiteds be are here mentality though, because like because I'm like yeah the four star I'm gonna get them anyways right but like I I feel like for a lot of people yeah it's like yeah. kind of a whale mentality I'm like I'm like what why would you ever pick a perma you'll you'll get twenty of them and all of them you'll get twenty of them anyways and then there's like no that's that. <laughs> but the, there's also the argument of most yeah, permas starts. are not as good as the good limited like the good limiteds that like there's true. bad limiteds there's some very bad limiteds and a lot of them are in the archer class but or, well a couple of them are in the archer class um but Dude. there's mo there's some really really good limiteds um as well i mean what? zenobia is still pretty good like, what's very, oh zenobia is good yeah yeah uh, what single do we have a single target archer welfare I can't um, remember. No. I, I can think of several. No, no Santa, Al Santa, Santa Altera, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. And Chloe. Oh, Chloe. Yeah, oh, Chloe. Oh, Chloe. Chloe. oh my God, Chloe. God. Yeah, people, of course. Right. Dude, I just made the video. I literally have like Dementia. I remember talking about dementia. like um, dement Dementia. Yeah. Dementia, I've, whatever. I've never heard someone dementia. pronounce it that way. I don't know. My, my voice is whatever. It's Chloe. The dementia. Um, yeah, like like Anastasia just beats her at MP2. But yeah, it is MP2 though, so I don't know. Anyways, oh uh, sorry, we can go into perma. Like yeah, Zenobia's fine. Like obviously Zenobia's gonna be more hype right now because of NA. But yeah, I I like that she you can use her for pretty good like AOE damage, but her crits also ramp up as you're looping, because uh, like yeah. you get fifty percent every time. So her damage doesn't as. Uh, her damage AOE might fall off after a few turns, but her single target damage doesn't uh, doesn't fall off yeah. as much. I do like she's that. certainly an interesting. I I think she's like a lot of these perma's advantages is like yeah I know it's whale mentality, but like if if you somehow get spooked by by them like twice, because there are considerably less four stars on raid up than five star. If you know what I mean. Like, there are constantly banners that only have 5-star rate-ups. So the chance of getting spooked by a random 4-star is a lot higher than or the chance of getting... Or they rerun the same 4-stars over and over again. Well, like, that's just the fairy. Is... Nice. This oh, is okay. the fairy. I was about to say, how many times does Vargas fit on rate up? Yeah, that's just every... That's only fairy knights, though. Like, they really love them fairy knights. Holy shit. Oh, I mean, we all love fairy knights. Yeah. Man. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, Tristan... Uh, I feel like Tristan's aged fairly well because he's because uh, he's got like a lot of good utility options. Like he's got AOE debuff cleanse. He's got a buff removal. He's got sure hit, ignore defense, upgraded quick NP. So it's good damage. Uh, excuse me. Got I think outside of damage, okay. the other Tristan is better. Like I think I think Fairy Tristan is better yeah, than I, I get original that. Tristan. Uh, except for damage, because like in like a team with double Scotty, because I, I ran, I was doing the numbers the other day. Um, like it was like three hundred sixty thousand from OG Tristan versus like three hundred ten thousand from Fairy Tristan. 
So it's like there's there's a there's a gap there on the MP with like double summer Scotty, but it's not a it's not an insane gap. And I think the kit, even defensively, on a uh, fairy Tristan, is better because of the She's invincibility and yeah. the evade. Yeah, she she has very good self preservation. I like I don't necessarily oh, think yeah. her AOE evades that good, but she she has like very good self preservation uh, for fairy Tristan. But yeah, like normal Tristan. I, I'm very guilty of overlooking this character because, like, I remember having like a similar discussion with Mist. Uh, Mist do think uh, normal Tristan is better than Fairy Tristan, and I am like the other way around. Um, but I have to admit, I don't have too much experience with the character. Like most of the times, if I want his utility, I'd actually bring David. Um, but I, I know it's different. But uh, I, oh, I I don't know. OG Tristan also has the stigma from when he was first released when he MP sealed on. Wait, no, he still has that. Yeah, but, but he, he but now has, cleanses But now he, yeah, now yeah, he can cleanse, cleanse it. himself. Yeah, yeah, so it basically doesn't matter. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. so, but like, it, it was the, it was like a stigma there that made him like hard to use. And I don't know if that still mentally influences me, but like, Probably. I also kind of like Vavon, she's uh, like, because she has the, um, the MP seal and the skill seal and just the split battery. I don't know. I just think that Valmanchi is a better, like, if, if we're comparing Tristan, Tristan versus Tristan. Yeah, uh, I, I, I would, like her more. I like I, her I gameplay would more. Air more on the side yeah. of Fairy Knight Tristan because she, she's like she's more selfish, but like the 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 but like it's a DPS. I tend like, to go for is yeah. I, I tend to like more selfish DPSs, uh, and because of how selfish she is, she's actually like she has like pretty good survivability. With the uh, yeah. the first skill, with the invul plus the evade, plus the uh, the vampirism, uh, she actually heals quite a bit. Um, you know, she just has a mix of like good selfish kits and uh, and like yeah, like her first skill can kind of balance out the skill seal. If a lot of people really hate skill seal, where you know you're taking a bunch of hits and whatnot, um, but, but you know who doesn't have a good kit? That's right, Emya Alter. <laughs> Yeah, it's really good damage. I, I, had, I was having Emmy Alter ha all has really high burst damage, but all of his things are th are three, three hits. Yeah. So, so it I just yeah, hate dude. it. Like dude, I, was, I just hate it so much. I think I mentioned it last week, but I was having like this discussion with uh with some people it, in Mist this, server who were uh, very adamant about him being better than Chloe. Which it's because they it's saw the damage list. Spreadsheet. Yes, it's the yeah. damage spreadsheet. I one hundred percent spreadsheet mentality. Spreadsheet. Yep. Because because if you look at the spreadsheet, his damage is insane. His damage is like more than most five stars. Five stars. It, it was the highest until recently, I believe. But the pro on that spreadsheet. But the problem is that that is like one time, and then he just like falls like right into the garbage pile. Yeah, it still yeah, yeah. is like without traits, it's the highest on that spreadsheet. And with traits, it's like, you know, he's, he's still higher. up there. Dude, he has to. <laughs> oh, it's he wait, has it's to guess, not. What? He has to not use his cards <laughs> to. Yeah, to you gotta um, avoid get using cards. Damage, which, yeah, in some setups, that really screws you over because that means you're relying a lot on NP refund. And then, yeah. like, yeah. very, that means have you have to have double best. Castoria, basically. Yeah. I really hate hit base buff. It's just really. Like they're, the, the worst, they, they're the fastest way to make me not want to use a servant. The the defense up is fine. I think that's good in a team. Like, it's be, It's like oh, whatever yeah. in solos. But yeah. it, it, it's, it's very good in a team. Yeah, like, that's you, like you, his best skill. Uh, I like yeah. that skill. Uh, cause, I, I like cause... hit base defenses, no hit base attacks. Because yeah, that that actually makes sense for it to be three hits. Although, uh, it's fifty percent, right? It's not thirty percent. Right, it's yeah, it's pretty high. Okay. Rather high. Yeah, yeah, fifty percent is really high. Yeah, that that makes sense. It because like you can stack that with other defense sources, and you can you can face tank in peace. Uh, but yeah. but it, it's not the same thing with cards because you take a brave chain. His third skill no longer exists. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Uh, and then you're probably going to take an arts card and you're penalized for that because that means that's one less NP that's getting damage. Because <laughs> yeah. it's three time arts buff, which I, I hate that. It should have been three turns of arts buff and you could do three yeah. times the other. I, I don't know why both of these are hit based. Like if one of those are hit based, it's like acceptable. Yeah, both it's Salieri syndrome, dude. 
at least Sal- at least Salieri started to and escape boom. it though. Oh uh, yeah, because his buff actually uh, kind of helps him. Yeah, it, a little it, bit. Yeah, it's only one turn, but hey, at least it's high enough value to be not nothing. Well, I mean, I'm not saying his isn't anything, but yeah. And but, then ooh, uh, Ashwatthama, Ashwatthama is actually Ashwatthama. a character. I cut from my video because of time constraints. I did want to include him. Um, he's actually Tom is a, 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 the loser of the mighty chain situation, though. He's one of those rare servants that like it it did not. Oh, because because he, he is Buster MP and he wants to use quick and Buster cards. I yeah, mean, and so like fair. you lose out because you have to use the arts card if you want to really be efficient with MP mm. gain. It's the same but, with the uh, Huyen. Yeah, Huyen Zhou. I I I find it, I really want to use her like. BBQ. I feel like it uh, helps. But, uh, I feel like the Mighty Chains help him in a team where there's other servants with arts cards. Uh, true, so that kind of helps him. But like a lot of the time, like I've seen him used in solos a lot. And that's. Yeah, that's I like, like to use him solos. That's like one of I also the, don't like yeah. that his invincibility is on his battery. Yeah. That's. that's... A... Yeah, that that's less of a problem for solos, but uh, yeah, I, I know what you mean. Uh, it's uh, it's it's eh, it's like fine, but uh, yeah, yeah, it just kind of like, depends on how you're using him. A lot of he's the time, fine, yeah. but like I don't think he's that exciting. Um, he hasn't gotten a single buff. I I think he would have. He had he has a lot of like future potential. Like if he uh, he he he's like a cryptor servant. He's like a star. Like if, if he ever gets a buff, I feel like. He can have a lot of well them. also he deals damage to enemy and then removes defensive buffs yeah, that's, that's i think the that's worst annoying. part they could move it before dude if they upgrade his mp and move that to before damage he, then he, he then he, he has a play then he's using because like removing defensive buffs before damage like uh cream and whatnot and a, a couple others too, i don't know yeah. who. like that's a good thing um, yeah, and, yeah, and the defense is... down spamble with his Buster card is really it's it's very very big numbers. So, uh, so I don't want them to buff him as much as I want them to buff. Uh, I, I think we've already talked about Bob a good bit. Uh, the next yeah. one, Anne and Mary have the same niche. They have the low HP niche, and they do yeah. have a kit that is conducive to staying at. They low have the HP. one HP gun. Yeah, yeah. Oh, and I like I thought... that. But they, uh, but they're just generally worse than Ash. Uh, I I do like things about their gameplay. Like I I got them tinned out. Um, it, it it's just they feel like a bit of a weaker version of him a lot of the time. I mean, they do have an infinite guts. Yeah, yeah, but yeah. like it's it's only so valuable because it, it's better yeah. than Blackbeard, right? It's like <laughs> I. I honestly enjoyed them a lot when they first came out. I, I I think like honestly like when they first came out, their power level was really high. I don't know why people weren't talking about them actually because like they were really strong when they first came out. But like I just feel like you know without any buffs throughout through like eight years, uh, seven years. I know they got a buff. They got a battery. Yeah, it, they slacked oh, off. All they, they got was they a half assed that. They half-assed that yeah. skill so much. Uh, I wanted them to put like a like a one hundred percent crit buff on that for one turn. That makes so much well, sense because it's a star bomb and a star absorb. Because they're already archers, make, they don't really make need it the like absorb. Hijikata. Make it the scale up <laughs> with the lower HP. They're, make it like thirty percent to one hundred. So weird. So they have twenty five point five percent attack on one skill and nineteen point five yeah attack on another. Yep. So they have forty five percent attack up split between two skills. Yeah. But it's just the numbers are so weird. I don't know why they did yeah. it like that. The good thing though is like if you're using, it's it's kind of funny. Uh, Vich's first skill increases their NP damage a little bit. Oh, because it, it drains it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Wait, I, I mean, that... yeah, but it's all another good thing about that is you get ninety percent attack within two turns if you're double Viching because they have really low cooldowns. Uh, yeah. They're a fun servant. They're kind yeah. of overlooked, but uh... I think they're fine. But they're, uh, the archer, the archer one is the hard is one of the harder ones because there's a lot of good archers. Like yeah. even even on the 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 ticket list here, there's there's a lot of archers that I just think are generally more useful. Like I yeah. don't know. Yeah, like Bucci Helena's up. terrible. Helena is terrible. Yeah. Can we just not talk about how bad Helena is and just move on? Like something something she can farm now 
So, no, it doesn't yeah, matter. Yeah, if you can I mean, farm something, something damage plus is a one and is an entire skill, and that's bad. Next, yeah, yeah hey, Helena's hey, horrible. I, I, I must always say this: that skill is still better than Mephistopheles's first skill because it's at least a guaranteed drain. <laughs> I, I, I thought you were gonna talk about the the hermit crab. That's like literally nah. anyone talking no, about dude. when they talk. I would rather. Like, oh my gosh, she, she's very good against the hermit. Crab. I would rather <laughs> use saber. Uh, Bargast. Because he's a dot spammer. Yeah, Saber uh, Bargast. Yeah, like, I even yeah. made a video of that. Uh, she Triple can solo B. it. Yeah. Yeah, just do Buster Chains. Yeah. It's... Yeah. Yeah. Uh. She's not. She's basically unusable. Oh, somebody in chat asked, "What do you guys think of Apex?" I feel like one of one one of our uh, one of us have a lot to say about this. Well, <laughs> I think. Uh, Apex well, I haven't. Is good. I, I haven't played it much in the last few years, but uh, it was fun yeah, when Apex I played Legends. it. Yeah. Apex Legends, let's go. Ah, oh, the legend is I spent uh, $150 for an MLB copy. Bro. Oh no, actually, what what is what is two hundred thousand or twenty thousand yen? Yeah, twenty thousand um, dollars. No, yen's 20, very weak. So twenty thousand yen. What let's, let's USD that. Uh that's that's like hundred and thirty three dollars. That. Oh, that's not as bad as it could have been. I, I mean I've it's heard... still hundred and thirty three dollars. I've yeah, heard someone nasty, actually <laughs> make a good point. Because I was like, that C, like, why would you use that C in, like, min turns and stuff? Because it's the overcharge and proc ones. But then somebody told me that uh, if if you're, a, like, a, you're, if your MP is, like, a crit boost and the crit boost skills with overcharge, it, it, it's actually good. And yeah. I'm like, oh, and that, that does make also, sense. Also, Tonal Eco is just two more turns off the the, the battery. Like, it it, it, it it does allow you to not have to have double bitch up front. And save double vich for la the second vich for later in the fight. Just or just, beam just buy just buy koi and dark for like just buy koi and dark. Beam my oh balls. Just beam my balls. Beam anyway. I it doesn't make any sense, but it feels like it should be. A I, do, I don't like I don't like beam not because of his kit. I just think the lance looks really dumb, and I hate Bima it. Beam nuts. Yeah, his kit is actually pretty good. But like, I, I think one of his skill is just like the straight up like worst version of Ashwatthaman's skill. I think it's like a. Yeah, I don't but remember what it is. He has a penis like lance, shit. and it's I don't like it. Yeah, he looks kind of dumb, but yeah. Um. That's oh, it. Fujino. Fujino. Yeah. I, as someone with uh, Fujino was the, was the who I started Fate Grand Order with. I uh I leveled her to a. I started my JP account in NA at the same time, and uh, I leveled her to a hundred two K Fode, um, you know all that whole thing. So. I don't know. She's she carried me through the game at the beginning, all the way through like Lost Belt Four. I mean, yeah, you you won't see her in farming, but uh, it's she's like a fun. Yeah. Her fun third DPS. skill. Her third skill is so good because it, it it just prevents you from taking normal card damage. Um, yeah, yeah. it's two thousand unlimited. If you have yeah. Atlas, then it's six turns in a row of yeah, just two exactly. K damage cut. And she's her MP attack down. Such as well, good so uptime on her skills. And then she's got like sure hit and ignore defense on her second skill, so she ignores a lot of defensive gimmicks. She's a really good solo servant because of it. Yeah. She can just sit there and not take damage. Her uptime is very good. All yeah, of it she, is five turns. And her MP is interluded and yep. it has uh, it's buff block, right? It has buff block on it, which is yeah, which yeah, at the time good. was also really rare. Even now, it's not super. It's common. still rare. Um, yeah, it's like, and it's well, and like also a little turf. attack down, just in case you're taking a little bit more chip than you want. Yeah. Now, and with like, mighty chains, uh, mighty chains really helped her actually. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so I was using the her MP on the gain up really short cooldown. There. Yeah, I was using her in the um the the trial quest. I did NP quick art, and she got like eighty percent out of it. It was really good. Yeah, it's really like she's a fun unit. It's like yeah, not not for, but like not, I I think units that are not for farming is fine, uh, because like lower MP levels they probably still perform well. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, so, so okay. she's like she's like one of those ones that are fun to use, but if farming you can't recommend. But you know what? I like her, and <laughs> I I think she's good. I think I've had times where I brought her anyways for farming just because she has super effective against super large. And there's the, True. there's really rare... Like, sometimes there's dragons or something that are super Only large. Only she had a battery. 
they, if they gave her a yeah. like on her battery. second skill a 30 percent battery yeah, but then she oh no no give, put it on her on her on her third skill just make it also a 30 percent battery um but well, actually then, I mean, but no put be... it on the second because all her other skills have three effects, effects. um except for the middle one and give the other one a, a third effect because I, I believe like that's a thing like everything's three turns for her and that like, make her loop her mp pretty consistent yeah like, that'd be solo. funny it probably helps her solo more than farming even. But, I don't know. But, like, if you give her a battery, then that removes the edge that her competition has. Because Ash and Mary, uh, not Mary, Anne, um, yeah, they have 30% batteries, but she doesn't I mean, have her, one. Her damage is still, like... Actually, I lied. It's interluded. Also, yeah. wasn't she, like, the first ignore defense on a skill? Um... I... I think so. I yeah. Can't. Oh, what other I don't think it's still I don't think very it existed rare. before. It's super rare. It's, it's on NPs, rare on but it's not day. it's not common on skills. On skill like I can only think of two services that have this, which is her and Draco. Who else has that? I don't like, think anyone oh, else does. Oh, 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 um Drake. Oh Drake. Yeah, Draco Drake got it Drake. on her second skill. <laughs> it's the same character, Draco. Draco and Drake. And Drake. It sounds the same. That means they are the same. <laughs> then you've also got like some weird ones, uh, a couple archers that have the buff on their NP instead, uh, mm. like Napoleon and uh, Tomato. Oh, so so the Brave Chain can also ignore it after the MP, yeah. right? Yeah, that, yeah, that's a pretty cool thing. Although sometimes like there's buff block and that might fuck you up, but mm. but eh, whatever. Yeah, and and funnily enough, I I think this is like the only time that I. I, I think the one HP guts is actually, cause cause she takes zero, so like after she proc the guts, she might be able to like if she's fighting savers, she might be able to live at one HP. I, I've oh, yeah. had that before. I've used her in boss fights where I get hit by an MP and die, but then all the follow up attacks do zero damage and yeah. I'm, I live and I'm fine. And then yeah, I so... use Atlas and pop guts again and just keep going. Yeah, look yeah. at those eyes. The the eyes of someone who is definitely not fine. She can't see. Isn't she blind? I don't know if she's no. blind in FGO. No. Oh, she's, she's not blind. No, she's oh, just, she still has she's the just dead inside. That's all it is. Oh. She's not blind. She was assault. She was sexually assaulted. Yeah, not that was blind. a, that was a Those very mutually interesting Dude, I, start to a movie. I, yeah, I was watching that with uh, years ago with like some younger siblings, and I was like, this is not what I thought it would be. Like, oh, uh, oh. Uh, awkward. Uh -oh. And it, it doesn't even give you a chance to react. It, it, it's there's just no the warning. It just, it. It's just right into it. Thanks, Nasu. <laughs> uh. Oh, remember you remember to watch K and K. Yeah, it, yeah if you don't watch K and K with your mom, K and K movie three, get your parents in the room. Remember that. <laughs> get, find your I parents. I thought it was two. So you got a really fun movie. No, it's it's K and K three. Okay. They they. <laughs> I go literal years between watching those movies, and I still haven't finished watching them. So the soccer before. But yeah, just your I got so confused. It, it's fine. At the at the one episode that the fucking event is based on, that was the one that like I did not understand what the hell's going on. Really? Yes, the 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 apartment one. It's just a it's just like a two sides thing where it's like, man, it's been years since I watched this. I, I can't explain it right now. But I, it, it I, made sense to me at the time. Gosh, like, I, wanted, I was like, what the fuck's happening? <laughs> yeah, it's... It, yeah. I, well, I also Proto Kire that, is there. And yeah, there's Pro something about two apartments and half are dead, half are... I don't know. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, there you go. I, <laughs> uh, anyways, yeah. F Fujino's really and good, but... She, uh, got her, she got her tumor killed or something. <laughs> yeah. There's a good reason to not pick her though. Just just pull her. She's on raid up right now. Yeah, she's on raid right now. Go roll. Go <laughs> roll right now. Get Saber Shika too. You I guess. Roll your SQ you now. Yeah, now. I mean, like honestly though, like it it makes you feel like she's not that rare, you know, because you, you can see her on the banner. Like you, if you're willing to do daily singles, you might just pull her out of nowhere. <laughs> like, well, and that, and she has she has uh, after not showing up for years. I feel like she, like she's had one, two, three, four. Some, like she was just yeah. summonable on the New Year's campaign. That's why yeah. I feel so recent because she did go two and a half years without a summoning, but we had one yeah. just earlier this year, and then less than ten months later, she's here again. So that's yeah, probably why it feels never, more common. You will never see her again after this. <laughs> yeah, she'll never be back. 
Jesus is gone. She leaves. Bye All right, bye. see ya. They yeah. delete her from the game unless you rolled her. You can't pick her as support. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, Fujino's a really good one. Uh, I I think she's. And then we have Osaka Bahime, which is a really mixed bag. Look, Os like there. Like she has There's very, like, very particular uses. I know exactly what you're talking about. Uh, it happened but, yeah, twice. The, the taunt within uh, six years, abuse. which Nobody is weird cared. that it happened twice. But hey, it's like if I, I have a nickel nickels, for every time yeah. Osaka Bahima Archer was useful, I'd have two nickels, which is not a lot, but it's weird that it happened twice. Yeah, yeah it's just like yeah. Her her only other utility is she has short hit for the team, and then we have the next character standing right next to her <laughs> that's yeah. just better if, if osaka behemi archer was arts i think she would have been amazing at the time oh, and, and even now i still think there would be a use for her well there's um, no aoe arts looping archer that much they're, they're kind of rare it's just zenobia yeah. and five stars all right yeah yeah but she, like doesn't she have the ramp up crit too yeah it's yeah, after she, damage her, her yeah. buster ramp up is after damage, by the way. After damage. Yeah, it, it, that's oh, yeah. also a problem. Oh, yeah, it's team based, isn't it? Yeah, it's yeah, it, it's a team it support, party. She's, and it is she's very, weird. it's very cute because in the animation, like after she takes over, like yeah, a she's a gamer. Point, yeah, she cheers and then she buffs the entire team. Like, yeah, that's cute, but like it's just yeah, her, so slow. Her team got crits for capping. The stupid would've, mechanic. Would have been <laughs> better as an art too. servant. That's really all it boils down to. Yeah, uh, um, well, yeah. And then Calamity Jane, the one good buffer you can pick. Yeah, utility pick. Yeah, really good util utility support. Yeah. Honestly, I think even, like, I don't know if you would necessarily bring her if you don't need Invol Pierce, but, like, without Invol Pierce, her buffs are still pretty good. It's like 40% yeah. crit of three turns, star yeah, absorb up, like yeah, over 30%. a thousand percent Wait, star absorb it? up. Yeah, it's there's 40. battery on a skill, and then I think there's twenty. Is it twenty or thirty percent on the other skill? It's uh, it's ten. so it's ten percent on the second skill, ten. twenty percent on the on, okay. the on the third. Okay, if you have so, fifty stars, so it's thirty. Which it, she was harder to use, but in Buster teams now, though, with you the double stars. bitch, you you got so many stars, it's not a problem anymore. Yeah. And then um, in a quick team, yeah, it's definitely in quick a teams you got double Scotty, it's not a problem. The only time. You have to worry about star bomb CEs is uh, with uh, arts, arts, but yeah. you can just do Castoria with you know star bomb CEs. That's not terribly hard. Should to get. you keep Calamity Jane? At okay, this is actually a point I reiterated in the video. So yes, you 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 only have to ascend her once to keep her, but there is a event mission that is tied to leveling eighty, the the thing you pick, and that is tied to a set of gold foes. So you have to pick your poison. So yeah, I I would level her up. Like you're if if you're not in the habit of collecting esports, you probably don't need esports. <laughs> like yeah, copies. like like yeah. It, it, you can use her at eighty as a support. Yeah, you unless... can use her as eighty at a support. And you can just swap her out to someone else too. Yeah, like it, like yeah. she unless does invalidate friend. Sherlock yeah. for a lot of things. It's yeah. it's really just like do you do you care about men turning? If you don't care about men turning, yeah, just. 80 why not just just yeah. Her. Uh, yeah like and then even then there's a lot of situations where she's just gonna die anyways so <laughs> true she's just a four star um but yeah. yeah also remember to use her skill three before skill two because the the charisma's rng and the skill three buff, uh, boost the uh, buff chance up oh i forgot that I, it was rng it's i so i weird. always use it the no, other no, but, way around but, the, but that doesn't they always criticize Oh. But the chance is based on her probability, so it doesn't increase the chance of the buff landing. Oh, really? On the person. Yeah. Oh, then. The, oh, okay. So wow, okay, that just so, means you're really lucky, dude. <laughs> so, so unless you unless you use it on herself, it's not going to affect her. It's not no, going to so, increase the chance. So oh, the guy who called me out in the comments is actually wrong. Okay. So because there's, yeah, I'm they, pretty they sure I tested like, this. Yeah. They keep you, going like, why did you press her second skill first? I'm like, what? what? Oh, oh. Yeah, shit, it's the yeah. same as Lon Ling. Like Lon Ling, if you buff, because uh, I I know I tested this on Lon Ling. Oh, true. If you use yeah, the charge yeah. on you know someone else, it doesn't mean that they suddenly get all his buffs. You still have to RNG those. So yeah, you're right. I, yeah, yeah, Lon Ling. Yeah, there's true. buff received true. and buff applied. Uh, Dude, success. why isn't Lon Ling's it's AOE? That's weird. actually one part why I don't like him. Yeah. That's like a reason why I don't like him. Because uh, being a servant, I don't like <laughs> Ilya Archer. Oh dang, had me fooled. Yeah, who the? 
no this character is it's not bad like honestly this character is not bad but like it's just kind of whatever like she's a very whatever character i i don't yeah, yeah there's just nothing interesting about her i, I like there's I don't know. She she she's a quick AOE archer. I don't know. I just don't mm. feel she she increases the attack of other children. She's the reason we have the child trait. Thank you, game. Yeah, she, for... the, the only funny <laughs> thing people can do. <laughs> the, the, the only funny thing people do is like every time a childlike servant shows up, they just test whether they're a child. And when when Ilya doesn't buff them, they're like, "Ha ha, it's legal!" Right? That, that's literally her only existence. In like, bruh. Yeah, sausage. Anyways. Yeah, so she, yeah. she's not that interesting un unless you want to like test whether your servant is a child and you don't want to look it up on FGO Wiki for some reason. Yeah, but you can just look at the wiki to see if they're a child or not. Which yeah. I I I would argue that Sitch and I should not be technically a child because Sitch and I is Fate Stay Night Ilya. No, not no, there you go. There, 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 Ilya. there he there he ruined what do you, it. What do you oh, mean boy. there I go? What do you he, mean he, there I go? He, he he was clean for like two minutes, but there you go. No, no, Fate Stay Night Ilya is an adult, and therefore <laughs> Sitch and I, based on Fate Stay Night Ilya should not be considered a child also benny enma not a child long benny i i wish we get that soon people are about to forget about her no, they the, already have the saber one. oh you know I you know the, about long benny you, you know the attention span of this fandom <laughs> come on <laughs> no nope. i'm just wondering when they will stop caring about kamazots i i feel like kamazots would get like 180 betrayed by the community when he comes out and he's not like the edgy dude from Ordeal Call 2 or something. Okay. I mean, uh, oh my God. Yeah, New yeah, dude. Servant. I, I'm calling it now. Ordeal Call 2 is going to have an unreleased servant and people are going to complain about yeah. us not getting them. Yeah. And then no yeah, one's going to, then, gonna, next then everyone's going to forget about comma, comma Zots. Yeah. Next white day when people get comma Zots, people go like, who the fuck are you? Get out of my game. I don't want your. Didn't that happen then, like this past year or something like that? Who was the white yeah. day this year? Takasugi. Yeah, um, Takasugi. Oh yeah, that dude, man. He's literally so the most, literally the most wanted NPC. In Echo. Yeah, and, and, then... and the, like there were multiple videos made about it during, uh, during Okuni's um event. They're like, oh, I don't want, I don't fucking want Okuni. I want, I want this cool Takasugi guy. And then this white day, everybody's like, Who are you? Why are you in my house? Get the fuck out of here. Where's Camazons? Yeah, where's Kamazots? Man. Dude, Kamazots, Lost Belt 7 lore accurate, actually forgotten next year. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go, lore accurate. <laughs> Bruh. Poor thing. Uh, yeah. And then we got Anastasia. Uh, we oh, okay. mentioned Top her two. earlier. Yeah. Uh, I'm not yeah. sure how much She's... we went in depth. She's better at like, Kuro. Like... If you're she's like higher, higher MP levels, of, yeah, yeah, NP like one definitely. Of, uh, uh, she at NP one, her damage is pretty rough. Um, I I'm have her NP one on like, yeah, at NP she two. Beat her, uh, well, that's how a lot of four stars are. They're scaled around NP two being, yeah. uh, like at NP five. <laughs> and also, if you're looking at the unless damage, it's Murasaki, uh, even it's NP one beats Marioma. That's upgraded. Uh, okay. Murasaki, well, even with upgrades. not just have an upgraded MP, she's also beating down on like one of the fucking worst ones. It's it's like it's like you're beating a cripple with with a car or some. I don't I don't understand. Which is ironic because Murasaki fakes her like disability. B plus on Game Press. Wait, who has a B plus on Game Press? Ryoma. Murasaki. That's pretty. Oh, oh Ryoma. gosh, Ryoma. Oh, oh. Yeah, yeah. Someone wanted to put uh, writer list in that tier. Right, Vitalis is God. better than Ryoma for sure. Yeah, yeah, but is, she's a tier below Kentucky. Is yeah. Bargus better than Anastasia for ST? No. no, no, Bargus is strengths, and she's not pickable in the ticket anyway. But some of Bargus strengths yeah. are from the ability to switch NP types. Yeah, it's yeah. it's because she's able to do multiple jobs, not because uh, she's more of a. Uh, a jack of all trades type than uh yeah anastasia yeah. is definitely better for single target uh but anastasia can't kill more than one enemy at a time unless you target swap yeah but even then like yeah. it's not like a crits or anything amazing yeah anastasia has like a good mix of farming and 
CQ. Like her first skill is long cooldown, but like it's uh it's like uh you know 50 battery with the with the steroid. Uh so you can kind of just you, you can kind of don't not care about it uh for farming. And then her second and third skill are really good for CQs and have they're really, really short low cooldowns. cooldowns. Yeah. Yeah. Five turn cooldown on a an invuln is so rare. Dude, it's invuln plus uh buff removal res that's like a very dude i used her oh, like, i used her against the big bar guest and she just slaughters it like she is so good yeah, there. She, she's a direct counter there yeah uh, guess, skill yeah. seal I mean... buff removal resist invuln big battery so you don't have to uh worry about i think there's np drains i'm gonna say there's np drains yeah and this third skill's four turn cooldown why why is it for because it, because they want her to have almost complete uptime on that sure hit and start yeah. hard arts absorb and crit damage and mp and damage. mp damage what? Like, so like why <laughs> because uh, because she has a fey contract b plus that's insane that that, that third skill is insane <laughs> Like, I remember saying, like, oh, Riderless' third skill, four-turn cooldown, is kind of insane. They kind of still have to work around with the skill seal. It's just a battery and a star bomb. Like, this is the three-turn uptime. Four three-turn uptime effects with a four-turn cooldown. Like, no. Jesus Christ, dude. So, yeah, the 30% the arts up being on a long cooldown isn't really that much of a problem. I don't think yeah. when you have all the other effects on there. Yeah. the arts Also, up she has... I mean, the at least the arch resistance on MP activates first as well. Oh, true. Even yeah, if it's only it one turn. Damage boost. Yeah, it's, it boosts damage at the very least. Yeah, like you said. Skill seal. Some people really really hate skill seal. I only hate skill seal in solos sometimes. Like I don't really hate skill seals that much in normal comps, but uh, yeah. And even then, sometimes it's the difference between you getting your MP again or not. Yeah, definitely. Uh, if you're getting hit more, you time it with the second skill or something, right? So, yeah. yeah. Uh, so moving on to Lancers, we've made it through two classes. <laughs> oh my like we've, god. We spent almost okay, two well, hours. We can, we can speed up that um, on some of these. So yeah. Liz, uh, probably Pretty not worth okay. it. But yeah, but, yeah like, boring, but she does have good utility. She, Fion, she's don't good bother. In, yeah, because they're better ones. Like there's there's even a better one to down, like living one stairs but down and uh, like under him. But yeah. Didn't we just get Lancer Reese on the on evocation or has she not appeared yet? Yeah, but she can't move. She has she can't loop. the death bullshit. Yeah. yeah but I mean but in challenge Percival quest, for her. is Yeah. Percival true. is better than yeah. Uh, than Fion. Oh and yeah, you Lancer can pick Lancer Aries. Yeah, you can pick Percy, right? You can get Percival too. Lancer Percival Vlad also shows up a lot. Bad, but... Oh yeah, yeah. Lancer Vlad, I like his gameplay a lot. Uh, he's looking it's just pretty his good. Perma yeah, talking his points, other than other, although otherwise yeah. he's pretty good. Because like he has a really good synergistic sk uh, skill set, and like he's got mm. a lot of things that apply to his MP because he's got Buster and MP damage and attack, and then he has anti evil. And Pierce Envolm, uh, he he's honestly just really strong. Yeah. Uh, the good soloer, but I think that's about it uh, for Lancer Medusa. Eh. Yeah, is Lancer she... Medusa, I think, is under people like dunk on her a little bit, but I I, I do think that her kid is, look after how short she is oh, nerd. Okay. But Easy like to... uh, after her buffs, um, you know, because she's had two buffs. She's had, she had. Oh. Or is it three? Three, yeah, because her MP's yeah, in early. Three. Cause yeah, yeah. uh changing that third skill to give a battery, I think it was, was good. Involved. And then the quick resistance down. Oh yeah. Monster Shrink still sucks. It's one yeah. turn. Yeah. But uh I, the on the MP the quick resist down is for three turns as well. I think she's still fairly good in a team. Like if you're up against one boss. Uh, like you got two ways to yeah, stun them. Yeah, a lot them. of control. Yeah, yeah assuming exactly. they're a male, you have two ways to stun them. The other way, like I mean, you can also just stun them with the MP. Even if it's only eighty yeah. percent, that's still high chance. Mm -hmm. So she was my only lancer for the first bit of the game. So you know, I got used to using her. Yeah, mm -hmm. Parvati, um, still pretty good, right? Yeah, she's fine um 
I, like... just, I think her second skill should have been three turns, but that probably made her too good, but eh. Yeah. Um, yeah, like, if you're talking uh, farming, she's really solid, because she can even... Uh, she can even triple Scotty with zero percent if you. Yeah. If so, I you are inclined. There's so many like farming lancers, AOE lancers. Yeah. Because yeah. most of yeah. the good farming lancers are four stars, are, are, and they're are, all yeah, here. Yeah. So because yeah. you got you got Fion, yeah. Pravati, the Valks, uh, Percival, um, uh, and Melt, Melt all yeah. pickable on this ticket. Yeah, and I picked them over that just because. And it's a lot easier to do arts. Percival and Melt are the easier ones to use. Yeah, it's and just so, Percival and Melt if you want to do. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so because so like if you're considering farming, you can write off Valks and Parvati really quickly because there there's nothing wrong with them. Like they're perfectly just fine. Outcompeted by arts, but they but they're they're beaten by that. Even the same even if you're just looking at MP1. Yeah. Yeah, Nesha, I feel like uh, she's aged fairly well. Um, she's got like the interluded NP. She's got a lot of just good. Yeah. She's just good at anti-demonic stuff. I'd have to say, like her her, oh, yeah. her skill when she hits the anti-demonic is really strong. Um, yeah, yeah, because it's defense. She buff can, and wait. Her attack. battery's thirty, right? If you technically uh, it's only, want to, it's only oh, it's 20. twenty. Oh, yeah. there you go. That that's yeah. why people don't like her. The, the, that like the, it's so easy to tell why people don't like the character because they don't have thirty battery like this. Yeah, because well, like because then you can't with a fifty percent CE and a pen you yeah. can't charge a hundred. That's all. Yeah. It, or you stop uh, pretending you guys use cranking. Nobody fucking <laughs> uses cranking. Don't no, uh, lie I to use yourself. Cranking. Uh, sometimes, but I of won't anymore. You use, use cranking. You also use apex. Uh, well, here's the thing. Though. <laughs> it wouldn't twenty percent wouldn't be bad if there was any Buster support. That had a split battery. Fair. The problem is, yeah, is that right. only arts can get away with having twenty percent batteries, because like yeah. no one really cares if an art servant has twenty percent battery, because then you just use it on the next turn, like as a stopgap. Yeah. Whereas yeah. for Buster and like more. Quick, you yeah. have that whole situation. Yeah, you got so, so much think... more refund on the next couple turns that you can. So if get we gave up. the other Vich a twenty percent battery on her second skill and made her a split charger, then we'd have a thing. Wow, well, we'd have a thing, and or cooldown uh... reduction, whatever. Like, who knows? It's sad. Anyways, um, Yu Liang Yu. I think we talked about Liang Yu last time. She's like about how bad she is. She's like, yeah, she's interesting, but like, I don't think she's good enough to be run as a. Uh... Non-damaging MP. She's one of the mm -hmm. early soloist type servants, and it like in Shun, it's clear that they weren't quite ready. I like to her figure buff out how that lot, works. Though. Like her, yeah. her isn't her buff like a five turn star per turn or some shit? Yeah, it's fifteen per turn, uh, which means yeah. you can use her a bit better as a crit DPS. So yeah, uh, I, I, turn I cool still, down. yeah, I'm... yeah, but it's five turns uh, duration, no? Yeah. yeah, yeah. The the heal on being crit thing is. We so is bad. It, yeah, it, it it's good when it comes up. It's just so unreliable. I almost that hope I, she has a taunt. Yeah, honestly, I yeah, honestly, yeah. Uh, like the taunt is a really dangerous thing to add to a servant that doesn't already have it because it changes their gameplay so much. But yeah. with her, I think it's completely justified because she wants to be attacked. Yeah, you could run her like a t like a taunt tank, then she'd be interesting, right? Like if you yeah. if you if you give her MP I mean, like a like a, a Leonidas taunt or something like that. Oh, I, I, also, also idea. Uh, sorry to cut you off before you said anything. Um, you know how we have crit resist? Mm. They should make crit chance received up for her. No, because the crits usually end up doing way more damage than a heal is anyway. It just helps mitigate the damage of crits a little bit. It doesn't actually recover the damage from the crit unless you have like defensives up. No, see, 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 see cool. what you should do is crit damage, uh, crit damage resist, and then crit rate. Like, yeah, like make yeah, them crit more, but make the crits do less damage. Yes, there, there are ch like there are situations. It doesn't happen to the other way around, but I'm pretty sure there are some cases where if you're fighting against a boss. Uh, your crit damage deals less than I, I, I think for like when I'm trying to solo Dolman, 
the the tree dolmon in Heian Kill, uh, on the first bar, your crit damage actually deals less damage than your normal on crit. Yeah, hits. they have that mechanic in the game, so they could. Yeah, so so they they could. Yeah, they could give her that if they really want to sell this weird idea. And, and um, I was gonna say because you were like you were afraid of them adding taunts, yeah. but the way they can do that is to make the taunt a targetable effect. So like, oh, uh, 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 so yeah, it's not a go type. It's not a nerf. Right, so it's, just, it's just an option. You can taunt someone else yeah. or taunt themselves. That way, mm -hmm. it's people who don't want to get taunted can deal with it. So crit chance up, but crit damage down. Uh, she yeah. also, yeah, she also has the uh, that that would need to crit, taunt though. Yeah, her NP also has the uh, that effect where she's able to apply crit damage down, which uh, oh wait, you yeah, can that. She already does have that. They would just need to increase the number, reducing oh. the enemy's critical damage by ten percent for three turns. By a hundred percent. Yeah, it, it'd be no, kind of hilarious. It'd be kind of hilarious if she gutted crits that hard. Yeah, why not? Just but make honestly, her, like, have, make it fifty percent. Make him honestly yeah, though. Half. Honestly though, if it stacks up to where she's not taking damage, that's gonna help her a lot with. Her, with stabilizing after her guts procs because in my opinion she gets, is her... she's so low hp afterwards she's not doing anything like even having her take zero there like if, if you give her a passive that says she doesn't get crit no, oh, no, well, sorry so no, she takes zero from crits i think so, she's still not like people so here's the her. thing it's Literally it's happy. an on defense activate debuff that lasts three times five turns so it stacks currently up to 30 percent crit damage down for three yeah. turns so after you get hit by a normal attack, it procs the thing that makes their crits do less damage. She's a mess of a servant. It shouldn't way. have it's, used it's it. So it's so hard. It's weird. Like, it's it so hard to parse what her skills play. do. Yeah. I don't know why it uses it, uses it up. I don't know. We're getting told to move along and stop uh, talking fine, about fine, you. Fine. Jesus. Fine. Right. I mean, we'll move you, on. I mean, to be fair, yeah. All right, fine. It, okay. It, it, yeah, to be fair, we are... Uh, we do have like we are two hours left. <laughs> we can literally just skip the entire assassin section. They all suck. Anyways, uh, Percival, Percival, Percival actually has higher sustain damage than Melt in a looping composition. I specifically looked that up. But oh yeah, no, yeah. Melt Percival is consistent. Melt is higher on the last wave, and Melt can do irregular nodes. That's the difference. Yeah, so. because she has yeah. sixty battery essentially. But Percival's still really good. He can heal. He can even solo some things. All right. He yeah. Yeah. The so the other lancers, the story locked Lee is not good. I wouldn't care about Lancer, Saber, Alter, Rider, uh, not Rider. I I think Lee is not that bad because he has one turn buff. Yeah, that's, he has enough, but yeah, yeah, yeah that's, that's like fair. that's like the worst thing about him. I, I do like that he has uh, several ways of working around defensive buffs, uh, yeah. and then he does have pretty good burst damage. But and but yeah one turn effects uh, no. it's like an it's like an offensive version of yagyu but with the same problems basically yeah and, and i also think lalter needs to specifically hit the anti-trait she got with the buff otherwise she's not she's just yeah. okay like she's not too amazing um, I canis she... is oh sorry mm -hmm. oh canis is okay like yeah canis is actually pretty good I don't, I don't think canis is anything special though uh, Canis I, would be better. I think Canis would be better if Canis was single target. I think Canis is Fujino toned down. Like, Canis' third skill is very reminiscent of Fujino, but it's like straight up worse. Canis' yep. second skill's attack down is arguably worse than. I mean, so, it, it's it's more like immediate attack down, but like, I depends on the situation, I suppose. I, I, like, in solo. They did change her to single target. Have you seen the. Inner Rider. The, yeah. <laughs> Okay, but the Rider version like has not other problems. She has really high damage. Like uh, like Rider yeah. Canis has higher damage than most SSR single target riders. I I found that out when making the the Rider Liz video. She has really good damage, but you have to have her at high end. So it depends on what you do. Uh, uh Otto, you were you were saying something about uh, oh, yeah. Lalter? Yeah. Um. Oh yeah, with Walter, I was just saying I wish she had uh debuff success just so the npc will doesn't fuck you up when you don't want it to because she no, has 60 percent chance to um i hate those yeah it's like with the, you know, the rng drain or some shit is. with canis i do like that her her damage doesn't really fall off that much because like her 
Her first and second skills, yeah, they do have that short uptime, but the the crits, uh, she gets crit buffs on her NP every time she uses yeah. it. So as long as you're NPing, you still have uptime of buffs. I think the problem I find with her, though, is I really want to do Buster Brave. But, like, if you want to spam her MP, it's, like, BQA. Uh, MPQA. And so, I, I don't know. Maybe maybe Mighty mighty Chain corrupted my brain, but I don't know. Mighty Brain Rot. Yeah, Mighty Brain. Uh, Mighty Brain. Uh, Don Quixote? No. Don Quixote is, is bad on purpose. He's definitely a collector's item because he's, like, story... He... He's, what is he, limited? Or is he story locked? I don't remember. If he locked. was arts, I think he would be so much better because then you could no. do some multi core interesting stuff with him because you have the NP region on his on his second skill that gets you. Um, OK, so let's say theoretically you have him NP. Uh, he refunds like 10, 15 percent. He uh, OK, it's. It, Actually, I did the math. It's like 20%. Then, yeah, it needs 20%. Yeah, then he has his second skill that has 10% regen. That means he gets up to 30%, which means he can dump 30 on the rest of the team. So I, yeah. I think he would have some interesting multicore uses. Uh, that would also make use of his NP effects because he gives the team crit and attack. Uh, I just don't think that that quick was quite the right thing to go with for him because I, I feel like uh I feel I like think he's intentionally bad. Just, I think he's intentionally bad because he's a a little well, joke character. Yeah, it, it, yeah, it lines up with his like legend, so it's kind of yeah. Fun. So like I, I, I don't know. I, him, I can't be mad at him being bad because I think it's funny. But I've like, seen him like completely butcher Big Kiara because she's a giant. But that's <laughs> that's about it. It's bad. It's it. funny. Yeah, it's funny. Um, he, I feel like he has potential. It's just he's gimped by being a new servant and also weird mm -hmm. card ideas. Uh, yeah. So Kyo, he may Lancer. Uh, I tried very hard to make her work. Yeah, it, she doesn't. The two, yeah, the two after her are still so much better, but she at least has dot capabilities. Uh, it is kind of surprising seeing how how strong. Like, as far as dots go, uh, strong, that spamming boost instead of the uh, the, the dots itself, uh, it's yeah. interesting seeing how much that can ramp up. Yeah, it gets up to, like, a couple hundred percent. It's just, like, triple, quadruple the damage and just kind of yeah. goes crazy. Yeah, and you can double bitch and then you, uh, you apply 100% per card because you apply it on do. the NP, too. So she can, but put... I do think an entire kit around that is kind of needlessly. Yeah, um, she needs to have more yeah. things. She, it's... that's always the been her problem. She just doesn't have enough effects. It's just a meme character, and like a lot of the times when you're doing meme dot dot comps, you're actually doing burst. Like like the 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 couple few times where you actually want to do like dot damage, I feel like a lot of times you're actually doing burst damage uh like that that's what makes it like funny to to look at right like, oh my god that thing took like a hundred thousand from curse ha is funny so like she also doesn't do that that well um this is a completely yeah. content brain but yeah she's she also dies too easily for for a character who wants to like keep on doing brave chains she just dies yeah like, um raiko uh, raiko is great good. yeah uh she's didn't we mention her earlier yeah we did yeah. um but yeah just Okay, I don't think I said much anything, and uh, I yeah. this was literally the first servant that I uh, used gold foes on. Well, oh, okay. max gold foes. The first one I used gold foes on was Salter, and that was by accident. Uh, uh, yeah, so like, we definitely did not talk about her DPS. So I yeah, really yeah. As a DPS, it. she's actually pretty strong. She makes a lot of stars because we're in P, and then she's got an absorb to go with the stars in case uh, you get bad chances on that her hit counts are kind of mad but her arts card is incredible uh, it's kind of an interesting dichotomy between her and ibaraki because ibaraki has really good quick cards but her arts card is okay oh um, i did not know i, I kind of think i remember that a little bit but yeah yeah probably um, exemplified by mighty chain but yeah I, she, I do th she's a very clean Buster DPS. She doesn't have any defensive options, but depending on your setup, you might be able to work around that. And she's very self-sufficient. 
you're Sorry. using her selfishly. Having that cleanse is also very good on herself. Oh yeah. Um, yeah. And the star absorb as well. Like I, I, she, she's a good single target. I just, yeah. I, I don't think I've ever been in a situation where I've used her as a damage dealer myself though. She's um, like but one I, I have the upgrade off from a top yeah. tier probably. Yeah. But I, I do, I do use her uh, quite a bit like as that like. You know that slot in for Buster if I need to like cleanse debuffs. Yeah, uh, as yeah, 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 definitely. Yeah. Like, that, that, I, I think I she's definitely for, super yeah. useful. Um, yeah. I think it's definitely worth having a copy of her around. Yeah. Like e even if, especially if you don't have a good single target Lancer DPS as well. Yeah, full cleanse versus cleanse one is just so different. Like full cleanse is like a hundred times better yeah. than just cleansing one. Um, but yeah, so I, I I might have to fix my script because I said her DPS fell off a little bit. <laughs> Maybe yeah. I, have to fix. Uh, I mean, it it kind of depends on her Buster cards. Um, it, it like she, I don't want to say she has uptime issues, but uh, I I think this might partially be my uh myself having her in P five. She's actually like in P twelve on my my NA account. Bruh. Uh, Bruh. but. Yeah, she's, uh, she's, she's pretty strong, I'd say. Uh, and the fact that you can use her as a, a decent support as well, that's always a plus. So Ibaraki is kind of interesting because she like takes a lot of the, the qualities of Raikou Lancer. Uh, yeah. She sort of focuses more so on Selfish, herself but, and then yeah. gets, and then doesn't have the, uh, the team support aspect and i feel like in a lot of ways she's a bit stronger um yeah because her gain i find that her gain is a lot uh more reliable because freiko has like okay quick cards uh, whereas she has like four plus percent quick cards but then she has a 30 percent mp gain buff so they're they're high high up there yeah uh, she, oh, yeah, she has it's... really good quick cards. It's kind of like it reminds me a little bit of Tama Lancer having really good quick cards. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's just yeah. And I then I... then also her NP is pretty unique in that it has thirty stars dropped. Even though it reduces uh, generation, Star generation, you get thirty stars, and at thirty stars, you're basically guaranteed some cards get a hundred percent. It's better than twenty, <laughs> I'd say. Also. Her animations are just better, like yeah. I'll, I'll, like yeah. Um, the That's the cute. weird thing is that debuff resistance or debuff resistance down fifty fifty she has, which seems almost pointless. But you know she does have a debuff um, cleanse though at least. Yeah, she, she does, does have a cleanse. debuff cleanse as well. It just feels like she has like her her two her second and third skill feel like they don't do enough whereas her her first skill feels fine like her second and third just feel kind of like they're both half skills like there should be something more yeah, yeah like she, she, she probably yeah, to needs be, a buff yeah. to be fair uh raiko has raiko has kind of an inferior version of uh of her i think it's the third skill that I, that's the absorb because it's 50 percent for raiko whereas it's 100 percent for ibaraki granted she doesn't have the buster buff so you might have yeah. in a vacuum less buffs going on. I the only yeah. Raiko has what ignore defense. I think yeah. that's the, the one thing I remember. Yeah. I, I uh, forgot if also has ignore oh, defense. Has it. Yeah, oh, like Brock half of Lancers have ignore defense. It's actually kind of uh, hilarious. Melt also has ignore yeah. defense. She, True. I think she has it. He has it. Um, uh, uh, some of them have. Uh, some of the other ones have it. Yeah. Um, because they're piercing the defense. Man, that's it's a it's a Lancer thing, I guess. Uh, I yeah. think Hector has it. There's some other low stars that have it. Proto coup. Oh, Proto coup. Yeah, of course. That one I remember. Yeah. Um, and then we got Lancer Melt. Uh, I think I I, I think like we have an CQs expert better. here. Yeah, I like her better in CQs than Percival. But yeah, I'm I'm just gonna <laughs> shut up. Sorry. <laughs> like I like I don't know. I I I I had I farmed with her for for so long. You know, she is like good. I, I do think she does kind of struggle in some CQs, um, just because she doesn't have a lot of self buffs except for that one absorb, um, and fifty percent attack. It is a fifty percent attack up though. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. I, I I think um, versus like the other four star lancers, yeah, definitely better. 
but versus the like Lancer pool as a whole, it's hard to <laughs> there there's a better uh AoE Lancer, unfortunately, out there yeah. that just everyone has. Am I right? Yeah, Aris. <laughs> no, it's Melusine. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Melus. Yeah, I mean, everyone. Yes, absolutely Melt, everyone. I I think Melt's first skill could have been something more, which is a funny thing to say because it's literally a better passive twenty percent hard stuff. Like I remember when she first came out, I think that was like the dumbest thing ever. But like honestly, especially for farming, uh, I feel like that's why her farming damage, like generally, is a bit low because she doesn't have like. She, she basically only has two skills like, yeah because yeah. there are servants that have like large arts up as passives like yeah. it, it, like she, there's she some servants that have like a... 10 or 15 percent arts up as passive but so she it, it, yeah arc has 30 well that's uh, yeah. that's, that's unfair yeah but like yeah <laughs> she uses it to take up one of her active skill slots which is yeah i know what you mean and then sure. the second skill doesn't get used in farming at all. Um, it is a good, though, combination of invuln and buff removal resist, which is... The yeah, I like that for CQ. And also, yeah. kind of, basically, sure hit, because it makes her... Uh, a removal Unless page. it's a boxed buff, unless it's yeah. a boxed yeah. buff, and then it doesn't do yeah, anything. But, but, I mean, like, that's... Uh, yeah, yeah, I guess. I so. like her star drop. Like, art servants having star drop always, like, makes me a bit happy uh, with, like, Ford CQs and stuff, but... Uh... Yep. Yeah, um, but, uh, yeah. And then, yeah, I just wish her, um, I don't know, I, I wish the third skill had a longer attack buff or longer absorb buff. Yeah. I don't yeah. know, or, or a shorter cooldown. Mm -hmm. for, for, it's for it's kind of funny. I just, usage. Uh, I'm sorry, I just realized I, I, I cut you off. Um, I don't know. Okay. So, it, some people take a lot of issue with the, the drain like that she puts on the team and i kind of get that but a lot of the sports you run with her aren't going to be using their np anyways like yeah who the fuck cares and, about paracelsus's <laughs> and battery? one castoria skill one is enough yeah. to feed that skill three so it's not yeah. like it's un in access like if she wasn't an art servant it would be an issue but because she's an art servant it's not an issue yeah. at all uh so it's yeah it's really like it's not a karen situation because karen has that problem where she drains from the allies yeah, you, you have gotta, to lower yeah, you have your to be Scotty. You gotta lower uh, your Scotty's uh, yeah, you have to, too, or else Karen can't lose. You have to throw yeah. out like 15 lures to make Karen work optimally. Bruh. Whereas I think Summer Melt was like the first proper like looping. Because like Summer Melt was able to loop with just Waver and Paracelsus and no swap. I think uh, Melt was like the first like proper looping servant. Everyone else before then needed you to like swap in another charger. She's and like that's a, when I became an elitist, and it was like, ew, if you have to swap, then you're not really looping. She, she's like a big reason people were crapping on Musashi, I think, because they're in the same event, and Musashi, before Castoria, just could not loop. Uh, it's just, yep. yeah. the, the, like, like, and people are like, oh my god, this four star just pulls it off like 20 times easier than her. Yeah, and yeah. we've circled around to Musashi being shit again, apparently. <laughs> Amazing. They didn't buff her with Samurai Remnant, I don't know why. Oh, no, Musashi without the battery. Yeah, good job. Good job, guys. You should anyway. have given her the 80% battery like she has the Samurai Remnant. Come on. That, everybody has 80 in that game. Jolter yeah. has 80 in that game. Give Jolter an 80% battery, too. <laughs> why not? Bro. The, and, and then they, they nerf uh, Cersei, make her battery 80 Instead Instructions of... unclear. Gave eighty percent battery to Melusine. Yeah, just yeah. There you go. Oh, they did that already, though. Yeah, they, yeah that that yeah, exactly. that's why they'll add Melusine to Samurai Remnant because she has eighty battery. Oh, I'll just... take it. <laughs> um. Okay. Oh. So moving on to riders, there's not as many. Thank God. Riders, I I, I don't care about Marie. I'm sorry. Like yeah, I, second I, half I, of the I, list I, is actually smaller. That's good. I the already only... expressed my opinion on her. It's just, I feel like she lives a long time, but she doesn't do anything. Yeah, her damage is pretty low. That's What, Marie? Yeah, yeah Marie. So so Marie is was one of the um, easier Scotty loopers uh, after her buff. Oh, like, yeah, true. Um, but aside from that, we that it was the advent of uh, Summer Sky, her her usage just doesn't really matter anymore. It was back in the day as well. There's a lot like most modern quick loopers are really good. I just don't see. Yeah. Um, 
Martha is useful. Martha's useful, but I wouldn't. Uh, no one should waste to take it on her. Yeah, she like she's her, just a cleanse yeah. and a purge. She's a cleanse right. and a purge. Yeah, that that's all she uh, is. Sure. Pirates don't bother. Yeah, honestly, Carpo honestly, is not that bad, but yeah. Honestly, if I was considering getting Martha for the team debuff cleanse, the heal and the buff purge, I just pick Tristan instead because Tristan can yeah. DPS and do those things too true that is fair and also but he has the, less absorb the only reason people pick Martha is because it comes with like a defense down but like even yeah. you know, it's probably not good enough anymore um, actually that that did remind uh Yuri pirates they did give them a taunt and a buff and so, oh, God, so they, ha they have done that before yeah 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 so yeah they, that's they another have servant that does in uh yeah yeah and that was a big game changer for them and like uh, that yeah, they definitely appreciated it. Although there are yeah, sometimes I mean, it's kind of awkward because it doesn't always cancel the turn. Like, uh, like if yeah, they... if you're in a team, uh, it skips one action. I think like yeah, yeah. because so because if of there's Rasputin, yeah. yeah, so if there's three uh, three attacks you have to deal with normally, then you're still going to get attacked once. But I think their gut stacks with other guts. I want to say that um... I'm not. I don't remember. I don't think so, but the problem is, is that they, all they have, their only attack buff, is a single, thirty percent attack up for yeah. one turn. They're very bursty. Um, yeah, it's unfortunate. Yeah, a stall for one. Is... No, oh, sorry. Yeah, is uh, pass. Yeah, uh, I'd rather like we have Kentoki in the shop. We have Ushi on the friend point banner. Yeah, for free. Yeah, yeah it's it's just rough being a yeah, different single target, single target four star clip. rider. Yeah, honestly. Honestly, that's just going to be a big right. problem with this Forcing... line right here. Yeah. Uh, well, just these ones, because if you're a single target, you're yeah. going up against some pretty, pretty hefty Good haters that ones. are very Ushi easy. Ushi is actually so dumb. She's like a three star that's like better than four star. I don't know, bro. Yeah. Uh, also, yeah, Rider Liz. Rider Liz. And, Riderless. Yeah. and yeah, Dobrynia Riderless. is literally a year one. Ki like, Dobrynia She's... has such a boring kit except for some reason they gave her two anti-dragon skills she has but a like how often you fight yeah but right. how often are you fighting dragons i don't know i don't know there's actually a decent amount of dragon servants these days i think she's I, not that bad but it's like she's a very forgettable servant yeah and because she's, perma, she's very just... she's very boring but like when i when i've used her she actually performs decently well because she's and she's got decent crits and stuff, but Here's she's the problem. Yeah, she's just not really amazing. I know the big problem and why she falls out of people's minds. It's because she's riding a stupid dragon. If you just gave a cat girl character no, I large like the boobs, no, then she'd the, be oh, way more no, no, usage. No, because then you get to see no, the cute no, cat girl. No, 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 but no, no, no. They put a stupid dragon no, on the screen. No, bro. Okay, do you, okay. Do you know what people said before? Maybe if you just if you just made a you know big boobs cute elf girl, people would love her. Everybody hated her. No, no, okay, but the Brittle Mart's different because Brittle Mart had a cool suit of armor, her and they could have done the good. MHX thing. They could have done the MHX thing where it's like in armor, half in armor, out of armor. They her, didn't do that. They her ruined kid it. isn't even bad. Why are these? Why is the chat booing me? I'm right. Her kid, the dragon is uh, anyway. Whatever. Like, uh, yeah, dude. Without the dragon, she's just a fucking VTuber. I get out of here. All right. Yeah. Well, you know what? Sometimes that's what you need. <laughs> no, it's not what. Whatever. Uh, Huang Fei. Who? Oh yeah, we we've heard uh, yeah. Otto talk a lot about. Huang yeah. Um. There's there's writer Liz, but uh, honestly, honest, he is pretty pretty damn good uh like he has uh really good crits he spams his or he spams his np really easy or like actually kind of both because his gains at base are already good but then he also has the option of taking a 50 percent np gain buff which means like he he kills it with mighty chains uh and he he just crits really hard he's he's really fun uh in some ways i feel like he's a better version of summer canis um because they have a ton of overlap but she has better np damage she kind of is it, it, it's he's someone's favorite Plus some some can... someone really likes this dude but can i just think his art lore... is kind of generic looking tell us the lore about huang fei who i'm not fair. is it because i'm chinese 
That's your answer. Okay, I'm joking. Okay, <laughs> I, I do actually know Bro. a little bit about him. Um, because he's also in Investiture of the Gods. Um, and I only remember one thing, which is I think he um he called out Daji because he can sense that she's she's like a demon or something. And then she cooked his wife alive or some shit. I don't remember. He made a call out po post on Twitter. Yeah, like like she like he he point he pointed like at like Koi and Dark and like oh my god you're a fox. She and made she, a and then she she ate made his a wife or so, I don't remember. Okay, she like made she, a response video on YouTube where she roasted his wife. Yeah, she she live stream like eating his wife alive or something. Like he really doesn't like Daji. It's like I I think that's it. Like that that's it though. Like maybe he hurt her with something. like she he scratched her face like a little bit and then she got so pissed she just did some absolute war crimes against his family. <laughs> I kind of forgot Bro. what happened. But she, you know. <laughs> yeah. Bro. <laughs> but anyways, is it connected with Taigong Wang? Yeah, they they are in the same story. I'm pretty sure Taigong Wang made him a god or some made him divine or something cuz Taigong Wang can make people gods. Um, Dang. so, so like, yeah, but, but I, I, I kind of forgot the details, but his lore is actually really cool, but he's just, they, they made him into a perma and shoved him into a Chinese event. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. But yeah. Just very forgettable, but I think he's still very good. I have the problem with these single targets. Like if you're not picking them to up their MP level quite a bit they're just yeah. not going to compete with the welfare yeah. like yeah I, I like higher mp yeah. level i can definitely see it i think like for example when, when i talk about rider liz i think ri a lot of rider liz's survivability is not needed in if you're fighting against a caster like i don't need i don't need that much involved if, if i'm taking half damage already so i'd rather use like a more vile more offensive not violent <laughs> more offensive <laughs> more violent uh, servant yeah more, uh, yeah <laughs> my uh, servants uh, need to be more violent well yeah blood I mean, and guts everywhere well, yeah, yeah in a way, right? Uh, this is the best. A more violent servant who, who can just like beat someone up with their Buster cards, Buster crits, like Canis, right? Like Ryder Canis uh, is a lot more offensive, and I probably like because she probably finishes his job faster. But uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. and uh, he's pretty similar in that regard. Yeah. yeah. He's... Um, Ryder Mordred. Ryder Mordred. Uh, also, no damage. Oh, also, an, I'm not gonna ancient... fight this guy in chat, but Taigon is really good. Like. His damage against Divine is higher than single target. Anyways, uh, let's get, keep talking about Mordred, sorry. Yeah. Mordred really has suffered with time because, like, the, the thing that sold her a long time ago was she looped really well, but now so many servants can loop really easily and she has nothing because she had bad yeah. damage, her skills were bad, uh, her NP was also bad. It was just refund. That was all she had. Her now overcharge should have been damaged. So like she like natural refunds two hundred and she like naturally gets OC two. Yeah. Oh, that and she's much better. And she's competing with Habitrot too. <laughs> oh sure. Oh my god, Habitrot just vaporizes her with the black yeah. barrel. Oh, dude. <laughs> uh, Bro. Yeah, it's, never it's mind. It's so hard sad. to compete against Habitrot, uh, yeah. uh, who is technically a welfare and technically free. Yeah, most of these AOE. Yeah, yeah, we forgot to talk about that. Like most of these AOE writers are just just loses to Habertrot, and Habertrot isn't even like a full like she she's also one of the best supports. Anyways, whatever. It's stupid. Um, yeah. Oh yeah, we skipped Astolfo, but that uh, I mean whatever. You yeah, know, we mentioned right. Astolfo. We just said Astolfo is Astolfo. Astolfo is Astolfo. It's not worth no it. You know, haha. <laughs> PFA on MP. Who gives a shit? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Anyways, Ryder, Carmilla, uh, the divorce joke. Okay, let's skip her. <laughs> the Mao, uh -huh. uh, the name. I think we, yeah, yeah no, we, she's a debuffer, bad AOE damage. You know, uh, I, I, I don't think like out of all those, unless like she's like the only one you're missing out of all of the limiteds, I don't think it's worth it. Yeah, H horrendous DPS. Um, she has like one very unique thing. I hope they add to more servants, which is the uh, delayed MP charge uh as a debuff i think like crane oh, yeah, should I, have that, that. Would be nice like i it, it it is a very unique uh thing mm. and then she's a pretty good like crit dps and then her skill one has a skill seal so she gets killed easier which is a good thing as well oh yeah rider um, carmilla does more damage than rider mordred so take that as you will <laughs> bro 
And it, it, if you want her to be esports though, um, she's honestly still pretty good esports. But like, if you want her to be esports, you will have to skip out on the the gold foe. So yeah, I don't recommend it. I don't recommend doing this for an esports thing. Yeah, like, and then gold foes are gold foes. Also, Murasaki is Murasaki. I don't know if you want to write. I mean, they're completely different, but like that character is really stupid. That's um, she's like the best single target arts writer. <laughs> she is. Yeah. Uh, her damage is really good. She ramps up good. Some people have issues with the second skill, but as soon as you, as soon as her second skill is gone, well, you got twenty percent down on on the enemy for three turns because of her MP. It's like, like if it's Earth, then she's better than most of the five star options. Yeah, like outside of like Maeve hitting traits Mayo. or like yeah. Nemo on traits. And guess like, what? She can. She she works with Castoria, and and, and it's Earth, so everyone's Earth. Yeah, mm -hmm. everyone's Earth. It's... I would definitely say that she is better than Kentucky. Uh, mm -hmm. The only oh, problem yeah. is like he has the immediate battery, but she has delayed battery, which is better for looping. Uh, like if, if we take thing... into consideration with Cast, uh, Castoria, I actually think MP2 Morisaki beats like almost every single target rider, like including yeah. like the oh my god rider loser, but like you know, yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, like MP2, like just looking at the list, MP2 puts her at 56k, like that. Yeah, 55k beats is like standard. MP5, Liz, MP5, yeah. Kintoki. Ushi, um, <laughs> in definitely one. Ryoma. Yeah, Ryoma uh, gets beaten by her. At, in, her Ryoma NP1. gets beaten her by NP1. a lot of people. Yeah. Th and this isn't even considering her ramp up. She ramps mm -hmm. up, dude. That's before, yeah. uh, like, all that shit. So, yeah, th like, this character at MP1, honestly, I think it's still very competitive just because it's easier to run with Castoria. Like, Castoria is the most brain-dead thing in the game. If you want to fight a boss, you just slap something on Castoria, you probably win. So if you're arts, you're automatically better than anyone, right? So, like, th th that's just how it is. Yeah, um, actually, and if you, uh, single target-wise at MP1, the only thing she really loses to is made Alter and Ozzy. <laughs> and it's like... But then neither of them are arts. And so, uh, you know, arts just you has the inherent it, advantage of yeah, if you're alters, at a low MP level yeah. and you're brawling out a fight, arts will be better. Do you taste something if you have something good for free? Well, I mean, it's convenient. Like, it definitely has to, you have to like the character. Like, if you don't like the character, purely gameplay, I don't recommend picking. Uh, because, like, MP1 DPSs are generally not that good. But, like, you know, like, if you, if you like Morisaki. Yeah. If you like Morisaki. And you pick her at MP1. I think she's like, she's still competitive against like MP5 welfares, which is a lot more than most other characters can say, right? So uh, she's definitely one of the, the tops, in my opinion. That's, yeah, that's kind of a really big problem with a lot of these. Um, NP, like buying, buying, uh, picking one of these for an NP1 is always going to be rough. It's just going to be a trophy. Yeah, unless it's because, a support. Yeah, yeah because. Like five stars at NP1, they have the stat boost, they have better buffs. Uh, three stars get easy NP5. Four stars are like in this middle ground where they're uh, competing with NP1 five stars or NP5 yeah. three stars or NP5 welfares. Uh, yeah. So they there's very few situations where you want to pick an NP1. Murasaki is uh, like the one of the rare ones that can actually yeah. kind of put up a fight. Yeah. Uh, but, and yeah, but then again, there's some that are supportive, which get, that's another reason to pick them. But they're not. I feel like most four star supports kind of, kind of whatever. Yeah, I mean, yeah. there's like there's like Jane, there's Lon Ling, uh, some. I mean, like there's some really good four star supports, but like, do, do you want to spend your ticket on them? Is the question like? Yeah. Because like, uh, you, you know, like coming it. up, Gilgamesh is like really good support, but like, are you gonna yeah, spend your true. ticket on Caster Gil? Or leveling up Edison. one of your NPs. Yeah, yeah, probably. Yeah, or leveling up one of your preferred DPSs and NPs. Because like yeah. the important thing is, if you really, if you have any of these at like MP1 and you really like them, get them MP2 instead. I will yeah, always say, bigger, take so. MP2 of a servant you like over MP1 of a new servant that you're yeah, ambivalent towards definitely. any day. Yeah. 
it, it's just how the game has evolved or devolved if you want like i, I feel like for like uh, like general farming content especially like mp1s are like almost borderline unusable especially four stars. like mp1 four stars are borderline unusable uh in this like right now which is really sad but uh there you go yeah yep yeah, it's uh yeah, it's just how it is uh yeah. so up next last writer we got Canis, which we've Are already you... mentioned a couple yeah. times, but uh, very similar to Huang Fei Hu, except she's got a little bit more team stuff, and she's got more of an NP focus, but like with Mighty Chains, she's really really strong, because her gain is really good. Uh, just, it's... She's just not interesting to use. She's very... Yeah, I get that. It's like, it's like, show me default kit, and here's default kit like default summer kit she still has the you know the 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 beach skills where it's like you know apply something to male allies um and then she has the the horrible water side effect um well damage thing. i mean the good thing about the beach side skill is at least she gets it she gets uh oh yeah because it, it's unknown gender as well so it also yeah. applies to herself so i mean that's that's better than you can say for most of them thankfully but she too is sexist, except uh, yeah, yeah, I, I can't Thanks, say anything. Um, but anyway, yeah, I mean, like, if she had a way to apply Waterfield, like, especially because her NP gives attack up on Waterfield, that'd be something. Yeah, like, they're, they're... I, I don't think it's really that much of a detriment though, because like, because really, with her third skill, she's already got Absorb of a Rider, so the Absorb doesn't do anything. And then the extra stars per turn, a lot of the time that's just overflow, because like 10 stars per turn and Rider Absorb is usually all you need. Well, uh, yeah, but the MP effect is what, what yeah. really would get it going is because but it's even 20% then, extra attack. It, yeah, but even then it's like just stacks. 20%. Like, uh, it does stack, That that is true. Yeah, uh, I just feel like some people, uh, it's not like Nemo. Uh, Nemo loses out on a lot more. Uh, if if he doesn't have water side. Yeah. Anyway, um, uh, yeah. Uh, the casters. Uh, yeah. We got. I mean, Nito Chris, I guess. Yeah. Like MP one, because her MP level doesn't really affect what she wants to do most of the time. But yeah, I, mean, I do think Nito is useful to have. Um, yeah. But yeah, she's she's really boring to me. Her death is less consistent actually, because like I've I've been trying her out on the um, the 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 QP node for the blank Earth, and he, she's like the only one that can't consistently kill uh, all of them. Like Dolman has higher death chance, and Nito Chris Alter physically kills them, so <laughs> so I guess it's not fair. But um, but yeah. Mm. It's... I mean, she's still good. Like the, one of the like you want servant. If you want to pick a servant, you want to pick ones that don't that aren't affected by low MP level, and she's definitely one of them. So, Caskill, yeah, Caskill is a, a really really good option these days because this first skill, that first skill buff was just a, a, a AOE huge 20. boost. Yeah, AOE twenty self thirty. Self, uh, oh yeah, so it's fifty. Yeah, fifty for 50, himself. Yeah, 50, yeah, 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 it's. Yeah, it really, it it really stomped uh, Helena over there because that was kind of her edge. <laughs> yeah, having, crushed having, her. Because yeah, AOE twenty yeah. and self thirty. That was her thing. Because if you yeah. have his append unlocked, <laughs> which does mean you need to have more than one copy or Bond eleven or something like that. But if you can have his append unlocked with a cast, single Castoria on the field. You can use his MP first, which does increase your crit damage uh, and defense for three turns, and yeah, reduces enemy makes defense. A bunch so it's of a good, stars. It's, it's yeah. a good opener uh, NP. Yeah, um, I like using him with Tez because he has really good synergy there. Because they both have team battery, and mm -hmm. uh, they buff each. Other. Well, he he doesn't he have guts, Tez. But, yeah. but yeah, 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 yeah. And you can use you can use them with. Uh, whatever other third servant and you don't even need castoria but that's mm. assuming you have tests cersei is too low at mp1 so yeah mp1 I have cersei more in samurai <laughs> remnant than i do in fate grand order <laughs> <laughs> she's kind of she's kind of pretty good in samurai Remnant. she has a lot of aoe but uh, range sorry but yeah. 
Yeah. Edit. Yeah, she doesn't have AoE here, though. She's... Yeah, um... Yeah. Uh, I, she does have a little bit of an edge over... Uh, uh, I, I hate saying only a little bit of an edge, but at NP1, like, she out damage. Does she out damage? Uh, she has a, a battery. That's what I'm saying. Uh, I'm just saying yeah. random words at this point. Uh, she has a big battery, so being able to instantly NP, that is a nice thing. Uh, her competition in the evocation shop is just caster shooting, but she has her own issues. Well, yeah, it, it, the thing though, like for like a servant with an instant battery at MP1, even if you have that instant battery, there's not a lot of uses there. Uh, the R uh, Nido Chris has a function there with the, that battery because of the death thing, whereas Cersei doesn't have the death thing, and so she just ends up. I don't know. And like, she's a caster. Them, like, and she's I... a caster. It, it's hard. Caster DPS are super hard to recommend. I like the other 100 charger better. Uh, in the extra class, but yeah. Um, oh yeah. Uh, oh yeah. yeah. Yeah, but the, uh, well, uh, on the other hand, she can't do they don't cover. The yeah, yeah, to uh, assassins. Assassin. But yeah, she can do stuff cover. to six other classes. So <laughs> yeah, Fucking arguably leave. better against writers, which is uh, not right casters, which is funny. Uh, but yeah, um, Medea Lily. She's. Uh, if I you have they... a if you have a Sclepius, I can't really recommend her. But... F Jill hot takes. I think they should have made her buff removal res on her MP, and it's AOE. Uh, like that was back we've... before uh, double MP buffs, though. Oh, that's true, dude. We, like we we don't have that. The only character that has is Semiramis. Yeah, the spammable AOE buff removal res. Um... Uh, so I, I think that, that would have given her a niche, but yeah, I don't I don't think she's that good. I want to say um, someone else has it, but I can't remember right now. I don't know. I might be wrong. Has one? Edison, uh, uh, buff removal res for the team on MP. Like a spammable one. Isn't that... Um, Other than name? Sammy Ramis. Other oh, than no. Sammy Ramis. Yeah, no. Yeah. This is her, right? Yeah. I guess so. She's weird. Yeah. But... She... Yeah, and then, like, even as a healer, we got uh, Iris Veal. Like, even if you don't have Asclepius, Irisville is uh, looking a lot better now, because she can just immediately heal someone for, like, 12,000. And that was kind of Media's niche. She definitely needs a buff. Yep. So, I, I can't really recommend her here. Uh, Edison. Edison, Edison is slow pretty burn cool. support. Yeah. I think him at MP1 is definitely, like, a good... Like, if you don't want to be affected by low MP damage, he, he doesn't care about that. I just think it's a bit rough. To, like, like he's very, he has very interesting buffs, but it's not buffs and not things that like new players are really poised or like players without like really developed accounts are poised to take advantage of. Because like all of his skills are are useful, like defense yeah. and skill cooldown, um, star regen, MP regen, MP damage, and then the, the overcharge and crit yeah. star generation. His MP like, is also <laughs> really good, right? Yeah, and then, yeah, he he's definitely a servant that scales a lot better with very specific servants. Um, yeah, he needs a he's like a secondary support, right? Like yeah, he needs like a yeah. first. Yeah, like you'll have a, a healer or just someone who offers more longevity, but he he sits there and adds a little bit to it because what you can use you can use his skills to support the Castoria as well because. Like, there is some AoE effects to it. Like, you still get the NP yeah. regen, the NP damage. Uh, you could also use the overcharge on Castoria. That's, like, yeah, that's kind of great. <laughs> yep. Just some extra in chat two asked, hits. Sorry. Uh, sorry. I was, uh, yeah. Uh, do you recommend Double, Summer, Bavanshi, Taumo, or Edison? I actually like the Edison team. The Edison team is not able to cut the damage to zero, but he can just not allow the enemy to MP. Like, if you run that team, you run the Edison comp, he can actually, like, shut down the enemy's MP completely. So if you're against stuff like DB, like, I think I did a run with DB, uh, against DB, she did not MP for the entire duration, like, for 70-something turns. She just cannot MP. Because, like, with Edison, he also starts getting the, the regen that constantly stays up right yeah yeah yeah, yeah. so 
So he he his MP MP steals, Tamo drains, uh, Bavan she double drains with her second skill, even though it's delayed. So like, the entire yeah. team just doesn't allow them to even yeah. And there's MP. there's no overlap there. Like none of the effects are gonna get wasted on top of the other. Because like if yeah. you have two NP seals, like one of them might ping off because it's you can't NP seal the same servant twice, the same enemy twice. But yeah. since you, you might all, want to protect yeah, him more because cool. he like he has less healing to himself in that comp. So like he, he's the only one whose HP will like gradually decrease because Tamamo has morph. So like morph doesn't allow her to actually take damage. <laughs> uh, so like for that team in particular, you have to like sort of protect Edison out of all the three. But other than that, yeah, I, I actually think I think that team is less memey, but that team is like safer in general. Um, it helps you ramp up faster as, as well. Because, like, with the double Bavanshi team, it's harder to ramp up before the first couple of turns, right? At least from my experience, so. Mm. So, Shiva, yeah. I, I want to I wanna recommend her, but I I, I don't know. I like Shiva, but, at the, uh, but I wouldn't recommend her because she's yeah. one MP1 caster DPS, both. MP1, mm -hmm. crit damage thing, but doesn't have any star absorb. Um... Mm -hmm. Yeah, even then, her crit damage really isn't that impressive. Like, she's yeah, a four star caster. caster. Yeah, this is all screwed up by the caster damage mod. It's, it really yeah. sucks. Like, but the funny thing is, uh, she's she hits about as hard as Cersei. So, like, like even though one has an NP upgrade and the other doesn't, uh, yeah. it's because she yeah. actually has buffs. Cersei has like no buffs to herself. Yeah. Whereas she has like the t attack up and the arts up at least, and then territory creation. Yeah. Yep. There, are, there are some cool things about Shiva, but because uh, like I do like the arts for the team. The arts for the team that increases NP gain. Yeah, it's just hard to take advantage of everything there. She has really good NP gain though. Like her spam is really easy. She can. She even has like uh, NP refund you can mess around with. Like, uh, if if you have a good built copy, you can single target uh, nodes. You can you can three turn some nodes. Uh, oh my! One, one, okay, one. sorry. I got something on my recommended what? that just straight up lies in the title. Right. What what is it? Ah. <sighs> what? Let me give me a second. Uh oh, Sinky. NA ticket. It's not an NA. How? Oh my pick... gosh! It's oh not boy. fucking an NA. And of course, you know, you know these videos that doesn't actually give a uh, suggestion. They just say like, "Haha, if you like lollies, pick me." You right? Oh like, I'm God. sorry. Like the the these videos are just so fucking pointless. Um, and uh, it, 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 it makes me feel really angry trying to make this video and losing my fucking voice for the entire day, right? Yeah. And then they probably will get more views than I do because it's all clickbait. Because uh, half of the people from NA is going to think NA is going to get this four-star ticket. And then half of my comments will be asking, why, where, when is this coming out on NA? Two years later. What also, what, is, what does NA special mean? Like, it's not NA special. It's not on NA, bro. It's not on NA. Like that is such a fucking oh. thing. I am so sorry. That that's just straight up lying in in, in the I, thumbnail. I I hate. I like. There's. I made a post on Twitter recently saying oh, without fuck. naming names, oh, boy. saying I hate it when people post spoilers and like five people respond saying, "Is this all muscle?" And I'm like, "Yeah, well, I'm not gonna say any names." And then he said he did. Wait. Oh no! Oh, that's yeah. not and then, the, same and then the other thing, and then on, on a different post, so uh, he, someone was like, "Because because Plushy posted saying that, uh, or retweeted a post about you know like, um, you know, someone enjoys the fake Grand Order gameplay, and yeah. also posted a picture of Stockholm syndrome, and I was like, like the I'm like the so wiki page so why do you it. play the game if you don't like, like if you don't like the game, why do you play it? Just walk away." And he replies, "I do it for the money," and I'm like. You kidding me? 
I think it's his uh, villain arc. He's just like, everybody's calling me out, I might as well. Uh, right, but like, come on. I, I hate I hate it when people are like, oh, Fate Grand Order sucks. It's not fun. It's not a good game. Then why are you playing it? Why are, yeah, you, why are you doing it? Like, yeah, I like it. Like, yeah, I enjoy yeah. the gameplay. I like thinking about it and doing stuff. Yeah. So, like, uh, so like, if I hated it, I wouldn't play it anymore. <laughs> Like, I've stopped dude, playing gotcha games before. I, I read his fucking description and he has the audacity to say, Oh, this took longer than I expected. Yeah, this probably took 30 minutes, bro. Don't even like I can I can do it's, this in 30 it's minutes. It's images and text. Like it it literally bro, He he has like no vi he does no editing. Like take I can do this in 30 bro, minutes. All longer right. than anticipated is me spending 60 oh shit. Oh, oh. He keeps zooming in. Enhance. Uh, it uh, Enhance. Uh, it's this. There we go. <laughs> uh, too much effort is me spending 60 hours editing a uh, review, f like a gameplay review for some, not Summer Ibuki, for Saber Ibuki. And it got like f fucking 6,000 views. The dude could fart on a on a keyboard and oh he, he just changed more. the title he changed it to jp special wait is Bro. oh he probably fucked up he probably fucked up or is he watching the stream if you're watching if the stream he... look no offense to you as a person but like bro i'm sorry yeah like, no hate against you i just think the the i just Bro. don't like i just Bro, think spoiling people in so thumbnails is fast. bad I, I, I don't like to see lies in my recommended. I apologize. Oh my and god, he I actually is a... here. He literally Look. is here. <laughs> oh my soul, I've got... Hi, dude. <laughs> Look, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Look, I'm so sorry, okay? No offense. Uh, Look, uh, you know I'm no offense on you as a person. Bro. But like, I, don't, I don't like to see this in my recommended. I, I mean, uh, some fee. Look. Look, I'm I got sorry. spoiled by on Oberon by you like two years ago, and I'm still mad, <laughs> bro. That 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 was. I avoided Monday, the though. Chinese leaks, and I'm still pissed off. <laughs> look, look, I'm sorry. All right, I, look, I appreciate you changing Holy it. Shit. I appreciate you changing it. I'm going to give. I'm going to you know give you benefit of the doubt that you made a mistake. Okay, I I apologize. Okay, I'm going to give you the benefit of the doubt that you made a mistake, <laughs> but I really don't like that. All right. <laughs> <laughs> this is gonna be a highlight reel bro uh i'm nobody i i have no horse in this race so like like dude i'm i'm annoyed but whatever yeah like, look he changed it I'm, look see it's fine it changed it, she changed it's the same as the ztl thing like i had beef with him and then he changed it now it's whatever right yeah. like that's just that's okay. just how yeah, it at least is. it's not mundus <laughs> is oh, mundus bro. here <laughs> No, 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 he just doesn't actually no. even play dude, FGO. Dude, dude, if he's here, please reply if you're fucking AI generated. I don't believe. I you. think Mundus is AI generated. Look I, at his I, titles. I actually, he did the video. No, you don't have to delete the video. I just don't like the title. All right, look, right. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm sorry. Okay, God damn it. All right, <laughs> I'm the most based one. Thank you. Oh, my opinions hold no weight because I'm not a popular FGO uh, person. Uh, well, I mean, none of us are pop. Well, the only plushies pop. Plushie has seventy thousand subs. We're called leeches, yeah. Otto. Otto, yeah. we're leeches. Yeah, we're yeah. I am. Popularity. I am gobbling all of his clout by making this podcast. I, dude, I've gotten like a thousand look, subs since then. Look, okay, maybe I was a bit too mean bringing this up in a public stream, right? I mean, maybe I shouldn't have. Maybe I should have DM'd him about it. I apologize. Okay, like you, I, I didn't feel like you needed to delete the video. I'm sorry. You know what? Let's okay. let's move back to this. Like let's we've just only move got, on to yeah, this. we've only got so much time here. Like I, yeah, I, I got the fam to worry about. I don't want them staying awake or because of me or whatever. Anyways, uh, so we we're talking about casters, casters, Marie, we, bad, Marie, skip, nah. Marie, uh, Mew. Miu uh, is at least a support, but I wouldn't really recommend her anyways. I, uh, I think she's, like, maybe competitive at MP5. I don't know. Oh, yeah. At, at MP levels, that's true. Uh, Corday is actually okay. Like, no, Corday is not. I disagree. I, I, Corday I'm, is... I'll say she's a good bit better than Sheba as far as uh, just MP1 numbers go. 
Okay, but here's the problem with Corday. Corday Skill has the yes. RNG problem of you can only control one out of every uh, six turns of when your damage is going to be high, and the other one is completely up to chance. So he, she only has the damage bonus a third of the time, and then the uh, other in in only you know 15% of that is controlled. The other is like up to chance. So I don't I don't like Corday. I also play. don't like that. I I feel like um. I, I think as an art servant, you really want to like spam, MP like if it's against the boss or whatnot. And I feel like the the skill seal is just. You need to specifically bring someone to skill seal, otherwise wait, the damage. Wait, 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 hold on, wait, oh, wait. I, I, I'm confused. Did I just hear you wrong? Did you say something? Did you say that um, you don't want to spam, as an art servant, or did? You did you just... want to you want to right? Oh like, okay. Okay, I heard you backwards. Okay, like I I just feel like it's not that easy to like. The 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 anti trade is too inaccessible. In my opinion, it's too inaccessible, right? Well, so you can you can guarantee it once, but unfortunately, yeah. Aside from that, it's thirty percent chance. Yeah, um, it's there. I don't like that inconsistency. Yeah, there's some servants you can throw onto the team that kind of help there. Like you can throw Matahari, for example. Uh, there's, but aside from that, a, a lot of it would be just like you want to run her with uh, some semi support, semi DPS, just some DPS that can skill seal on their NP. <laughs> yeah, like uh, like Anastasia. Uh, actually, I'm not actually, running Anastasia and Corday in the same team. No, actually, yeah. Caster Anastasia does make some sense though, because she does buff her. It's... There's debuff and yeah, but like I feel like that's extra work if you have to like pair. Yeah, I mean it's uh, something. It like she has some multi-core maybe like potential. Like if she, if she's only MPing once, because her her battery is split. Uh, like two, you know, one of the thirty is targetable. Uh, you can also target herself, obviously, but um, I, 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 maybe like it, it, it's a maybe, and I feel like at like MP one, I wouldn't recommend. There are just like better options for it, right? Um, I, I feel more comfortable recommending her than Cersei. I, I think, yeah, I, no, I disagree. No. I okay. I mean, the only reason I'd agree is because she's rare. Like if hmm. both of them are equally rare, I actually disagree. I I guess mm, I guess you have a point though. I don't know because like, like there's MP1... the burst damage, like the the burst damage situation. Like uh, and she's also Cersei's arts. also MPing once anyways. She's arts right? with an art stack instead of Buster with an art stack because like the best Buster supports you got out there want Buster decks or just decks with more than one Buster card. Uh, so I feel like that's a pretty big point in Corday's favor. Uh, I like that she helps the team out with NP gain between her uh, third skill and also the fact that she makes a bunch of stars on her NP, which means you can crit the next turn for more gains. Uh, I, I I just feel like Cersei's kind of lacking. Uh, like I am as like if you're getting the pig niche, that is that is a pretty big point in her favor, but a lot of the time you're not getting it. When it matters, you're not getting that. Like, if if it's a boss fight, more often than not, you're not going to be pigging. Uh, if you're farming, pigging is not going to matter. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah, like, uh, I don't know. I, I personally think she's, like, I've tried to experiment with him, like, on and off. But, uh, her, sorry, uh, on and off. But, like, I, I just think it's a bit annoying. It, it, it's a little bit too annoying, right? It, yeah. it, it it, 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 it's a bit much. It's, a bit it's much. just casters, you know? Just like, caster things. Yeah, four-star casters, man. Uh, speaking of four-star casters, here, here's more of them. Uh, rats. They're mice. They're mice. But, but rats are funnier. Mice? No, rats. Yeah. See, rats are thing. funnier, though. Like, see, like there's a whole the, movie the word, based off of them. The word rat doesn't sound cute. Mice sounds cute. Rat doesn't sound... Rat, you think of, like, gnarly things. It's not... I don't like it. They're mice. No, nah, dude. No, I think of the, the giant rat that makes all of the rules. 
Anyway, so as far as uh, I, I, I do want to mention, um, Dicoctin does have anti-earth attribute, and when hitting trait, they do at MP1 do the same damage as Nerocaster and Anastasia at MP1, so that's my argument. Oh. Bro. I, that's a long <laughs> sentence to justify the rats. I mean, uh, well, I mean, I, uh, hold on. They, they, they're, they're all of their effects are also party wide. Like, yeah. yes, I do like that. Yeah. I, I think they're like a good, like, semi sort of support. You can kind of like, uh, th these like supports are usually, I feel at least, maybe I'm wrong, uh, usually used just for like if you're spamming anti class, like you're spamming casters against assassins, then this would be like really good if you're just, uh, but I, I don't know. There, there's, there's already a lot of good support casters though. see here's the thing i don't know how they function uh at normal two. levels oh because mine yeah. are 120 and 2k phone and i i think i have i, I, I'm, I, I'm, I am separated from the reality of them and i would be honest I, uh so i have them also in p5 but they're only at 100 but honestly i, I kind of feel like MP1. I kind of feel like I their think, damage is a bit lacking. Uh, yeah, I, I the think they're dead. It's it's just their damage. Like when they not literally Earth. don't have any other problem. When yeah, it's yeah, Earth, it's they do pretty decent damage. Yeah, yeah. It, it's just like I think the biggest appeal for them, uh, in my opinion, is just the fact that they have so many team effects, and it, it's just really good generic team effects. Like you got well, the, uh, thirty the percent charge total for them because it's regen. You got. 30% NP gain, you got an evade, you got heal per turn, which is very rare for quick servants to have. Well, they're also one of the like three quick servants that are swapless black grail looping. So yeah, yeah that's it's, it's them, Charlemagne, and Oka Alter. Like those are the only three. Karen requires swap. Yeah, but um, also so... like if we're gonna do plugless uh with Black Grail. You have to have a more than NP1 unless you want bomb 10. No, you don't. It, it, MP level doesn't affect Remember, looping is if you're about picking... overkill. Yes. And so it yeah, really depends it, on the it depends on the no. Node. No, what I'm talking and... about is second event. Oh, second event. Uh, yeah, if you pick NP1, uh, that means you're not getting second append until bond ten. Oh, that's true. Okay. Yeah. I'll that I'll concede that but, argument. But then again, like um, you can just run a different craft essence. Uh, it's like fifty percent, which is they do work lame, but very well. yeah. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, it, 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 they, they do actually they do really require second append because you want to trigger second skill as soon as possible because that's their NP battery and their ticking regen, which is what allows them to loop. So I would actually I think at MP1 that is an argument against them um, because I, I definitely think you need that append to to really get their the way they work to work. So. I, I guess if you have them at MP1 and you like them, go for MP2. Oh, but yeah. I, you're, you're right. I, and, and for an MP1 situation, probably not. Yeah, I, work out I think well. I think they're a good investment if you're uh, if you're going for higher MP levels, uh, like if you've already got one or two, because haven't they had what, a couple of write-ups recently? I think I they did. 10? Yeah, uh, I think they did have one recently. Yeah. But... I, I remember seeing it. Um, it's it, it depends on the person. I remember maybe they're seeing just, them. Maybe they the had the eighth anniversary it. summoning campaign back in August. Is they they, they definitely they reran a bunch of like four stars this Annie. Oh yeah, that's crazy. when they reran. Um, hold on, they reran Jane, Saito, Melt, Say, the Mice. Yeah, they reran a lot of good four stars in the, in August. Yeah, not bad. Yeah. So, Wu Caster is one that I've really uh, grown to appreciate. Not just because of synergy with servants that I like, but just uh, I think she's a really solid semi support DPS. Um, at NP1, it might be a little more shaky, but she does have a niche against man, which is very common. So that that does give her uh, a bit more of a selling point. And well, I wouldn't use her as a, a dps at mp1 but you still would yeah. use her np because if yeah. you're and, and this is for like i would say like in like a, a boss fight scenario because of applying that um and like that anti undead um power mod to the party and that inflicts undead to them yes um and traits traits bypass uh debuff immunity 
Yeah. So like you, you don't have to worry yeah. about which is a very um, interesting thing that you can trait someone. Um, it's not counted as a debuff, yeah. And, but it's not a debuff. Yeah. Like traits are are buffs technically. Except for Roman, I have to keep like saying this except for, shit every time. <laughs> no, except for the Roman from the command code because it's a different. It, the Roman trait is treated differently than other traits. Yeah, it's. Uh, yeah, that's why it has an icon. Yeah, yeah. it has a unique icon instead of a, a purple tr uh, diamond. Yeah. Um, man, yeah. they need to they need to make more custom icons for them because it. Uh, I. I see I some want the people... dragon trait to be a little dragon head. Yeah, yeah, that'd be cute. Uh, yeah. See, I've seen people, uh, you know how, like, in uh, uh, on the wiki, they'll have, like, uh, okay, you have mental debuff immunity, here's all the mental debuffs. People will see the purple triangle, and they're like, oh, okay, that's weird that George's dragon buff is, uh, uh, dragon trait is a mental debuff, but whatever. It's, no, that's not what it is. It's infatuation. Infatuation should have its own icon too. See, yeah. The, I I don't like infatuation. I can I presume that's like a charm, but I I don't remember what what gives that. Oh, uh, it's summer Kiara. Uh, it's, it's it's it does oh, it barely does anything. Right? It's like yeah, oh, it's it's ten percent it's crit for rate. Her down. MP. It's yeah, ten percent for her MP, but yeah, it counts it as a mental debuff. Uh, so yeah. she gets bonus damage. Oh against wait, it. Angra Mayu's waiting status is also a purple triangle. Yeah. It is. It is. It is. So like, I uh... like shit, man. Even amateur people could do something like that. It's like you got like like fifty pixels you're working with, and just make a little dragon head, make a little uh, uh, Can... fish heart or something. For Kiara. Can I get I a know. command code that applies dragon? That would make me very happy. No, it's you oh, have to no, stop no. telling no, no, that no, idea. No, 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 no. You have that, to stop that's... telling that idea. That is no. They gave Draco. They they gave Draco Roman. Why can't I have dragon? Because Roman's not a trait. It's a debuff. Like look how oh, many. Well, well, what what if it's a dragon trait debuff? Make it make well make it also I mean, like a debuff. Make it different it, from George's NP. Make it, it you it know will so benefit Draco still, but like the yeah, but it benefits me more. <laughs> See the the problem with that is like. Anti-dragon is a lot more common than like anti-Roman or anti-undead. Uh, I think anti-dragon makes well, Siegfried stupid. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, and, true. Yeah. So if you want to take it, less damage, just hit him once with a card. Let's go. Oh, that would make Siegfried yeah. like super. He's already tanky, super tanky, yeah. and he's also yeah. super strong against dragons. That would actually make that would make Siegfried actually way better in boss fights. Like solo with Siegfried yeah. now. Maybe That'd be interesting. Something. I'd I'd yeah. take that. Give me that for free. Yeah, like a defensive, like like giving something. Uh, what what's the one Nightingale has? Human. Anti human. Humanoid. Yeah, humanoid. Yeah, humanoid. Yeah, you make humanoid, so she's just stopped taking damage. It's like a, it's like a cute update. I guess. Man, I guess Sanson really did figure out how to avoid the Noid. <laughs> <laughs> uh but yeah anyways um i think woo caster is is woo caster is someone who at release i probably oh you're breaking up real garbage bad. um and i still don't think she's the greatest i th i still think assassin version is oh is that is a bit still breaking up yeah. uh am i we missed like half of the sentence oh uh, i was saying i remember when woo caster came out i, I trash talked her and called her bad um, and I'm still like not the greatest fan of her, um, but I I do think that she, with the way traits go nowadays, I do think it's a little bit better because the game does you do play a trait game a lot more than you yeah. used to. Um, I mean, she has full team uh, cleanse. Like I I, yeah. it, I just think if, that if Lance her right assassin version good, is better. Be good. I just think like her it, assassin version is better as a support. Assassin has what better numbers and the uh block. block. Up, yeah, block, buff block. block, block. <laughs> but to be fair, like I mean, Buster support is a little more universal than quick support. Um, I, I, I just, I, I man, she's she's a lot of fun with with the. Uh, I keep starting to say Summer Ibuki, but it's Saber Ibuki, because uh, it's just like it's such a huge boost in damage, dude. Uh, yeah, you can even justify using her with. 
uh, with Skahats sometimes. It's kind of like you're better off with most other things, but it does but it does mean you can go like, up to two hundred percent power the, mod the, instead. The thing is, yeah, like the the thing is, you you even get thirty percent base power mod. Like well, if, here's... It's, if it's not an anti undead like character, like in like universally, the max amount of buffs you can give is fifteen percent buster, fifteen percent attack up, thirty percent power mod. Yeah, and then twenty percent the defense will... down too. But you, you have to apply MP, yeah. undead. Well, yeah, so you, you have, have to, her. You have to unpe Santa to get those Martha, and then your DPS. You, see, you throw Santa Martha oh, yeah. into the mix, and yeah. now you're cooking. Yeah, that, that combo, yeah, that's a pretty nuts combo. Big meme combo, yeah. I forgot to mention I that. Mean, I mean, I don't know if you... Like, I don't it, know if you ever want to commit two of them, though. Like, it's... Well, I guess it's, it could be... Well, I, if I, you're I trying that to, you can... If you're trying to DPS with her, like, I mean, you got a whole welfare that gives you, like... 80% oh, damage. Of course. I, I mean, not <laughs> DPS with her. I mean, um, like, it, like if you want to, like, you have a DPS and then you have her and then you have Martha. Like, I guess that could be worth it. Depending oh, yeah. On the... uh, yeah. Yeah. I keep forgetting Gray has uh, anti undead and it's like 100% for three turns. Yeah. So, so it, it's Gray, Ibuki, Skahawk. I think so that's you can bring her against Riders. So you can enable an assassin. Well, yeah. also remember. Um... Uh, Wu, or sorry, Zhu Fu gives uh, the party also 30% anti yeah. undead. Easy to forget. Oh, oh, true. I think I dude, forgot I think about it like as soon as she later. came out. Uh, but <laughs> I have never <laughs> utilized that function. Um, yeah. it, it is so absolutely well, well, I mean, actually, she has a lot of you. Zhu Fu has a lot of pointless things in her kit. Special, um, it's just uh, like the, the U, the, like the console yeah. U MP damage and MP yeah, charge. Yeah. Oh, like, yeah. Because you're never going to use her. Can they give us an arts U so we can finally use Zhu Fu with you? Because then she's a 50% yeah, be charger good. for you. No, not you. <laughs> oh. You. I'm talking about you, not you. Now, who's oh. up first? Oh, yeah, plus like, she. Okay. It, talking about him yeah it, is it because i'm chinese okay no i'm not gonna make that joke again what uh so excuse me i was gonna say is it because i'm chinese uh but anyways no <laughs> I, other I reasons think, i think shufu's bonsi should have been anti-undead i got her bonsi recently and i was really disappointed oh the gods shufu's um, yeah. mp and bonsi are very weird like if her or if her mp was recover party hp like that would be actually good. like the That'd best be healer, I think. That'd I think she'd be five thousand heal or something. Yeah, it's yeah. five thousand heal. Yeah. Yeah, you yeah, can't have five thousand heal and then a two thousand and then a thousand HP regen, and then bro, twenty stars per turn for five <laughs> no, turns. You, you can't have that, bro. You want to uh, kill him? Uh, she's I, already dead in the water. I, I'm, I'm I want to murder him. <laughs> I like it because oftentimes I'll have her as the main supporter. Uh, cause like, I don't always use Castoria. Oh, just keep her stuff yeah, alive. I'll, yeah. Yeah. And it means I don't have to babysit her as much, uh, because like once every f four or five turns, she just gets 5,000 plus HP back. And yeah, and that means she is not the least tanky thing on the field. Like, uh, like, uh, maybe Hans or some other, uh, longer yep. support. Yep. So moving on to assassins, we've got uh, Steno. Moving on to berserkers. I mean, come on. There's there's a couple of these that might. <laughs> are be... you are you kidding? Like, all right, um, Wu is the, like, Wu is a good support. Aside from that, like, as a DPS, none of these assassins. Are well, yeah, because we got we got a good Stand AOE up. assassin oh, and a good single target. Oh, I thought assassin. you were gonna mention Steno. I Unironically, I feel like she's one of the most worthwhile ones here, but that's just because all the that's rest has fair, more honestly. competition. Her her at MP one is better than a lot of this stuff. Yeah, like, who at MP one? Steno. Because oh, like could, you uh, can at was... least have a buff removal option with like some attack support and stuff. Uh, it's just like like most of these are hard dps and they're getting outdone by welfares that everyone could get yeah i've seen uh donzo being used for support sometimes uh but that's really rare yeah that's uh, just if you need double invuln or something yeah. like and there's other servants that could do that 
Carmilla, dude, Carmilla's fucking fell off. She has really good face cards. She, she fell off. What'd she fall off? The stepping stool she was standing on? She was good. Like, there was no, she, there was no high place good. to fall from. She was good. She was good when she, she fell like, off the chair like, that she she, uh, she has really good MP ceiling. gain. Like even with mighty chains right now, she gets really good MP refund. Her her base MP gain is like two like what? It's almost on par with Sino. Yeah, she has really good MP gain, but like it's just it's not enough anymore. It's just not enough anymore. Her battery's 27, it's fucking garbage. Her drain isn't even guaranteed. She has like no she she has like the star per turn, which is it's kind of decent. Back in the day, it's just kind of like nothing burger. And like uh torture technique is one of the worst skills in the game. And then they she still has the base torture technique. Uh, while Liz got like AoE buff removal and skill seal. They should be bigger number. It, it's unfortunate. Like, Plushy, like I implore yeah. you, it, it, if it, maybe not make a video on it, like if you want to, but I want to see her NP loop and solo, like NP quick art, because she, unlike Sino, has stars per turn. I'm so, pretty sure she could do it before Mighty Chains. Yeah, yeah, I, I just want to see that with yeah. Mighty Chains, because she also heals on her NP. Yeah, like if she oh, doesn't get one shot, you can loop on like solo loop on a on, on on a rider. She can probably heal okay. Like with the heal boost, she heals what? Two uh, K, uh, three I think. Three uh, K with three K, yeah, three K. Three K is a little bit too little. Uh, but I mean three K per turn though. Three K per turn is not bad. I yeah, I'll, I'll try a lot. that. Like, yeah, three K per, per turn, turn is. If, I mean. Yeah. She's yeah. just too squishy. She gets like crit the wrong way. She just explodes. But she has crit rate down. <laughs> yeah, think about it for a second. Yeah, I, I just think I just think like she and needs. It, it would get so many buff. views too because she, people no, are like, "Oh my god, views. he's it, back it, with Carmilla." No, it it, it it literally never works. Like as much as I criticize other people's stuff, like because I'm a fucking asshole, um, like. Every time I try to be like, oh my god, look, I'm bringing back writer Carmilla. It's such a good meme. Everybody's going to care. Nobody gives a shit. <laughs> it's like, I'm sorry. Uh, but yeah. It is what it is. Yep. It is what it is. But yeah, uh, none of these are particularly good. They didn't fix Nito Chris's death, so rip. Uh, yeah, if they had changed that, I would have said well i, I still probably, probably still, recommend no yeah. because still, it, it, if you have um, i mean we're gonna get Valkyrie. the summer valks in shop eventually yeah it's yeah if you have valkyries it's just nah nah uh no, and you can always run real. Like, it's a funny joke but no one's really ever gonna take summer nito yeah all right uh you know for, i i've i've spent quite a bit rolling for summer nito i know you like the copy yeah. and wait I, I, is it the most recent one she got a uh, banner like really recent or not. yeah I, I finally got her like from one of those and it was it was i don't know like the first couple of write-ups she had i never got her and i, I spent like a, like a pack or two trying to get her Damn. before and i was like oh my god she doesn't like me yeah four Damn. stars annoying yeah my gotcha look is uh, a thing <laughs> oh berserkers uh, i'm not recommending herc fuck you that there you go yeah, oh. neither am i <laughs> oh <laughs> Man, uh, Herc, Herc require. You know, you want to talk about like, oh, you got to get bond. You know, yeah, ten for these. 10. You know, for these. Um, for these Sir events. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, try, yeah, try getting bond ten much. to even use them at all. Yeah, it's, that's the rough thing about them. But yeah. Uh, Zerkalot, no. No. Like, I mean, he farms if you've got Scotties, and but like. No. Dude, the, these are just all no. Uh, like Tomcat heals a lot. Who cares? Like uh, yeah, Fran we talked about it in the solo. Fran is yeah. Like, Beowulf, is, Beowulf does have good burst damage. So Jean, he can, but... Jean Berserker is she in Evocation? She yeah. is. Yeah, yeah. It's hard to recommend any of yeah. these. Honestly, Summer, Summer Summer Jolter at MP5 is probably better than most of this stuff. Like Ibaraki yeah. maybe for some like utility or if you like a tankier option. Um, and I, I also think uh, Atalante Altar is really good with uh, with Scotty Ruler, but it's just not saying much. Right? The, the problem with Berserkers, they just have to have some sort of niche these days. Uh, yeah. Like 
like Herx needs is just living a long time, but that yeah. Beowulf has, even has a scu like his MP upgrade isn't a real upgrade. It's yeah. unscuffing his uh unscuffing his mod, no? Uh no, it's okay. it's I think it's like uh, is it uh, half an upgrade? Yeah. I'm pretty sure it's it went not halfway a between uh yeah. mod upgraded and upgrade. Like they, upgrade. they nerfed his MP damage on release. So like the so, MP upgrade didn't bring it fully to to like Beowulf's uh seven hundred percent at MP one. Yeah, yeah, that's yeah, six, uh, it's six hundred yeah, percent is unupgraded, eight hundred is upgraded. Yeah, it's in between. It, yeah, it's so, really weird. Like, yeah, just like what I was talking about on niche is like uh, the worthwhile berserkers are the ones that have some sort of niche to set them apart because a lot of these top ones here don't really have niches i guess you can try to say penth has a niche because she has an easy to get in p but you have cream hilt here who has 50 battery uh which defensive is, buffer is generally yeah. better yeah she has yeah. she has Ramp a ton of niches that is why she is so niches. good she yeah. has good niches it's and so that's stupid. and that's why i think say is pretty good there too because her np has a bunch of niches and she crits really fucking hard she's the hardest Sage critter of all things sounds hate. weird Sage niches are a bit rough i mean I we're fair. talking about man and uh yeah it's not, not this not the shadow servant thing we're not we're not yeah. doing the shadow yeah because it's that's like 50 percent for each is yeah. uh there's that's a pretty big uh amount of yeah because she's got like lawful which is the better of the 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 alignment based ones because uh because like it could be if it's um evil or something like that then well that's all there's evil there's neutral there's good then there's insane and it, there's more than three but with chaotic uh lawful and balanced or whatever they are uh there there's only three so that's a larger net that it casts hmm. Yeah. And then Creamhild has yeah. that same advantage because it's chaotic. I I, I just feel and like dragon. Yeah. I I just feel like she's just I don't know. It's it's just so overtuned for four star. She has the biggest battery. She yeah. has she has buff removal, defensive buff removal before damage. She has a ramp up art style like Murasaki. Uh, she has yeah once again two very common anti traits. Well, that, and, and that's the thing is because her damage is on par with the five stars. Oh, if yeah, you both, did tell me about it. If they're both at the same MP level or they're both at the same levels, they're so close, it, it's irrelevant. And then the fact that the others don't have traits, then the, the only competition is Castoria, who has traits to hit. And Castoria is, a dev, uh, yeah, I mean, also has... Oddly enough, a huge battery. I mean, she, her, her, she, her only competition is Castoria, in my opinion. She scales better with MP levels because that's just how unupgraded MP works. Uh, upgraded MPs scale better at, like, how do I put this? Uh, like, an MP1 MP that is upgraded versus unupgraded is a bigger difference than an MP5 MP upgraded versus unupgraded. So, like, when, when you, like, go full whale mode on Krimhild and you get her to MP5, she really is just, like, out-damaging a lot of five stars at MP5. Well, not a lot of, just the arts ones. She's not even out-damaging them, but, like, she has the ramp-up arts down, you know what I mean? So... Yeah, well, because, like, if, if we look at, like, damage, um, like, cream hitting one of her traits... Puts her above Vlad and Galatea, um, and like I didn't even do the cast. calc. Like maybe with two layers of art stone, she already out then. I don't. Know. So, so the so I'll, I'll throw this out there and just uh, just so I feel like Galatea still has a bit of a chance there because as I was talking about with niches she doesn't have offensive niches but she has a lot yeah. of defensive niches like she has yeah, buff yeah. removal resistance she has team debuff clear and team heal she has uh, like she has 100 a percent defense up like she yeah doesn't and then guts so she yeah so Galatea has things that sell her that aren't offensive and 
Yeah. Like if we only include offensive, then uh, then Cream Hill's going to be creaming them. Yeah, it, it's that <laughs> yeah, Galate but... is the the situations that you want to use Galate in are just less common. It it, it, it Galate definitely shines in bosses that are like applying debuffs at the end of every turn. Yeah, like, she, yeah. she's almost uh, like, like a, yeah uh, there are some times that i would use galatea above uh counterclassers just because she has a mix of really good defensive niches and she's a healer right so like if, if you're running yeah. an arts team somehow yeah. without uh lady avalon or even with lady avalon yeah, right she, she she's a healer on top of all of that yeah so. bro six thousand health for the entire team that that's a lot of healing <laughs> It, it it's like one reason why i kind of like to pedal trunk sisters but it, this is like the like a better version of that because like oh wow now i don't have to worry about healing too much because my dps also heals the team as well on top of the the support so really uh, yeah I, I think her use case is definitely very different from most yeah. other single target arts yeah, yeah. uh but yeah yeah and, and i definitely that... think that that definitely shows against Creamhild, because even though Creamhild's like way better offensively, Creamhild, well, uh, yeah, I guess she does have the the taunt. The taunt is really good. Taunt well, is Creamhild throws someone to die. Galatea yeah. keeps the team alive. Creamhild sends someone off to die. Yeah, she she can yeah. even taunt herself, and then you do the you and do the the, the Castoria. Uh, yeah, you do uh, the yeah. Castoria thing where you involve her, yeah, and then yeah. you so, get MP so you game turn her way. into Summer Reese, basically. <laughs> Yeah, you I, want to get hit. Like, I, I I think that's actually one of the the biggest uh, like discussions people are gonna have is Cream Hild or Summer Heiress. Uh, that that's... I do think uh, th that is the basic like if you're not looking for like a farmer, you're not looking to fill like a support niche. The two DPS are Cream Hild and Summer Aries. Um, I I actually disagreed they're... with with Noel on this. <laughs> this is so funny. Uh, I I think it's Cream Hild. Because as I call it, like, no offense to my viewers, but, like, as I like to call it, I think Creamhild's the normie pick. Like, she just fits, like, most stuff better, uh, in my opinion. Like, unless you really are lacking an Avenger, because Avengers versus Rulers are traditionally... I feel like they they nerf Ruler bosses a lot. So, like, also, Avengers just eat through them for free, so... I do want to interrupt. Am I the... Like, Aerysse is written out as Aerysse, so that's why I always say it, but you two keep saying Eris. Or Aries well, I say or Aries, like he says Aries. Aries. We Am got a I lot of the coverage. crazy one, or are you two the crazy ones? Because I'm just reading the name as it shows in Japanese. Yes, you two are Japanese, saying something different. Aries say, but like, I thought it was an English name. I don't know what. Language. I don't know what the name is. I, hey, I, I, hey, at least, like, at least none of us are saying Eriche. Who says Eriche? Eriser. Heard some people. Eraser. Eraser. Um, um, so counterpoints. Estrella. Okay. Uh, okay. Estrella. I feel like Estrella is a lot more general use, uh, and she's still really strong, like e even okay. less general. So Estrella has Invol Pierce and an upgraded MP. Yeah. I think at lower MP levels, Estrella could definitely be the easiest one to use because also ruler class being ruler class, right? Mm -hmm. So. But I personally find her damage to be how how do I put this? I when know. not hitting trade, it's not good. It mm. it's upgraded. When... It like I, I think it's MP5 syndrome though. Like I, I, I think at MP1, her damage compares fairly well. Uh even when not hitting traits with, with some of these options. Like maybe not against Creamhild. Because Creamhild's I don't know. Like, Cream Hill definitely does the most damage just because of being Berserker. Like, if we're considering 1.0 and 1.5, I'm pretty sure Cream Hill does the most damage um, at, at MP1. But um, that's a hard one, yeah. Yeah. I, I just like I mean, that she's a ruler. Uh, she, she takes longer to die than either of the others. I mean, she's also general pool, though, so, you know, that minus 50 points. Well... Well, do you need her events that badly though? No, it's it's not about that. It's more uh, like no, it, it's it, it's it, it's it's more whale mentality. Uh, I, I I get uh, Astrea okay. is very good, but like, but Astrea can spook you at any time. Her her crits are consistent. Uh, her her crits aren't for damage anyways. Her crits yeah. is just to spam her MP. Yeah, um, she spams easier. Uh, okay, 
the way I mean that, it, like, she initiates her own spam easier. She's not as reliant on battery spam. There is that... one thing I don't like about her kit, though, is it, one turn buff. on turn one. No, the one turn buff isn't the problem. The problem is on turn one, if you want to use her third skill, you have to also be using either her second skill or have a different source of stars on an arts yeah. team. Yeah. Um, and, and sometimes I don't want to use her arts thing. So like, it, it's just something else you have to be yeah. concerned about yeah. when using her is you have to have is she needs stars and I hate skills and anything that requires stars to be on the field. Damn. And, and, and it does eat it right i'm pretty sure her, it does yeah it, yes. her, her skill does eat it so like it's fine I mean, like at least it's only like five stars it, it, you can even if you're spamming just whatever normal cards okay uh, you're so, probably gonna have at least five i will give Actually, you I this four i think if we don't specifically consider like meta art supports like double castoria astrea probably is better but I, I feel like with double caster, like a berserker is just so strong, right? And cream is easier to use for as a farmer. I um, think that Ares say is harder to use also with, if you're not taking supports into concern because she ha she relies on getting hit <laughs> for things. Oh, because her second skill. Because I mean, second yeah, skill. yeah, she only taunts for one turn as well. You know, I mean, she I doesn't can't... need it though. I don't think she needs it. Uh, I, her damage is already really good. Oh, sorry. What, but but that's what inflicts the curse. No. Her second, sk the, her second no, the, skill inflicts the oh, curse. And that's the, the taunt. The, yeah, well, that's fine. If you... She has, she has her first skill. Like, like even without... Like, at the very least, you'll bring one Castoria, right? Like, are, oh, are, you, are you ever bring her with no Castor? I don't know. Hey, so, sorry, Otto. What are you going to say? I was, I was going to say, like, I kind of wish she had skill seal on her NP, honestly. Or on her second skill, at least. What, Eris? So she yeah. gets hit twice? Uh, three yeah. times, sorry. Yeah, I mean, yeah. I... I I think it's a difficult decision between who you want to pick. Like, personally, I just go with the one that you already have one copy of and upgrade their MP. That is true. Like, like, yeah, obviously, that, that, yeah. like, if you're looking for the power pick, if you already have one Cream or one Ares, say, or even like one Estrella or something like that. And you just want to pick the one that increases your, your power the most. Because as I said earlier, take an MP2 of a yeah. servant you already have and like over a new servant. Yeah, it's better than just getting it. Unless you're like, filling some kind of support gap. But like, yeah. there's not a lot of support gaps that these four stars feel outside of like the only, like I think important one is Jane. Because she can give Ignore Invuln to Jane and maybe, maybe Lancer Ico. Right, like, I think no, I, I, no, I, I uh, think that with the existence of like uh, Habitrot or uh, like, like, um, I mean, Habitrot BB, can't cleanse, though. BB is accessible, oh, BB. yeah, true. BB is accessible. Like, I, I think that you know, with with those type of situations, if, if you're really looking for that, there's other options, but the, no the one else gives like one is definitely, uh, yeah, uh, uh what, what, what's her fit? Uh, Calamity Jane is yeah. definitely the the most like unique one. Like once again, the only other quote unquote uh replacement is home. And like you don't really yeah, it's Holmes. And right? Holmes it's... requires to use his MP, yeah. which means you're running either a K scope or something, and someone said well, I mean, MHXX. Well, MHXX oh, is a good to be fair, target. Holmes has a battery now. Yeah, Holmes has a battery. Like, uh, unless you're specifically esporting, I think uh, Holmes with battery is pretty good. But yeah. Uh, oh, look, e it's my recommendation list. I, what I do, you think? I do, I, I do yeah. think Involve Pure CEs, though. Like, like here's my question. Like, do you ever like gravitate that heavy towards Black Grill? Uh, Black Grill plus Calamity Jane instead of just running an Involve Pure CE if you're not doing min turns. Like that, that, that's that's like my. I I forgot how many good free ones you have. I'm pretty sure you. have you can get a couple of good free ones, right, for Invol Pierce? There's a couple. Like, we've gotten a couple uh, over time. Yeah. Um, I, I think we glossed over one servant that we should at least oh, mention. Shoot. Oh, um, a Faker? Yeah, Faker. Yeah, Faker yeah. is a really, really good pick. 
because uh, like she's just like you just yeah. pick her and you and you can nuke one of like six different classes because you can use her against any of the knight classes you can use her against casters berserkers or alter uh, or alter egos <laughs> and some of those is are her, a little more niche but is her damage good enough for that though um it's better than you can Cersei, you can just give her black grail though like uh, there's no penalty penalty for that because she has a hundred percent battery she's yeah she's also not like a farm exclusive unit um in my opinion yeah. like yeah. like and then she has a taunt so like if you just she, want her to deal with one bar maybe. she's like decent in cqs i i don't i think the taunt protects her though i don't think she actually ever dies from the taunt yeah no the taunt uh, is 50 percent even I did. I, I I do know that it also absorbs curses, and so it's just kind of funny if you run her with two Van Goghs, you can spread a uh, bunch of curses. One yeah. Van Gogh absorbs them, then she can absorb them, and then the other Van Gogh can absorb. It doesn't do anything, but you can just transfer them around a couple times for funsies. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, just passing just things the I think about sometimes. It's just passing yeah, she, the pipe she is over also here. Perma, like she's also like kind of like a stray. I, I I think if you're purely considering farming like I, I guess this would be an argument right so out of all of these four like single target four stars if, if, if you're considering farming i think uh astraya uh, not astraya i i think uh faker and creamhild are the best ones and if you're considering pure cq probably astraya and Aries. Aries. like yeah uh, like creamhild's like high on both spectrums that's why I, like i end up Preferring Cream Hilt over Aries. Uh, Aries say, <clears throat> uh, if if you if you really want me to pick one, um, but yeah, is that worth using SRs for farming? I that's fair. MP1 SRs, but like I I think Cream Hilt can definitely farm well. Uh, so can like MP2 Cream Hilt, MP2 Faker can both farm well. Um, I, I, I think if you're if you're using um if you're using low MP levels for farming. You're probably looking at 90 plus nodes instead and even and yeah. in those situations for your single target you can use because 90 plus and 90 plus plus still follow the same rules of you can dual core and have a single target yeah. there to clean up things and i yeah. i don't think that ssrs like you say SSRs, are that much saying better. ssrs are better at farming but like they're a not lot that of, much better <laughs> there's a I mean, lot of times you, you can use at least you can use you four can stars in yeah in 90 plus pluses a lot there's a lot of time four stars work out just fine yeah they're, they're not that much better at it 90 like, plus well, plus single core is the dumbest thing i've ever heard you don't do let's, that let, let i mean let, let's take it back a little bit right like it's it's not even trying to prove srs at mp1 is unviable in farming if you're putting that much like if you're putting that kind of uh, standards to it, then SSRs that MP1 also can't farm. Like, like, okay, okay, so let's put it this, okay, Creamhild. What's your replacement for Creamhild in farming? Name your replacement. If you say Kintoki, I'm banning you. Okay, banning him. Uh, like, okay, so... Ban him. Go ahead, do it. Alright, so... It's true though. Okay, so what if they don't have Kintoki? Like I, I, I don't under like I, I don't understand your logic. Like you, you, you're saying as if SSRs are doing like double the damage SRs are when they're not. Like if you look at the damage sheet, the, the like Kintoki literally out damages most things in this game. You can farm with SR, okay. But everyone get farming. No, no, I don't have Kintoki. I don't have Kintoki. I, no, I only have. Kintoki I literally in don't. I literally don't have Kintoki. Not everybody rolls for fucking farming DPS. Like that's I'm not, not how railing my bunion to a hundred. I'm not rolling for Kintoki. You, you're not getting me with this nonsense. That's what. I, no, that what I mean. What do you mean? Like. I, I don't see how Kintoki like Kintoki's existence do, does it remove value from Creamhild? Uh, <laughs> Everyone aim to get a good meta farmer. Okay. So so what does that have to do with uh not but picking Kintoki 
isn't like the good meta farm. Kentucky is only useful for those weirdos who do speed farming. No, I mean, 90 plus plus single target, though. He's like, yes, but like without even special then... buffs, he does the most damage. I don't think it's worth using an SR ticket to get a farmer. Yes, that is understandable. But if you're upgrading their MP, I think it's fine. I think if you're up like MP1, yeah, maybe not. Like upgrading MP, I think it is worth it. Like, what do you mean you should do it anyways? Do what? I don't want to be too toxic to that. I, I already was toxic earlier. <laughs> he didn't delete his video, by the way. So don't try to guilt trip me into thinking he did. <laughs> oh, um, okay. I just realized. Oh, that's why uh, you didn't respond when I said, okay. Oh, did okay. you mute yourself? Yeah, yeah, I, I muted myself when I forgot to unmute myself. Uh, yeah, I, I said that, like, sometimes I use uh, Kentucky for multi-core. But, I mean, like, yeah, I mean, I, if you have... Oh, I, I just saw you comment. I literally just saw you comment that on, on Discord, Rio. <laughs> yeah, I, I sent it a while ago. I'm like, I'm like yeah. he didn't actually delete the video. Nope. I'm like, I, I, I feel bad because I might have been too harsh to, like, play... Because, like, I act like I, I was really offended by it, but I really... In the end, I'm not really that offended That's by That's just how it. you and speak, I, right? It's I just like think, it, you know, yeah. you, you gotta play things up. Look, yeah. I, I, uh, yeah, anyways. Uh, so, okay, sorry. Go, going Kentucky. back to... Uh, going back yeah. to Kentucky. Like, I, I, I've I, never... Like, do I have Kentucky? I'm, I'm, I'm logging into JP right now to see if I have Kentucky and JP. Because I honestly but, don't think I do. But not for... Okay, I, I don't understand why not specifically with the SR ticket. Like... I, I, I get you think it's very valuable, which it is, but like, I don't understand why specifically not worth going for it on the, like, is there that big a difference to wait for their banner and pull for them and then picking one here? Meant for vibes? I mean, yeah, I know that that's why I said like, you should, I didn't say that. I said that in my video. Shit, I didn't say it. But like, it, obviously you should go for who you like. Uh, Obviously you like, you should like, Dude, that, that's just such a null statement. Like, like every video would say like, oh, you know, but, but before, just, just to avoid offending people, right? Like, but before I start breaking down these servants, always remember you should roll for whoever you like. Yeah, no shit, dude. I, I know. Like, we all know. <laughs> like, it's more impactful to say, get it. Like, I, I think a better way to even phrase that instead of like, like go for who you want is... MP upgrade who you like versus getting a new servant. Like yeah. I think that's that's probably a more I don't someone might yeah, yeah. would anyone say that's controversial? It's but not. like I think I, it's true. I, I, I did it, put it that sense. in it, I did put that in my video as well as the SSR ticket, I think. Uh I, I, I said like for most DPSs, I suggest going for MP upgrades, especially for SRs. I I, I really believe like SRs at like mp1 just doesn't compete with most other stuff like, uh, like they don't. Uh, uh, unless for very uh, for very specific character and for very specifically good characters you might as well go for mp2 so they out compete stuff right so like i it, it's just like the, the game has evolved in a way where they they really like mp levels like i, I remember they being really in like hate a, mp1 like yeah like i remember being in a chinese forum and then there's just like one comment like random comment that hit me so hard uh he just said like why is mp1 just fucking unusable right now and that's just so true like mp1 is like almost unusable <laughs> right now uh, unless you yeah. i mean you you can just not run 90 plus plus you can always well, just that, not that, run 90 plus plus right but and, like, and the thing is i don't think mp1 is particularly unusable in the sense of like you couldn't play the game with it it's, it's just farming if it's you just... have like a servant at like mp2 or mp3 and then you use your mp1 you feel very bad. You, you feel, feel like bad, like very garbage. Like yeah. I, I, I use like my my like an MP5 neutral, and then if I go to an MP1 class advantage, I still feel worse. It they they basically it, it's it's less so like pay to win. It's more so they want you to dump all your resources in a single character, and I feel like that that idea is reinforced with class score. Like they just really want you to fucking and grails focus on what, like yeah. class score and grails. Everything yeah, is about so, pumping so. up. Like, I have invested so much in just using Melu scene that, like, I can. <laughs> like, yeah, it, like anyone else, it doesn't. Like, I'm sitting there 
generating like stars, you know, out the wazoo, super high crits and face card damage. If I switch to any other class, I just lose so much damage and like effects. It feels like a different game. But yeah, like like honestly, uh the the game just wants you to dump all your resources into one character that's why people freak out over right. like universal dps's right. so this is this is what you do so you roll np2 summer Buki, you roll np2 uh Gross. berserker kentoki and then you can just roll whatever else because uh, that's going to cover your farming for basically everything i mean yeah yep. i mean yeah but like you might as well go for whoever you like i i, I feel like you can brute force I do, I do think it was funny because like uh, two years ago, mm. uh, the the uh, the idea came up with if you just roll every character that comes out around the Lost Belt 6, your account is set because that's Castoria and Vich, Oberon, and then you got Morgan and, you know, all that. And you're like, you're right. basically like set if you get the Lost Belt 6 collection. Lost Belt 6 and then Summer 7, then you actually then so, you literally yeah. have everything. That's yeah, so th literally that's all you need. Well, get Lost Belt 6 crew and then Summer 7. And you can kind of just ignore everything else and you'll be fine. Yeah. I'm pretty sure there's like almost no like, yeah, like Kuko cool, cool Khan is good, but she's not rec like, she's not, you know, needed or anything. That's why I don't think the SR ticket is good for that in the long run. I mean, it depends, right? Like if a person doesn't have the, doesn't have the budget or he just doesn't like to invest in like one 120, I, I think getting characters to MP2 is a reasonable amount of investment to make that character usable. I, I think like the, the game is playable with like everything at MP2 maybe. Like it's, yeah. it's, very, oh, no, it's 100%. Very, very, very much playable. Like even at foreign, like 90 plus plus farming, if you're not like super hyper focused on like six CEs, uh, things that, like if you just generally have most stuff at MP2 is probably a very playable game even until the highest difficulty stuff. 90 plus um, plus with like taking like maybe sometimes a k-scope or a 50 percent charge c mm -hmm. if you pay attention to like traits you could probably get away with everything in mp2 yeah i mean sure but that's not the most optimal and we're talking about the best one gameplay it's not one okay well then who do you suggest then just not dps's i guess that's also an argument like just not dps in general because like okay he here's the thing Be because you are peddling astraya very hard so is, is he like, peddling astraya he was like, if, if, if we're talking optimal, then yeah. I'm not recommending any DPS. If you don't have Jane, you get Jane. If you don't have Raiko, get Raiko. If you don't have Caskill, get Caskill. Take get the supports. Okay. And then Mo that's it. <laughs> Most of the things Astraea can handle, Cream Hilt can do in CQs. That's my argument. And Cream Hilt can farm a little bit better. Like, we're comparing, like, close stuff. But, like... Like, like... I, I'm, I'm not trying to call call you out. I'm, I'm just saying, like, my point is Creamhild is just... Like, if you bring Creamhild to a boss that is good with Astraea, yeah, she's not going to do as good. But, like, you can't really say... Like, if you're fighting a Chaotic... Oh, shit, most Chaotics are evil. If you're fighting a Dragon, <laughs> or, like, Neutral, <laughs> right? Like, 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 uh, like uh, Creamhild probably does better, Right? Like if if you're fighting a dragon, Cream Hill probably does better. Cream Hill has uh, like removed. Uh, she she also ramps up her arts down. Like I I don't see I don't really see a world where like, oh my god, there's a boss and then Astraea just I I can't see a world where that happens. But like I can't see a world where that happens every day. You know what I mean? Like um, yeah, it's a very small difference. So like, why not go for also like, dude. Do you know how little of a shit people give for like challenge quest? That's that's also, so sad, but that's just how it is. Uh, does oh, does, it, does, does anyone know an Astraea? Huh? Uh, does anyone know of a, is there a, a five turn or four turn uh, Astraea on full gauge comma? <laughs> okay, this is so funny. This is funny. So the character you pick gets a fifty percent damage boost, right? Yeah. Uh, for the duration of the event. I saw someone on Twitter say he's going to pick Astraea just to do the, the B3L run. Really? Bro. To do a, a yes. the four turn? Yes, four turn. He he, he he's, he's, he's going to pick it for the 50% damage boost to do the four turn combo. I knew someone would do that because I'm like, because like I know Creamhild can do like a five turn of it. Yeah. Um, 
Uh, you could four turns do that. are. I, I already picked Saber Altar because oh. I just wanted an extra MP. Because I, I have everyone else uh, MP levels I want them at. Yeah. And Saber Altar never Man. gets rate up. So I was like, I'm like, I'm just going to grab Saber Altar. And so I've had her, her at MP3 now. I might regret this, but you know what? No, it does not give you more EXP. This uh, We talked about this, I think. Because I, I, I remember seeing EXP received by the selected copy of the Servant is doubled. But that one does not carry over. That one only, they specifically know that people would pick the servant they want to 120 and then they just have the EXP requirements and then they're like, nah, we can't let that happen. So it's tied to the specific copy instead of universal across all copies. Unless and every you were, hold on, NA people can big brain this now. So NA oh, people, if you want to 120 someone, gather all the copies in advance, have an MP4 sitting there off to the side, but don't skill it or anything. Yeah. Then bro. wait till you get the copy, feed the other copies into it, then level it to max, yeah, then that's start it's... grailing. That's, <laughs> that's the that plan. Is, that's that the two year plan. Head. That's actually five head. That it it's that reduces is... so much EXP. I'm gonna it's do doubled. that. <laughs> it's doubled the, the the amount of EXP you are receiving. So it's halved. Like the amount of five star, like this, how many fucking five star EXPs you need uh for 120. Cut that in half. That's uh, literally oh like man, dude, I that's wish. so much. I that's wish. so much. Dude, NA players need to think about that. If you yeah. if you're gonna 120 someone, roll nine copies of your five, four star, and then don't and then remember you gotta wait ten months at least. At least yeah. ten months before yeah, you can level because, them. Because none of the 2023 ones count. Yeah. So, you so you then to you gotta wait. wait ten months. Like who would you do this for? I get you could do cream healed, you could wait literally 18 months or two years yeah just roll so, cream hill in dude. the one gina event and then 120 her during the, oh my god oh my gosh it's so it's smart it's over it's over dude, dude. It's... Or, or fujino so you can literally roll fujino right dude now. it's so dumb because the the smart thing would be you uh you roll like four copies of whatever servant from this year like you could get a summer servant and then, oh yeah, you could pick that summer servant, but you can't but because nah, you can't you pick. Can't. Yeah, so uh, so, it, so it, if you want to do something with um, with like summer Aries, uh, she does get a rerun this year though, doesn't she? Yeah, it? yeah. You could just wait to roll. Yeah. yeah, I mean, sure, you can't use them for the you know the, the year beforehand because you don't want to level them and waste that experience and, and lores. But think about it: if you're really dead set on 120 and you're being efficient. By the way, I am not efficient. I when I go to 125 of the Grails, I will just sit there for 15 hours spamming the XP node. Bro, I'm the worst. Plus, she, uh, I don't, I don't remember if you said so uh, or said whatever. But who did you pick on your main account? Hello, Plushy. Earth and Plushy. Plushy, did you die again? Um, he, he died. God damn it. Chinese media got to him. Ah, uh, shit. Uh. Well. He'll come back. Don't worry. Yeah, he, he's he's picking back. right now. Okay. Come back. There he is. You but did, yeah. You undyed yourself. But uh, yeah. Who did. Um, I, I was asking. Uh, sorry. Uh, I was asking. What servant did you pick on your main account? I didn't pick yet. Who oh. are you going to pick? Uh, probably Kijo Koyo, because oh. I'm MP4, and she's MP4, I have her grailed. Oh, you should, yeah. Yeah, 100%. Easy, easy yeah. choice. Yeah. I mean, I, I was considering Salter, just for the memes, but like, it's, dude, MP1's not gonna do shit. Spawn oh, you 10. didn't have Saber Altar before? I did not have Saber Altar. Yeah, mine was MP2, and so she I was like, She has like, like a whatever. cool costume, but that's about it. Like, I, I've also considered Nero. I only have her at MP1, and I do kind of want to try her solo, but like, I don't know. It's, it's, it's whatever. I, I, I probably just, just hate to have to dump resources into someone who's MP1, honestly. Yeah. So. Uh, yeah, Saber Altar is a huge bait. I I made sure I mentioned the, the Bond 10 coin. Well, I thought it was Bond 7, but I'm stupid. So it's actually Bond 10. <laughs> but, no, um, don't take her MP1. That's such a bad mistake. Yeah, you, yeah, you you absolutely need to fucking bond ten her, which is, it's it's like Herc, it's the exact same bait as Herc. I think she's better. Like 
against three three three, she doesn't need a pen to. Um, but uh, I th uh, think actually, hold on. If you if you do it a certain way, I don't think you need plug. Um, I think the setup I did with her on my alt because I think I have her in P one on my alt. Uh, no, it's uh, double vich on and waiver. Yes, and you can... on three three three, you can do double vich waiver. Uh, uh, you only oh, yeah. need to okay, append gotcha. for two two x. Uh, two two x. You need you need both Oberon specifically as well as uh, append gotcha. two at max. That that is like one hundred flat on every single. Uh, uh, how do I put this? It, it it's a uh, it's it wander flat on every single turn. Uh, there, there's no space for. Uh, for yeah. change for that um unless you uh, buster card <laughs> which is funny but uh it's kind of like the kuro situation Dang. but yeah like people want to farm with her with like super black grail but like honestly like, like if you don't have su like if you don't have super black grail and you already have like artoria or mordred or maybe altera like especially if you already have like artoria or mordred i, I like mp2 reload no 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 like, no no stop saying no reload. no 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 wait, wait, wait. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, but here like the thing with saber altar is she's just the omega bait um and people would just rush towards her ironically though i think if they did include this year's um uh roster i would say summer chloe is still the one of the best picks because oh, yeah. you, you know trying to trying to get her in a split rate up is bait but getting her for free is not you know what i mean like yeah, that's why they did it that way they didn't want yeah. you to have man i hate it <laughs> i hate it because i wanted the other thing i didn't care about oh, chloe like, uh... yeah, yeah i, 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 I got more Dude, I got more, I got more Chloe's than I got Suzuka's. A I'm... lot of people wanted Talaluk, <laughs> which is very like she is permanent, but you know it's it's kind of hard to get spooked by her like in such short notice, <laughs> short notice uh, in such a short span of time. So people also really wanted Talaluk, which is unfortunate uh, because they can't get her. Um, so I'm in kind of a rough spot with my pick because what I kind of want to do because like. Like, uh, obviously, I, I wanted to go for Summer Suzuka so I could get her to some other, uh, a couple levels higher, uh, above 100. But since I can't do that, what I'm thinking of doing is uh, taking another copy of Shiba. Because I've already got her in P5, and I don't want some of her coins... Uh, okay, I thought my audio was fucking up for a second. Sorry. Um, it, it's just like I kind of want to get something else that's going to benefit from it because I don't want to immediately uh, 120 or now. Uh, and I won't be able to 120 or even with that. Who are you trying to 120? Who is this for? Shiba. Uh, Shiba. Shiba. I'm oh, kind of okay. torn on it though because like, I'm already working on someone else. I mean... I'm I'm working on a lot of 120s right now. I oh. I, I have a list of 120s. It's, it's just pathetic. all the Sir, you have expendable favorite, income bro. though. No, it, no, well, I mean uh, the, some of it's expensive. Some of it's money I shouldn't be spending. Yeah, well that's that some is better than none, dude. <laughs> okay. Uh uh yeah, I, that's just, uh I'm just so uh, that, uh, yeah. Cuz like I got her 120 on an A. Uh, but like if she gets buffed again like i won't be able to enjoy it for another two years <laughs> they're holding i, I wouldn't it makes, I, don't know. I wouldn't 120 the same servant on both i would i would that i used to uh 120 like i was like i'm like oh i'm gonna have you know all the mhx is 100 on both all the melts and stuff like that 100 on both and then 120 happened and i realized like no, I'm gonna make them all separate, and so now I I I diverge them heavily, and I make sure there's no overlap anymore. I think it's more fun that way because then you get to you get to use different stuff, and you get to have different just, experiences. Because then if you have the same grails, you end up playing the same through everything. FGL hot takes. I just quit NA to be honest. I'm just... <laughs> bro, bro, can I just like migrate all my servants from NA to JP? Dude, I wish I could. Can I bring my 120 KP over to JP so I can have? 
I don't know, even know uh, what I have in NA key... anymore that I don't have on JP. I think I almost matched everything that I have on KP NA. KP that's JP. disappointed in me on JP, please. Bro. Let me let me actually check what what I what I have. Yeah, then, yeah if I do that, I'd have I probably have enough. I, I definitely have enough USOs. Uh, to Dude, that's why they should have merged the servers. Oh, they should have merged Dude, the servers. I would have I would have had so many assassin Carmilla coins. I I have like twenty assassin Carmilla. Then there. you could one twenty her. I'm still not gonna one twenty her. Yeah, no. Okay, okay. The uh, theoretically here, what if she got an amazing buff that made her really good? Would you still not want a 120 or? I probably want 20 or unless I'm in the middle of something again. Uh, what do you even have on an A? Let's see what. Hmm. I. So what okay. kind of buff would that have to be? Like how? Uh, like what? What would have to happen to her? Um. Whenever she MPs, she gets a three time three turn invul. Bro. <laughs> what what <laughs> kind of nonsense is what? that? <laughs> what? <laughs> What? 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 What would the invul do for? Her? Like, why not? I don't know. Like, give, give her some more like damage buffs. Or, bro, like... I don't. I don't know. Bro, they okay, did that sure. for Astolfo, but it's balanced because he sucks at spamming his NP. But she can spam her NP. Sure, sure. Okay, fine. Give her like a uh, five turn guts whenever she MPs. Five turn guts and it stacks. Five bro. turn guts that revives at fifty percent HP. There you go. Dude. <laughs> Dude, she's already gotten an MP buff. Like what? Okay, 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 okay. I actually know. So, what? What's her third skill cooldown? Oh no, uh, because torture technique. Uh, torture technique has five turn cooldown. So give torture technique heal boost by five hundred percent for five turns. There you go. That I'll, I'll grow it to one twenty. That happens. <laughs> That's so specific. Yeah, I just wanted to full heal with her MP. That's fun. Like that's. There you go. Like she, she oh, still died to. It's funny. Yeah, she, she, she still died to an MP. It's balanced. She just, she just has to full heal. I really like people who full heal with their MP, like Nocneria, like Kiara, uh, and uh, you know if they made Carmilla full heal with. Do you like Shifu though? Yeah, I mean I've tried to. This is what makes her Bonsi so disappointing, right? I hope her Bonsi was either a support one or one that actually helped her solo, and it was neither. Damn. Well, I guess it's a gut CE, so it technically helps her solo, but like, come on, man. Like, what Dude, is that? If I, what I would want them to do for Zhufu is interlude her NP and have it give her like some big damage steroid to herself. Like, make her make her a, a stupid solo servant. Like, <laughs> I, I would take that because I like Zhufu. I think I, I, I keep, I keep I... mixing up when I go to say Zhufu. I almost say Zhu Wu. Or Wu Zhu. It's like the same. It's the same. Because <laughs> like there's like Wu Zetian and Zhu Fu. All these names they sound so similar. Uh, but like whoa, give her whoa, like an whoa, attack whoa, buff or something. Hey. I, I I hope she turns the leftmost ally into Yume Ren Wait. when she MPs. <laughs> What was that whoa whoa hey about my thing? Yeah, like, saying they're all they're I, all I, the same. Uh, huh? I, said, I said the names uh, are all similar. They're mm. all like they're all like two letters. Yeah, they're mm. Zhu Fu Wu Zhu, Zhu. Like, come on, Ryu. He 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 didn't even say his catchphrase. What's my catchphrase? Ching Chong Wing Wong. No, I don't say that. Oh no! What? You you said and something it's... Ping Ling. I don't fucking no, know. No, it's Ching Chong Ping Ling. Ah, there Bro. you go. <laughs> Guys, guys, wait until I end the podcast. Fuck. No, it's, 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 no, no I, look, I'm Chinese. It's okay. I, I, cut, <laughs> I, I, I gave him the C word pass. No, no, it, it's a, okay. Do you, do, there, there's an old video. Um, well, no, it's, it's, a, it's an old quote. Did anyone remember Filthy Frank? Yeah. No, you can't. Uh, you, let, let's. Oh you, boy. You can't oh, bring whoa. him into. You can't bring him into this. I like it. <laughs> Also, he's Asian. He could probably say it if he wants to. Dude, his name is literally Joji, but it's George. What the fuck? Look, anyway, Plush is the one who brought it up. All no, okay, I said is that I, I keep I, accidentally crossing their Jufu and Wu's name together. That's all I said. Plush then had to make it about. <laughs> I have I succeeded in my psyop because I was the one that orchestrated the whole thing. Go ahead, just edit that part out.
two lonely. Wait, what is this? Two lonely cons, and one of them is a normal. I'm not a lonely con for the last time. Oh, you have no idea. Every time, like I, I remember I uploaded the, the funny like Tamo Aria clip, and everybody's like, "Oh my god, he's turning into Rio Emerald." <laughs> no, I did. I didn't even start this rumor. <laughs> what? This is all Fino's fault. <laughs> I like adult uh, women. Mm. Yeah, me too. Mm. You're like, oh, <laughs> you're like, you deny a lot. That must mean you're lying. <laughs> you sure do not deny being a lollicon a lot. That means you are one. Well, what if I say I am one? Well, that means you are one. So then really the answer is I can't not be called one. Look, look we're not calling into question whether or not you're a liar. <laughs> we're calling into question whether or not you're a lollicon. All right. that, I'm not. What, that, that, that's what a lowly con would say. I, I, I get what you mean. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I don't know. Uh, anyways, uh, what, what was the fucking conclusion of this? Yeah. The conclusion was the app media poll is correct, and Arise and Creamer at the very top, and those are the correct choices. He, like they're just more universally good. Like I've seen so many people in JP chat just pick uh, Arise. I've I've not seen that many cream hills. I'm going to assume most people uh rolled for cream hilled. That's maybe why they didn't pick her. Uh well, yeah, be because best. see with <laughs> Summer Aries State, you were on the risk of getting a buki. Ibuki's okay, whatever. Like, <laughs> like it, 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 if you're if we're actually talking about like what the general public are, are going to like dump all no their courts on. Uh, Ibuki is probably like the top two characters that the general public will dump Saint Courts at. Yeah, like, it's it it's obscene how, like even I like have a, how many copies? I have a what, MP3 because I have a, an esports copy. Like even I've rolled. That's for, their like, fault. It, that's their fault it's, for it's making a, her like, that way. That's I know. Just it's how like it I is. don't. It, 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 I'm I'm, I'm swayed by gameplay. There, she's too useful to not have a copy of. The fact that she has a cooldown reduction as well on all of her short ass cooldowns with like a crit kit as an arts berserker with the uh, <laughs> she's so with stupid with, with with the defensive buff removal before damage. Oh my god, guys, Musashi's better because you know what if box box buffs. Oh. I just my main dislike of her isn't anything even to do with gameplay. Uh, yeah, I just yeah, I think don't we, like writers. Okay, yeah, it's a writer. Okay. Yeah, I think I know. just don't like writers' design. I think it's it's too aggressive, yeah. and it, it's visually off-putting to me. Eris like Raiko and Ibuki. Um, is this only St Arts Avenger. Um, yeah. Wait, who are the single target Avengers? Uh, there's Tyra, Lobo, there's Joker, Tyra, there's Lobo. Yeah, uh, she is the only one. <laughs> there's Chloe. <laughs> easy yeah. to forget. Oh, Kuro's there. Quick. Yeah, true. She's quick. Yeah, like, which is weird because Kuro's actually like pretty decent damage. Yeah. Like she's one of those servants where it's the, like you know thing, actually she the, does really good damage. The thing <laughs> well, that, that I hate like, oh. about it is the the skill that increases her NP damage gets rid of her super effective. Yeah, you have to choose between. Uh, yeah. do, do you want to get MP gauge or do you want to, like the the special um, what are, what are they called again? The it, it's something uh, about like manuscript. you know meeting manuscript a deadline. Completed. Yeah, yeah, there you go. Yeah, yeah. I, I wish they made it so her super effective was uh, tied to her the the crits that she gets from her quick card. Well, uh, here's the thing: if, really... if you're using if you're using it to like fight bosses, you can just pop the third skill right away. And then it doesn't matter. Then you're just building up stacks the whole time, and you're relying yeah. on yeah. But normal, you're also like, you're also refund. ditching a bunch of charge because like right, well, that's, it, what that's I mean, like you abandon, yeah. That's not just her charge. You can also get the charge for the team. Yeah. True. Well, I mean, if you're using your main DPS, I know. I just I just yeah. think that she, as like a DPS, it's harder to run like a mixed mixed uh, DPS. I guess with her, it's just you like, have to go one way or another. Her single target damage isn't that different from Tyra's. What? Yeah, oh, you mean MP wise? Yeah. Well, MP yeah. Wise. Tyra, Tyra's MP damage is like kind of whatever. And then my well, is Kuro, oh, Kuro is good. I will so. say though, she is pretty fun to use with Voyager because 
because uh, he can take advantage of the main oh, script completed humor. thing and help him. Oh. And she gets 40% per NP, and then he gets a bunch of charge okay. from her, and they that's just keep going back and forth. That's a 3,000 difference on base. That's pretty big. Okay, but yeah, I, 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 I agree. Th I don't think 3,000 I don't think 3, is that big of a difference. It's like when I'm you're buffed on base. When, when you're comparing, like, um, 3,000 when it's 72 versus 69, 3,000 isn't as much as, like, you know, 3,300 versus, th or sorry, uh, okay. 3,000 3, 3, that, that, versus 36,000. That's like, fair, yeah, yeah. Those that's... numbers are pretty high. So, like, yeah. you know, once your single target is doing above 60,000, which, uh, oddly enough, commas hit hits really hard for an AoE without any traits looking at that. I yeah, mean, because she has, so. the, she has the she has the the second second highest attack stat. She's like cheating with it. Yeah. Like her her issue is the lack of uh, like steroids, though. Man, imagine having because, an attack because... that high, but also being a berserker. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Right. Oh, can't, couldn't can't be. That. Couldn't be freaking Ibuki. Could yeah. be. Dude, yeah, she, she, rear. she doesn't. Even, so she doesn't stupid. even look like one of the most popular characters in Fate. Why would she ever be so broken? If you look at their kits, it's actually uh, Summer Kama's kit cool. is. Oh, am I am I like like too like I I think Summer Kama needs a. <laughs> Summer Kama needs a buff. Let's go. Yes, I'm not Dude. joking. I'm not joking. She needs a fucking buff. Like once again, MP upgrade gives. Okay, I, I keep peddling that shit, but uh, I'm 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 still gonna say it. I think Summer Melusine's better than Ibuki. I think Summer I, Melusine. I kind of is... agree in a lot of situations. I think farming. I think. Uh, I think. Because uh, I, I don't think having Ibuki higher be... damage. I don't think having higher damage is the end all be all of like is a servant oh, better yeah. or not. Yeah, well, yeah. I, think, I mean yeah. CQ wise, yeah, definitely. Yeah, uh, but like, yeah, because ruler is just you, such a good class, and if you're getting good you damage, you have to take into consideration yeah. like the who, how many people tells me I don't give a shit about like CQs. Like it's just. I mean, people are hyping bro, up Melusine anyway. Bro, so. they don't care yeah, about challenge like... quests. What do they care about? Farming? Farming's boring. Yes, yes, and then they hate FGO's gameplay. I'm not going back into that discussion again, but... Uh, you know, <laughs> like, what, are, like, what do they have fun with? They don't! It's just... <laughs> they want the JPEGs. They, they have a gambling addiction, and they have to roll... Back. Yeah, I don't these, know. It's just, I don't people. know. It's like, it, obviously, it's not like people can decide however they want to play their game. It, it's just like, it, it doesn't enrage me. It saddens me. You know what I mean? Like, it's just like, like so, so much stuff that we uh, like a, a lot of people like to t spend time talking about just ended up being stuff that people don't care about. Right. It's like, yeah. It, like like people love to talk about FGO gameplay. I think FGO has like actually one of the communities that love to talk about gameplay the most. I don't know why. <laughs> yeah. Because they, they they contradict themselves. Yeah, bro, bro. People complaining about no content on NA. Like, dude, we just had back to back hyper farming events. Wait, I mean, another people, farming event. Okay. Well, also, I'm pretty sure most people also said like the olga quest is not is like no content because i thought that was really fun yeah but but they're like oh my god it's annoying so it's worse than no content and they're just Would, like it, they're, they're just like the game has not had any content other than I, one gina world tour i uh, found be, that like how long it took was annoying because <laughs> no i mean i like i thought it was yeah. like it was such a I, cool like Way do you like? I like. like I think this is why I like tower to events too. At, I think it should allow you to start at any wave after the first clear, though. Yeah. Um. Yeah. But like, because I that, love yeah. fights and things that make you use like a bunch of different servants. Yeah. Like I, I, me too. I, I still also think that there should be a story chapter that uses the Grail Front uh, function for the there story. There will be. There will like because we, we'll like, getting just, it on Wednesday. I mean, it's, yeah, not it's gonna story, be yeah. the Samurai Remnant collab. <laughs> yeah. yeah, they could make 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 Grailfront work like in Samurai Remnant. Give the Sam, Samurai Remnant. Remnant give the territory control thing. You know, have the you know effects there. I I would I would like that. I I, I think that I think the the best like course of action if they if their marketing team is not stupid which they usually are so unfortunately but the 
Like if their marketing team isn't stupid, I think they should definitely try to take advantage of Samurai Revenant. Like right now, people are still kind of, you know, pumped about it. Um, yeah. They bring out Tamamaria. Tamamaria. Tamamaria, the one that smokes the weed. Well, I mean, obviously, I'd I'd like that, but like I'd take anything. Uh, it's just it's cool. Like I I'd even take no new servants and like a like a summer Musashi buff because they didn't rerun her banner, right? Like it, it it's a uh, yeah. I for sure thought we were gonna get like w when I was playing like Samurai Revenant before it came out. I saw Musashi had a battery, and I'm like, oh, I'm like they should give this to Musashi. I'm like, buff Musashi, give her a battery. Like if they gave Musashi a fifty percent battery. Like, how much better would Summer Musashi be if she had a 50% battery? I mean, really good. I'm pretty sure her damage is slightly higher than... It's hard to say, though, because, like, some of her damage is tied to the defense down, so you can't carry over waves. I'm not sure if her damage is, like... And also, you know, Ibuki still has anti-earth, right? So it's not it's not like Ibuki nah, suddenly nah, dude, will just, die. Just give her uh, the same buff that they gave Bradamante, so she sorry. has anti-earth. Oh yeah, just give her anti earth too. No, oh give her a battery and anti. I love Stop. anti earth. I, I want every servant no, to have anti earth. Stop <laughs> it! Fucking st no! Stop! I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna write a letter to Lasengo asking them to give every servant anti earth. I am in the buffs. Dude, fuck the earth, dude! I am I am so tired I hate of the planet. I'm so tired of anti uh, of anti earth. I God. Dude. Okay, Doesn't Captain, or what was the? There Captain was the Captain Planet. Planet, but then there was the uh, the Captain Pollution, <laughs> <Something> like that. <laughs> <room>. <laughs> Smog, hate, hate anti Earth. Doesn't that then that make me Captain Planet? I hate anti Earth though. I hate the ant, whatever. Oh, I'm you hate pollute. That's true. Okay, you are Captain Planet. You hippie people I who hate <laughs> people who hate oh, anti Earth my, when they see oh. Uncle. Uh, man, come in. <laughs> dude, I, I, dude, I, I can't stand it. Like, it's, it's a, it's such a stupid complaint because anti Earth is clearly the most coverage, but like, I'm just so fucking tired. I don't understand why, why they keep doing this. Well, it's because so when many... they give someone anti Sky, everyone's like, ew, that's gross. Why they give them anti Sky? No one's Sky. That was someone recently. Who was that? Durga. It was Durga. Durga, that's right. Another Durga. server you grailed. Yeah, it was. It was Dur Wow, I, I logged in, too, and he's... that was like mo my most yeah. used servant was Durga. Or the, like, who, who are you? Are you got a problem? Who who's using Durga? Why would you? I mean, I think Durga? Durga's good. Like, I I like Durga. I mean, support, but yeah. I mean, like, I'm I'm not so much into the blue Durga, but like, I like first and second ascension. But yeah, like I I don't know. I I think anti Earth is uh. It's oversaturated. I've, uh, I like that she kind of looks like Passion Lip. And I mean, like, I know because they're soccer faces, but uh, that's kind of expected because she, that's part of Passion Lip. Yeah, Parvati. Oh, yeah. no, Durga is just Passion Lip. Yeah, yeah Passion, no, Lip Passion Lip is Durga and Parvati. Yeah, Durga, Durga Parvati, Parvati, and, and Brynhild. Right? Yeah. And Brynhild. Yeah. Yeah, yep, and we have all three of the servants in FK. We got all three, though. So that, that's why you like to make a front line of those one. <laughs> And yeah. they're both all better than passion. Dude, passion Lip is unfortunate. She is so. I think she's. I think her gameplay is not that bad. It's just like you she's don't. She's super interesting. She's. You never uh, want to use unique. what she has. She she's a very she's very tanky. She's an alter ego. That that's really the biggest problem. She's an alter ego. I mean, like she's really tanky, but um, that's about it. I do like her deck though. I I think if she doesn't have triple Buster, I think she's like a lot worse. Um, might be just hot take, but yeah. She's uh, fun to Unga Bunga with. Yeah, but my preferred Unga Bunga Soccer 5 is King Protea. The more fun oh, one to Unga Bunga. Yeah, but Bunga. she can't, she can't yeah. Unga Bunga as hard because she only has the, two yeah, Buster KP, cards. Yeah, KP should have had three Buster cards. Uh, I mean, I, I, I get I get by. With, mighty anyways. Y yeah, just Mighty Chain. Yeah, like... I mean, like yeah. KP is mostly used in solos, and if I'm going to do a Buster Brave Chain, it's going to be with the NP anyway for the That's proliferation true. buffs. That's fair. Like, yeah, I but like, know. it's the thing with like maybe they'll make her arts card really stupid. 
Like that that's just for most Buster Buster decks. The the, the only good thing is they might make their arts card really stupid. When when does yeah, the KP's attack buff was with Lost Bob Seven, wasn't it? Was it? It was earlier, right? I'm no, pretty sure she it? didn't get a buff during Lost Belt Seven. No, I no, think she it was got, earlier. Uh, no, she got her. Uh, you're talking about the no Holy Grail NPD front moon salt. So that's yeah, uh, yeah. She got it with that's, the other. That's other next. Fishes. That's next June. It, that's such a good buff yeah. for her. It's the one where um her MP damage goes up to a hundred percent if she has max stacks. Yeah, tri triple buster decks are really like, good because of the the good arts gain uh, with mighty chains. Unless you're triple buster, but you have like an arts MP, so you can't mighty chain with your MP. Oh yeah, that sucks. Who has that? Yeah, who has that? Wait, hold on. Who's triple Where? buster with an arts? Well, oh, that's um. <laughs> yeah, Galatea. who has that? No, uh, the other one. Draco. And yeah, Draco. Also, oh, the other also Super Grail. Ryan. <laughs> yeah, the other, I love complaining about the Draco. Super Ryan count. <laughs> yeah, Super Ryan as well. Yeah. Honestly, yeah, dude, Super in Ryan the, with a Buster no, MP. Backwards. Dude, okay, Super Ryan with a Buster MP would have been great. He um, probably would have like looped. Like you would have been able to like oh, yeah. build up like three MPs super fast, get to crit yeah. cap, and then have one turn Especially of just murdering chains. everything. Another it's... scary servant with a Buster MP that could be scary, Kin Shi Huang. Another servant that would just, I feel like with a Buster MP, she'd, he'd be is so that, much better. Is that the ruler? Yes, the ruler, the Chinese ruler that can, yeah, like, yeah, I'm, 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 okay, man, we're not going into this again. No, but no, yeah, no like... I, I, I look at his name, it's Shi Hung Di, and he said a different name. Oh, okay, yeah. Well, like, I mean, so, he goes like, well, what? If, I, I know, but I've, I, I've never heard anyone use that name before. Yeah, um, but basically, Kin Shi Huang is including his uh, empire's like name in it. But uh, oh. Shi Huang is just the first emperor. Is just oh, Xi you're Hong. right. It's just adding Kin in front of it and cutting the D off. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, he cut the D I off. Mean, yeah. I mean, but um, tish. I mean, I mean, they genderless. they do that in China. They do that in China though. Like uh, for for the uh, the royal court's servants. Like the the male ones, they cut yeah, off their penis, they, so, so so they don't screw Unix, with the yeah Unix. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. I've read I've read a couple I've read a yeah. couple of historical manga in my time. Yeah, yeah. So 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 they don't sleep with the uh, the harem. <laughs> yeah. How horrifying. <laughs> yeah. Man. But yeah, like like um yeah. I'd rather uh, be a farmer. A, thank you. A lot of servants would be pretty scary with uh with a buster mp instead of arts and buster bridge i mean she only you could not nah, i well i went on this a while ago you could i think could use a lot of changes but he he could he could like buster crit brave chain yeah as well yeah exactly like somebody said um i did, did you read that off chat or did you say it i don't know i'm stupid whatever no i didn't but like i don't but like yeah like like he would have been able because like there's two ways to use him which is solo, and then some people mintern with him as a crit DPS, and then both situations would have been better if he was a buster. <laughs> it's just... It is very interesting how the evolution of the game has gone in the viewing of some card types, though. Because, like, yeah. I, I remember for a while, like, buster servants were just dreaded. You never wanted your favorite servant to be buster. Yeah, because no refund. It just doesn't have any secondary effect. Like, it's it super... wasn't until Vich, and Vich was, well, it's been four years now. Or two years. Three years? Three years? Two. Two. We two? just got her no, on. Well, two and a half. Two and a yeah, half. Yeah, two and years. a half. It's, it's already like almost. Okay, it's so. Like, it's like four months? Three months? Okay. I mean, it, it not just depends on the meta support. Like, like you're, you're not going to run Kin Shi Huang with Vich, right? Like, I, I I think Mighty Chain was also, like, a huge reason why people loved uh, Buster MPs. Uh, like, like imagine if Bargus... I mean, okay, I guess Quick as well. Oh, dude, imagine if Bargus had a Quick MP. Would that be better? Bargus? If Bargus had a Quick MP, yes. I think Bargus with her kit, but Quick, would mean she could Quick Buster... Arts, arts, yeah, and she and get, she got more stars out of it, maybe. She get more stars, uh, more damage. I, uh, I, but yeah, I mean, like, it is Buster. interesting that Buster for up until like yeah, two years ago or so, like every time a Buster servant I liked came out, I'd be like, I'm like, oh, that sucked. And I remember when Melusine first came out, being kind of like disappointed that she changes to Buster. I'm like, no one's gonna use this. It's, it's like, literally okay. Let's be real. That that transformation was not very usable before Vich. It wasn't no. Yeah, that that was that was not very usable at all before Vich. 
Like, I, I don't know how many people said, because they, they didn't give a lot of time, like, between him, uh, her coming out and uh, and Vich, but, like, it's literally, like, right before Vich. But I imagine if um, if she came out, like, way before Vich, people wouldn't wouldn't have actually think she was, like, as good as she is. Yeah, with, yeah. with just Castori, she would have been just considered a single target arts lancer. Which yeah. I think people write off that capability. Like I don't see anyone like using her as single target ever. I mean, like yeah. I use her for single target quite a bit. It, it's just the Buster one is so good. I I I, I think her issue yeah. is you can the just, Buster one is too good. You can just dump Vich buffs on her and she's critting hard enough that you don't have to. So yeah, and, and then she refunds okay. anyways. Like who gives a crap? Yeah, and, and now and, we have the also farming Oberon. version anyway. And now, yeah, we will have the arts one anyways, yeah. The arts area. Now I just need a quick one. Why do you need a quick one? You don't need a quick I, one. The I want a makes, third mellow scene. Give me a third mellow scene. So much stars. Give me a third mellow scene. Dude, this you don't even need a quick one for this. This one Man. just like makes so much stars. I'm, I'm sitting here just wishing I had a second Shiba. Oh, uh, didn't the artist like quit like drawing or something like that? And that's why the, we don't have the any artist Shibas? vanished from existence like three yeah, years ago. Yeah, it's unfortunate because I quite like Shiba. Early on in the game, I thought about grailing Shiba, and then I was like, oh, I should never grail casters. Anyway, I've completely betrayed myself from years ago who said I would never grail casters. <laughs> I have two 120 casters. I, 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 when I first started the game, I'm like, I'm going to grail every Liz before I grail anything else. Yeah, what a fucking joke. <laughs> yeah, well, we all betrayed. I was like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna max out every MHX on both my accounts. Uh, didn't follow through on that, and Mixa still sucks. Mixa also has the three hit thing, which I hate. I just can't. Oh, she's so bad. Dang. Why is she Japan. so bad? Japan's so weird. No, they could definitely make another Shiba. Like, have you seen? Yeah, have you seen Atalante? Like, did she just has different artists? The, between yeah. the two versions, I don't like, know. Like, I don't know if it would hit the same though, dude. Yeah, the, yeah. She, she it, looks weird. Wait, okay. To be fair, she's had a ton of costumes that I really like, and they weren't drawn by the same artist, so maybe it wouldn't yeah. be too bad. Queen of Sheba, uh, pretend. <laughs> I'm so done with pretender. She's yeah. she's like not actually. Who's Queen she of pretending Sheba. to be? Like she's uh, she's already a character no one knows anything about. <laughs> Shiva has a really good design, though. It is she's kind of sad actually that she's not used more. Her I second and third ascension, though, look like the same almost, except for a little bit more gold, which is unfortunate. Like she's got more eye, uh, eye things on her. No, she's he's here. Me up. Queen of Sheba, but after Solomon was removed from the the throne, she took the seat, and then she was like weird Solomon heir thing. Pretender. Oh, so we're just making up history now. Yeah, pre Pretender Solomon, I mean, but it's actually his isn't wife. Isn't that what this game is? Yeah. Pre oh, that's pretend true. <laughs> Pretender Solomon, but it's his wife. And then, and then, like, and then, uh, the man from Chaldea comes back and is just like, "What the fuck's happening?" Okay, so, so how the fuck is this gonna work into a summer event? <laughs> No, don't, don't, don't work it into... What is, <laughs> no, no, we have to work it into a summer event. No, we make it the Shiba. ordeal call. Make, make her the pretender ordeal call. <laughs> oh, dude, when are we going to get another ordeal call so we can open up? Like, I I don't know who to do for... Um, have, you finished your, uh, no. have you finished your first uh, class score? No. How? Because Because I have been split on all of them because the one I actually want to do is extra two and none of it does shit. Oh, is Extra 2 not open yet? It's open, but it only applies to Alter Egos. And the ones oh. I want for it is because I have I have a Grailed... Uh, I have Grailed Koi and Dark. I have a Grailed Beast to 120. I have a Grailed uh, Pretender to 120. And none of these actually trigger. So, yeah. I, I Like, uh, like Bavan is 120. So she would, she would benefit from it. I actually have leveled it up pretty deep. I, I had... I have, like extra two leveled up and i just completely don't use it it's just it just does nothing to most of the servants i use like yeah it helps alter ego. i don't even know what alter egos i use a key ray like jeez <laughs> i don't i don't know what to do for my other one like because i finished lancer i, do, I finished um, the last score I, and i, I, I mean, and I, 
Honestly, I just hold back on it. Like, why? Why would you blow? Why would you blow your mats right now? Like, if if you yeah. don't want dude, any to you, I have like no pieces. Like, I I was trying to do the writer one. I have no writer pieces left. Uh, I was trying to max out my Bodica, and it was like, oh right, I'm low on That's pieces. The yeah. Wrong class to invest. I think I they should. Not, I think smart. they should. Um. They should definitely make. Uh, it's like not that you're piece. smart. It's just, you've just been playing the game longer than I have. No, I always buy them from the shop. I have never not bought them from the shop because how I knew. That, how was that smart until class score? <laughs> it was dumb until class score. But who's exactly. the smart one now, dummy? I mean, I mean, I always buy it because and I always over farm on JP. Because like I, 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 I knew I, they would do something. The, like the second they started adding like song things, like you could buy music with it, I knew eventually, eventually it would come in handy. Even dude, if it felt like I was wasting my time then, I dude, never stopped. Dude, do we cope that someday they're gonna have more uses for skill gems? Like oh no, no. yeah, please. D no, dude, I don't have enough. Add, add like a add, add like a oh. skill gem thing to like if they, uh if they to, made like, it... upgrade servants. If like they it, made it, it like gives them like a bonus. Them. If it they made it easier to farm them, I'd I'd be fine. Because I just I, go I, I hard on a lotto. What, what if I they? Do, I do go hard on a lotto, and then like I run out, dude. I what I is hard? Like, what do you consider hard? Two hundred, I guess. I, I don't even. Do I did like over. I did like around three hundred on an A, and I'm already running out of caster gems again. I I, I don't even do two hundred these days. Like, I'm like like hard slacking. Cause the the I, thing with lottos these yeah, days, I, I don't like, use SQ to. Dude, refill. like what what? Okay, what do you have? Like what do you have in a lotto? Uh, EXP is like worse than half AP. Uh, EXP dailies. QP is worse than half AP QP dailies. Materials yeah, I don't always want. It's I, it's a good way to like farm a bunch of QP up and cap out and get other th some other things. They should just stop mm. putting four-star embers in that garbage. Dude, they should just make up five-star embers. I, like, I would kill for that. Like, even if you just make it the same amount of total EXP, like, you, you put in, like, less five-star embers. Remove FP. No! No! Who said remove FP? Ban him. Bro. <sighs> Bro, what? No! FP how else like are you what... supposed to level CEs? Yeah, like, how the fuck are you supposed to get coins? Uh, yeah, FP is, like, technically... Yeah, that's, like, if... no, that's okay, the only no, no, way no. a lot of people get coins. No, no, Just what put they... CE... Oh my gosh, you're so stupid. Do you know how you, like, make grails in, like, you know, from grail crafting? Coins. Where do you get coins? From the FP gotchas, where I get, like, I'm burning... Like no. one and two star coins all the time. I I I I think what they should do. Jeez. Oh, no no. I understand why they said that, and I think what they should do is to fucking allow you to roll a hundred on FP. Like what? Just yeah. if if you can I roll a hate... hundred on FP, literally nobody will complain. Just allow you to roll a hundred on FP. Like I have to sit there clicking for like. The 50 minutes. Yeah, dude, that's, that's why I you don't nothing. have to. See, FGA has a thing that oh, that does clicks your Bro. FP for I you. Don't have okay, honestly. Oh, I'm sorry. iPhone user alert. iPhone <laughs> user alert. Honestly, you can do it without <laughs> FGA. Like iPhone has um, like a macro. That, like you can actually use auto clicker on, on iPhone. Uh, I, I've done that for opening boxes. But like, why? Why, why not change the system instead of like, oh my god, I have to use this fucking auto clicker. I, I don't understand. It's just... Look at plushie. Yeah, I use the iPhone. Kill me. Ha <laughs> ha. iPhone users. Lamel. It's like a bizarro world here where Android users are the smart one. It's FGO no. plushie. <laughs> no, you can't say that because FGO has done quality of life change, right? Like... Like you say that as, as if Joe never does quality. Uh, yeah, like yeah, literally Lotto was a hundred rolls. The it, SR it, ticket. It, <laughs> yeah, the SR. Okay, well SR ticket with the limited. Like people keep saying, oh my god, there's no way they're gonna put a limited in the SR ticket. Oh, guess what? They just put a fucking limited in SR ticket, right? So like, which is why I think on the thirty million download campaign, we may get a, limited a, another star. SSR ticket. Yeah, and be able to pick a five star. In which I think case, it's about time. And and whoever doesn't have Castoria. And didn't pick Castoria, I will oh immediately God. ban them from my like, server. Welfare who Castoria. would like if you could if you could pick a free five star right now? Who who would you take? Me? Yeah, I don't know. 
Let's think about it. What five star am I lacking? You guys, because I'm pretty sure all the, I'm pretty sure all the ones I have at, uh, I want to 120, I have enough coins for. Uh, so let me think. Actually. Mm -hmm. I would probably grab another Miss Crane so I could get her MP2. Oh, Crane's I've... a good one. Yeah, Crane. Because I, I have an MP1 one. Crane, and I've, I've, I put in rolls in her other raid ups, but never got her. Hmm. But like, I would probably grab even make Crane MP2. I have two Cranes, yeah, but I don't. Mm. Must Kinda. be nice. I kind of want to go with Riker because oh, she's stuck in NP1. Okay, like my guilty pleasure pick might actually be Saber Medusa because I really like her, but I don't know. Oh, uh, Saber Medusa is good. She, yeah, she's a good solo, but I don't, mm, I don't know if I. Well, she's also. Solo, she, I think she's more than a good solo. I think Saber Medusa. Think, yeah, she's good in teams as well. She doesn't. She's not like Tyra. I think Tyra is pretty whatever. Okay, in. so the single I mean, target Sabers. I actually think she's, she's the best probably one. the best. She is because I'm best looking one. at the competition. We got Dioscuri and the Trunk Sisters. We can void those two. Um oh, you Dechi mean, is yeah. only good against traits. Yeah. Um Astolfo uh, is okay, but not amazing. Okita's fine. Nero nah, provides more support. Uh, Okita, other than damage, just doesn't compete with Medusa. Okita like, has just... one turn buffs, which is a, a problem. Yeah. Like Musashi... Oh, Musashi is I don't, I'm okay, not Musashi. but like I don't, I don't find Musashi terribly fun to use. I, I, I just hard. think Medusa flows a lot better than Musashi does, so I, do, I, I think Medusa is the best single target saber. That's a hard question. Yeah, if I could pick an SSR right now, who I'd pick? No, I'd pick Kama. <laughs> She's MP4 for like 20 years. Oh yeah, that was a smart move. <laughs> Never mind. No Draco. Oh, you you could. Oh, dude, they're they're gonna go ahead and not put Draco in there again, like the GSSR. Like, you, you can pick any servant in the game, but Draco. <laughs> you can't pick a piece like that. That's just not allowed. Yeah, you, you just can't pick Draco, man. Like it's she built different. <laughs> you can't pick she her. She's she's not supposed to be summoned. She in built this game. She built wrong. Yeah, she she built different. She's That's why she has a buster deck with an art set. Negative way. <laughs> Uh, and that, uh, that's actually so incorrect. I think that's very stupid of them to not put her in the GSSR. I I don't understand. Uh, I why, don't. Why it was such a weird choice. I mean, it didn't affect me because yeah. I I I didn't pick her for my list, but or I wouldn't have picked her for my list anyway. But yeah, what she's I... wait. No, she was in the. Oh, she was in the list one, right? But she wasn't in the the. It she wasn't. Been the one she I... wasn't in the cheap one. Yeah, she wasn't in the. Just shove her into one of the extra class. Like, what's the what's the? She's she's literally categorized as extra class two. Like, you put her in the class score. I was so scared they're not they're gonna be like, we're not putting her in the class score because fuck. <laughs> but, but no, uh, but yeah. I I just put an NP level on someone. I'm not sure. Like a lot of the ones I want are four stars. So I'd rather take yeah, so another the, four star ticket. <laughs> four star ticket, but we but with twenty twenty three. Uh, so yes. Then. Yes, yeah. that's what like, we should that, that, that doesn't. Maybe it's just me, but I think I have enough of all the 2023 four stars. Well, yeah, that me. that is just. I me. have 50 Talalocks. I have so many Talalocks. It's unreal. Yeah, I, I really want more Duriel Donnas, and 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 it will oh, make wow. me feel really stupid if they uh. Who are the? They, let me look at the four stars from this year. It's Locusta, uh, Duriel Donna, and all the summer eights and. Let's see. Yeah, this is not very. I feel like there haven't been very many servants this year. There, there actually no, has been. Do you know actually, that there's yeah, been more there been five more. stars yeah, than yeah, the yeah, past like weird. five years? It's been yeah, since yeah. like tw 2018 was the last year we had this many five stars. If we're already matched for the most for another year, if we get one more five star this year, it's the most five stars in years. And if we get two, were like super ahead on the average. <laughs> Here's um, the thing, right? Kashi and Koji's not a real servant. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Ka Kashi and Koji's not Kashi a real and Koji servant. Koji was a delusion. Uh, she's not uh, real. She's like a like a what, what do you call it? the Mandela effect? Is that what you call it? Like, yeah, the Mandela yeah, effect. Yeah, 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 and and like um uh, I, as much as I like her, Pope Joan, you know, she's literally the phantom pope that never existed, so she also doesn't exist. Um, and Takasugi, also, we all forgot uh, about him immediately. Ta Takasugi th doesn't exist. He he's only uh, like <laughs> he, he, no he, one rolled he, for Bima. 
he the money the money a, charts um, prove that. Yeah, nobody wrote for Bima. Both arcades are that's a lie. Have you seen how much money they made during the arcade collab? Like the arcade collab was one of the most lucrative things they've ever done in recent FGO. Like since Lost Belt Six, I'm pretty sure it's the most earning thing. Yeah, like Draco and and Tiamat made money. Draco and Tiamat made so much fucking money. It as in lore wise. I mean, yeah, they're they're never gonna revisit B six because Draco ruined it. Congratulations, good job. I mean, man, right. though the the five stars this year though, there's a lot. Like, I think most of them were. Like okay, Rasputin's kind of mid. Nito Chris is okay. okay. Tez is really Cold good. Cold Cuckoo. Tez. Cuckoo's really good. The Pope is eh. Takasugi is forgettable. Draco and Tiamat are good. Bimo's forgettable. Kashin Koji is forgettable. Durga is good. Saber Medusa's good. And then the Summer are all good. The the, the and, funny uh, thing people don't think Saber Medusa is a real servant. Why? Like people don't remember this character, I feel. But, like nobody just, remembers this character. I mean, people forgot about Medusa for a really long time, so Medusaless. Wait, you can toggle the tutorial in Fuyuki? What? what? Are you starting a new account for some reason? No, this is my uh Draco SQ account. I was doing I, I was farming Canis's bond uh for for the Canis interlude, so I can fight Arjuna Alter again, but um Turn off the tutorial. What do you mean turn you off mean the tutorial? Turn off the tutorial. Toggle the tutorial. What do you mean by that? The the the, the first one where you get Ku Saber and something and you fight a golem? You can turn that how off do, now? How do you toggle that? It's a zero AP node in Fuyuki. Now I can't get out of it. I guess I'm going to Fuyuki. Let me look. Just, no, but it's only in my weird like Is that in Fuyuki? Is it a hacked account? No, I don't think so. Yeah. Oh, it might be a hacked account. Actually. Yeah, that... Saint Court's accounts are usually hacked, right? Yeah, that's why they're so much cheaper on JP. Yeah, yeah, that's what they did. So they just manipulated the um, they just manipulated the data. So so oh, so they so, so you're they, going they, to FGO jail. they pretend. I mean, yeah, I mean that that's my uh, alt. You can ban it. I don't give a shit. But <laughs> oh, that that is my yeah. ORT account though. Uh, but yeah, wow, that's cool. I never know that. That's so stupid because I've never done that quest. So, so it's considered a Fuyuki quest. I guess maybe it counts it as re-entering a node, so it automatically boots you in there. If that's what it is, it just doesn't get. I had to click of... on it. No, I had to click on it. I was like, "What is this zero MP node called Prologue?" I was like, "Did they secretly drop something in Fuyuki?" Because that's that—that's the theory, right? Because everybody's like, "Oh my god, we're gonna return to Fuyuki." In the gonna, last well, yeah, we've been saying that for two years. Yeah, I, I, was still, I was like, "Oh my god, they're they're, they're, they're Why doing is it, it still burning there." They're secretly dropping it like a uh, Yu-Olga quest. I was so surprised by that Yu-Olga quest drop. That that was like the most like hype I I've been for like a Surely. long time. Surely that means we're going to summoner now. Exactly. Well, once you collect the four coins pieces, I, I do that's think when you redeem it for a copy. I do yeah. think you do. Well, you have to pull for the you have to pull for the rest of the four in frem points, and it's zero point zero 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 one percent. And now you oh, would gosh, say a five star in, F in the FP. Then you're like, ooh, take FP out of my lotto boxes, please. And you start you start pulling that. And it's just like a rainbow. It's like more feed. No, I'm I'm joking. Obviously, it's um. So wait, they... oh. So I feel like they they're definitely bringing her back, because why does her NP even have a name? Like we never saw it. It was never used. Like, well, it, it it was like a cute Easter egg. If you click on it, she'd go like, well, I can't yeah. show you it right now. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, but like, why would it even be there? It's very edgy. It's called um, like, the end of humanity. Is, is here or something? Is nigh. It, it, it's called it's called like Planet You Olga Marie. The end of humanity has arrived or something. Yeah, these edge lords. It's super fucking edgy. Yeah, it, um, it's just, I don't know. It's just kind of weird that it never. Yeah, her kid is actually happened. bad though. 
<laughs> like it's act she's actually unusable gameplay wise. I think they're I, I think those are supposed to be like scuffed numbers. Like, uh, but, like I mean, twenty like, percent buster and twenty. Imagine if it's fifty exactly. percent buster and crit, or forty percent. Like buster the whole and crit. charging three hundred percent NP gauge, but then her other skill draining a hundred percent and needing a hundred percent there, just for the buff there, and then. Yeah, like, the fact that you can like triple cast stuff with double vich is really funny though, because you can I spam the. My favorite spell from Final Fantasy fourteen. Yes, and that's uh. And then you can Buster Card farm, I guess, even though her Buster Card damage was piss. Yeah, well, because it's like, it's cut it's in half. AOE. Yeah. It, it's, or, it's so bad, it's not good. Yeah. Was it that bad? It took, yeah, it, it, it did no bad. damage. It did so little damage, dude. Yeah, but um, it's just that one. Well, yeah, it's AOE damage. So, like, what's the the for AOE MPs? What's the difference in scaling between a single target and a uh, um, um, AOE? If it's if it's the way it is with MPs, then it's half. Yeah. So yeah, it's half damage. I think Plushy went up to get something because I just heard him bump his mic. Unless he died. He again. died again. Oh, man. Nope. Rest in peace. Nope. Rest yeah, piss. it's almost the, I miss him so much I feel like I can hear him even now I know I uh, he died on his way back yeah. to his home planet I, I, I was I, I, I was just DMing with his uh, home with planet all of muscle. Taiwan <laughs> no I was DMing with all muscle look oh. he look he wants to clarify that the tweet was a joke I'm pretty sure that's pretty obvious right like he oh, doesn't no, I, I know, I, I know, uh, I know okay. the tweet we was a joke we, were, we don't we, were... we don't have to air this on the podcast yeah. right oh sorry 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 I'm, I'm yeah. sorry I, I, yeah, I, I just wanted I mean, to be it's... like yeah, I got since, since I brought anyways. that up, I just wanted to make people, you know, make sure, like, you know, I want to clarify. Yeah. I feel like it's only no fair drama, to clarify guys. the chat, no. you know. Yeah, no yeah. drama. This is between them. Things Don't good. insert yourself. Yeah. Don't worry. So, about okay. It. Drama over. Anyways, um, back yeah. to uh, back to yeah. ending the podcast because it's past nine. Oh usually. shoot! Oh my yeah. god, no. It's, it's fine. Uh, now we've got uh, a longer than average episode. <laughs> so. Don't worry, once yeah. you edit out all the things I said that were wrong and horrible. Wait, what, the Chinese thing? Least an hour. What do you mean no, edit you, stuff? Uh, you prompted the Chinese thing, not me. Okay, fine. My bad. I'm a, a Chinese guy. All right. <laughs> but yeah, um, in terms of the ticket, I do think the ticket thing well, see, probably you guys, answered a lot you guys of people's just, questions. You guys just mentioned it again, so like I'd have to do even more editing. Otherwise, people oh, yeah, are going to be like, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> Just that, well, see, that's, that adds to the mystery. They just, don't know what the Chinese well, thing is. It's fine. Just cancel me on Twitter. I, I don't mind. <laughs> but don't cancel me. I did nothing wrong. <laughs> Dude, you're easier to cancel if, if you just show your timeline with all the... Okay, I'm going to... My Twitter timeline is fine. You, can you, can't, even, at... you can't even show that on I, stream. No, yes, I, I can. I'm not going to show it on my stream. Uh, there's there's literally nothing nothing okay, okay, on my street. Okay, okay, yeah, <laughs> like a bunch of, it, it, there's only a bunch one of weird shit, thing. That's it. There's only one weird thing once. I'm, I'm okay. sorry for calling you. <laughs> Anyways, well, anyway, yeah, it's, it's been fun. Yeah, yeah. yeah recommendations: are Cream Hill and Reese. And for me, I'd say uh, for the average player, I'd say Estrella. But uh, but I could see Estrella. why some would prefer the other two. Oh, so okay. I mean, I I get it. I, I think Astrea is like I, I'm definitely subconsciously docking points from her because she is perma. Like I, I have to apologize I do too. somewhat. But I, yeah, I, like I Yeah. I, I can't I can't tell people to use a, a ticket that gives a limited option on a yeah. perma. Like I, uh, if you like characters and they're limited versus non limited and you have the chance to get spooked by them, okay. just bet on that chance and go for the limiteds that you like. Okay. Yeah. To be fair though np2 Australia, that sounds pretty good like if you get spooked by it i i, I see that as a positive but then That's again like if you, yeah. it's yeah above all just pick who you like <laughs> it's actually uh, like a, a kind of same-ish thing with uh percival versus melt because if you're picking percival i feel like you're banking on getting spooked by him later on right kind really? of you have yeah. to be yeah 
yeah. Anyways, thanks everyone for listening and watching. Uh, there's things to look at it in this podcast. I know that's pretty rare uh, for podcasts, but uh, thanks to Rio for being here for this uh, impromptu special episode. Uh, Made a lot more fun, yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah, thank you, FGO, for having for giving us something to talk about today. Yeah, definitely. Uh, been bending our backs over trying to find stuff the last few weeks. Yeah, but, uh, next week would be hopefully. I mean, I don't know if they're gonna stall, but hopefully not. But yeah, next week probably have interesting thing to talk about as well. Right, yep. yeah. Well, yep. subscribe to Plushy. Link in the description. Subscribe to Rio. Link in the description as well. Subscribe to me. I'm. I'm. Hey, click the link. I'm on the page. Like this, this big red button. Can't miss. Wait, it's actually not a red button anymore. It's a white button. Damn it. On Twitch. If it's no. dark mode, it's it's a it's a black button with white text. Yeah. I am, on, uh, oh, I'm, I'm talking about uh, on, on YouTube. YouTube. Yeah, because this is going on YouTube. Wait, it's not a red button anymore. What? Uh, no, I think it just depends on. I think blind. it depends on... Oh, it is not. Oh, it is a white button for me, even in dark mode. What? Yeah. I don't know why I clicked onto my video expecting to see a subscribe button. Like. <laughs> no, but you'll see a join button. Yeah. If you have that enabled. Yeah, but that's uh, that's a different color. What? Yeah, feel, f feel free to join as well. That's, a, that's another cool thing you could do. But anyways, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.